We live! Ah, April Fools! Ah, uh, April Fools! One and all! Ah! Uh, have Happy we got April fifth! Happy we Happy got April fifth! Uh, this wet. We did not forget April okay. Fools. Okay. Okay. Look, we're gonna level with you. Have you ever tried to like get Easter candy like <laughs> the week after Easter? The good shit's not left. Not You're left. left with like Coca-Cola flavored peeps. Yeah. Or like jelly beans. Oh god, you can get jelly beans. This mm -hmm. is kind of the jelly beans of April Fools. Mm -hmm. Uh really fun side effect bugs is just <laughs> staring directly <laughs> at chat. Hello, chat. Hello. What was you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they hate it. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yippee! Hooray! I, I, the, the, I, I'm like, the, I'm trying to like settle down over here. It's, it's a different seat, I tell it you is. what. Hey, with kinder it eyes. Is. It is, because normally I sit canonically mm -hmm. very close to the camera, and that's why I'm so big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we had to like shift a lot of like stuff around. Uh... I don't know if the, those things are going to be happy about this. Hey, Divine Industrialist, thanks for following right before stream, which, speaking, am I playing and Bug is moderating? Hell no! Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Absolutely uh -uh. not! Uh -uh. No! <laughs> no! My computer can't play! It can't run Shipwreck 64! <laughs> because if I ask a young dev to port their game into Mac, I get to be tried at the Hague, is what happens. <laughs> Well, it's April uh, also, Fools. That's why. It's it's April Fool fifth. It's April fifth Fools. Fools. This is our awesome April Fools gag. It, this is just as much work put into it as the year where I designed all the new sprites for Splatoon. <laughs> Honest. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. Look, look, we we were bit, okay. So, Bugs had like a DMV appointment, and that required like being out during the day yeah. and like. We, there's some sinus headache issues, yeah. and I, I had some things no, going on. Don't call me Wally! Come here! Come here! <laughs> Come here! Damn! Kill! I'm, I'm giving you 30, but that's the one you get. You got one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a human man! Well, a dead human man. <laughs> Does that count? Is a Frankenstein still human? Uh, yeah. I decided. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm Frankie. <laughs> Frankie's Frankie. And it's Frankie, not Frank. I've seen that once or twice. <laughs> Being slick with it. Being slick with it. I think I've allowed, like, Synth to get away with calling me Frank now and then. <laughs> He's allowed. We fight about other things. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It turns out we're both country boys, which explains yeah. a lot about our interactions. Oh, that'll do it. He's, like, East Coast country boy, so... Yes, Junkyard Wizardry said Frankie's also Frank Frankly, but Frankly Frankie is Frankie. Great. Frankie Frankenstein. Frankie Frankenstein, yes. Frankie Lucretius Fra T. Frankenstein. Yes, of Thank course. You. Of course. <clears throat> but if anyone calls me Lucretius, I don't know if I'd shoot you for so it, but I'm Frankie. Yippee zoo! Hey, Hi, Emma! Oh, you can hear my voice brighten up like I just saw a cat. <laughs> Piss, like, piss, piss. Hey! Hi! Puss, puss, puss. How's Goose? How's Goose? I'm shaking the treats. <laughs> hey, Puzz. Happy Frank. It is Frankie Friday! Oh, You're right! Uh, wow. Oh, that makes me happy. I, let me let me put McDonald's in chat if Bugs wants to pull yeah, it on sure, screen. I'll put McDonald's I always on got screen. McDonald's in the holster. Hi, Holly! Hi, Holly! Da -da. Uh, and before we get too far into the show, let me do a quick thank you to people who followed us in the meantime. Uh, I already said thank you, but thank you for following right before show, Divine Industrialist. Thank you for following Dianella Kione. Thank you for following Cauldron of Bats. Thank you for following Sonic Kubmoomen. Thank you for following Hazel Nutitit 2 PTO. Thank you for following King of Queers 1. Hey, your, your Majesty, thanks for thank subbing. you, Your Majesty, thank you, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following Mr. Zendorm, thank you for following Rathlias, thank you for following Name is Unavailable, really good. Thank you for following It's Minty Dory, and thank you for following Whatever with Nicole, we do appreciate it. Thank you. 
And thank you for the sub, Alan. Though if we do take them prime subs, we do take a prime yes, sub here. We Romeo. do accept. We do accept tender currency. That what Romeo's been noisy recently. Yeah, it's great. It is good. I think he's waking up. I'm. Have my. Uh -huh. Can I just not read, or have all my my awesome shaders vanished? Don't know. Oh. Hmm. Well, while Bugs uh, uh, gets that sorted out. Oh, hold on. Oh, Demi Friend 435 says, well, guess who started the first job in retail? Good! Congratulations! Don't do one single minute more work than you're being paid for. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. I don't care how busy the floor is. If you're on cashier, you're on cashier, okay? Okay. This is my advice. This is my... Think of Chillchuck. Just... <laughs> Visualize chill truck in your heart. And fuck up. Oh, why Anyways. did making this big make it lighter? That's interesting. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Right? I don't know. You anime introed his melanin that I way. Did. Maybe that's what's happening. <laughs> Being paid bi weekly, but I work 18 hours usually? Fuck yes. Uh, si side note, just because Frankie Friday reminded me of this, um,. I recently took a selfie for Trans Day Visibility, which, hey, to those who share pictures, to those who don't, to those who just get themselves a treat, fuck yeah, we out here, boys. Uh, I had just enough of my Franky figurine in the shot to be apparently really distracting. <laughs> <laughs> I get one sexy anime figurine. You do. Uh, you do. And it's Franky, although I really gotta glue thing. I, the problem is I gotta like glue okay. one of his hands back shit, on. Like, hell yeah. Oh shit, we got a dono. Oh, I'm ah. sorry. I was so busy playing oh, with shit. my toys. Uh, real quick. Pursue literally any time, forever, in perpetuity. Absolutely yes. You very sweet. Also the national anthem. I am literally saluting. <laughs> Thank you, okay, Raven Bonifoy. Tip ten dollars says flips your bugs. Yo. Whatever. Fuck you. Thank Fuck you. you. Fuck you. <clears throat> Fuck you. How dare you? Let me get you a. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Poor chat. <laughs> but bugs has been a little bit nervous uh, about well, coming back to the game. <laughs> mm, uh, well, <clears throat> you know. Uh -huh. You know. Uh -huh. You know. I'm not saying Bugs is currently in a pet carrier. <laughs> 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 meowing mournfully, uh, clawing at the front uh, of it. <laughs> the brave bug. The, the bug is brave. I am brave. I am brave. I'm cool and brave. So, hold on, I gotta pin what Holly just said. <laughs> What's wrong? Haha, ha, it's just a whole movie. <laughs> now, uh, what I the fuck? How did I do that? Bond, I messed it up. Thank you for su well. thank you for subscribing, Plutes Boots. Sorry, and on my end, it looked like I was just futzing around with this while it's gray, it's transparent. Holy fuck! Oh How did yeah, I do this? no, this it's, is a it's, ghost. Uh, you you've done some new things to this man. You're like discovering. <laughs> Why are you putting him over me? Is that like my aura now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Plutes Boots. Uh, Happy 5th of April, the Hooray. Fool's Day! That was the closest Coach Z I've ever done! Yeah. That was scary! You did good, you did good. I don't like that! Hooray! Happy 4th! Oh, uh, no, this stream does not endorse McDonald's. No, we endorse Frankie! Yeah. Please buy all- Nobody endorses McDonald's! Buy all our play sets and toys of Frankie. Good ass coach voice there. Thank you, Holly! I think- I- I think I- I can get it. I- I- I found the gear for the nasal pitch. The rest of it is just the coach's e isms He's a stencil now? Christ. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm How's the other side of the screen? I'm gonna be real- I've stopped playing. I'm- I'm pat- you can play with your JPEGs. I don't mind if you play with your JPEGs. It- it's pretty comfy over here. Like, it's not messy. Bugs doesn't, like, uh, leave trash or nothing I around. I have nice loam. I missed it twice a day. Mm -hmm. It's good. It- it is nice, honestly. It is nice mm -hmm. to- to sit on the doy. Uh, mm -hmm. 
I don't know if Bugs gets much out of, like, the electric array over there. I wouldn't pull, like, any of those levers. Oh, like... no. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, I did touch a button with my tongue for fun, and that hurt. I mean, you get one free. You yeah. get one yeah. free. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's fine. Uh, also extensively discussing how shit-ass McDonald's is count as talking about bummers in chat. Knock it off, folks. Anyways. It's snowing. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. We're not. Jesus Christ. Wow. It's a miracle. <clears throat> so, hold on. I gotta clear my throat off my... I wasn't eating the loam. Don't believe okay. the lies. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Uh, let's see. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna drink my drink, which is I, I like to get special beverages, mm -hmm. and I order uh, the black sugar I like from an Asian grocery store in like 50 miles away town, whose name you don't get to know because I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. Uh -huh. Maybe more than 50 miles away. That's Jesus. Hold on a sec. And I decided to get some funny, like, drinks to go with it. Thank you for redeeming eating a wasp, Mega Rayquaza 502. We appreciate it. Very brave of you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I got, like, some different drinks. And it's like, you know, I got an Ume Plum Soda that I'm looking forward to. I got a Boss Coffee purely out of nostalgia. Just and what else 14 did you get? year old. <gasps> well, I'm cracking open a pretty nice looking... It's a high, hot brew vanilla latte BTS. 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 Um, it's got what I assume must be like the founder of the company on it. It's a very nice looking young man. Um, Would you say he has like beautiful cow eyes? He's got the beautiful trusting eyes of a deer, yes. Okay. And he's sitting very casually and he's got rather nice little bangs. Uh, good for him for founding coffee, mm -hmm. I think. Uh-huh. I look away from when it's snowing now. Well, okay. you know how it is. Uh, Happy April. Yeah. Basically, I saw Hot Brew Vanilla Latte BTS, and I was seized with the desire to get it. Can I think it's just going to taste like boy normal so vanilla. In chat knows which boy this is. Oh, yeah, let me let me send you the picture. I did take a picture. Did I send it to my computer? Let me, let me send it over. And then I'll take a, a quick one. I do know how it is. The snowstorm just ended in my area. That's right. You were saying like the other morning, like it's up to my ankles. What's a BTS snail? You live in a wonderful world. It's it's it's, it's a, a, a group of young men who sing and dance. I think yeah, specifically in Korea. Better tall song. <laughs> Never mind. It's what Ollie <laughs> says it is. Bacon turkey shrimp. Jesus Christ. Breaking Bad Boy Scouts. Behind the scenes. That's a pretty good cold vanilla latte in a bottle. I, that, I that's just fine. I understand it to be from a girl that I was like, like heavily flirting with in gym class, and she was flirting back of like, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. probably mm -hmm, I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, I understand it means burn the stage. Hmm. You know, I never actually knew. Yeah, and now what you know. it stood for. That's pretty good. I like that. That's mm -hmm. that's a good name. I, yeah. I always enjoy um, various names. I am now, once again, my brain is filled with just thinking about the name Bump of Chicken. Yeah, Bump of Chicken. Which is, is a Japanese good. band, of course. Which, by the way, if you guys know them from the theme song for Dungeon Delicious, feels weird saying that. Delicious uh, and Dungeon. Please know you should. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the music video for the song because it's really fun. You should check that out. Oh, look at that blurry bow yeah, hug good. that showed up there for a second. All right. <laughs> Who can name him? <clears throat> Who is this man? Who's this fine young man? Does anyone know which boy this is? Hot brew. I don't Steve. believe it's Steve. George Washington. I don't believe I it's George Washington. Brew. BTS number four. Camden Yards. Camden Yards. Have you have seen you, this man? Have you Gerald seen this Steve? man in your dreams? Have you seen this man in your dreams? Name of Vanilla Latte. He signed it Vanilla no Latte. No one in our chat is going to tell us which. Dear YouTube, I know there's BTS more viewers on YouTube brew. than is ever in our chat at once. Hey Munchies Paldo BTS Hot Brew. There's definitely going to be like a bunch of different ones. Someone on YouTube. 
I am sending psychic energy to our BTS fan viewers, and hello, thank you for your work, I respect your ways. Which boy is this? <laughs> Which boy it's is not this? Dale Gribble! My god, there's been like a whole different, there's been a bunch of different lines of BTS coffee, so I have to like narrow down to this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Right, Nia Suri says, I think you're just the coffee man. Jibber Jabber says, that's my buddy Eric. Seriously, which one? Do you think is I could the... write off like the three bucks I paid for this as a work expense now? Yeah, I think so. Let's let's just do tax fraud on there. It's fine. It's not tax fraud if I bought it for and explicitly used it for uh -huh. a show. That's true. Yeah, I live in New York. Sure. <clears throat> All right. Show me which one this is. <laughs> Who is this man? <laughs> We're gonna find out, like, someone on YouTube's gonna go like, Hey, I love BTS. I've never seen this man before in my life. Oh, Where fuck. did you get this? Oh, uh, you know, they say the last guy who bought a, a cup of coffee, he looked just like this guy. Mm -hmm. This is literally why I send money to Ko-Fi to buy a coffee. Oh, shit, literally, I did do, I did do the thing. Oh, yay! Why am I not getting alerts? Oh, fuck! Hang on. Uh oh. Let me let me refresh and try sending an alert and see if that's okay. I'm so fucking yeah, sorry. Luck. I'm not ignoring those on purpose. I promise. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. It's never a gag. Oh, he's gone. Well, goodbye, mysterious coffee man. Yeah, I moved too quick and scared him. <clears throat> oh, from hey, the Saturday zoo. Studios. For boy drinks, thirty dollars. Thank you so Yay! much. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. We really appreciate it. Let me get you your honks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Let me, do it. Do, 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 Let me get the little ones too. Yes. This one's for Goose. I know Goose doesn't listen, but little baby honk. I just love other people's kids, you know. There we go. That's a good wobble. Coffee donut. Does this work? And then one of these. Last minute note, he's fine. Oh, sorry. Nope, she's that's sleeping. Not okay, it. hold on. Huh. Is he under webhooks? That's an old one. N ignore that chat. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> just pulling stuff on screen. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it to work. I'm sorry. Thank you all for your generosity. Thank, thank you, you all specifically for your, patience. for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hang on, let me do a test. <laughs> Wiggling twanger scared me. I thought something right. bad happened. You're a little high, high tense, huh? All right, should be fine now. <clears throat> Um, if that doesn't work, fuck. I'll try to keep on top of it. I'm so sorry. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> it, worst case scenario, uh, if donations don't pop up, we will just make a habit of checking them on breaks, and we will get to them then. <sighs> and we know you all will be very patient and kind to us, mm -hmm. and still send us your money. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Streaming. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Solemn courses of no praying gal, but dungeon man, if you're not there. <laughs> oh god. I will say, would that make us like less scared while playing? I don't want to disrupt the, game? The, the tension. Is the thing you know? We have to legally. We have to though. Um. Why have the bosses switched places? Because it's April Fools! Yeah. This Happy is April great... Fools! It's April Fools! This is our great gag April, April Fools! April the 5th! This is our Back great Back in my gag. day, April Fools lasted the whole month! Anyways. <sighs> I just saw an April mind. choke on a fool! <clears throat> they both died! Shut up! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Why that cartoon? Why did you imprint on it that one? It was the one? first one I saw. Ow. Can I have a good time tonight? Can I have a good time tonight? <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, uh, I've been having straight up nightmares about this game. I've been, yeah. I've been having dreams about the walrus level. 
Um, I keep, like, my heart pounds when I think about it. Um, very exciting. <laughs> you all have to know, I... I, I have, like, assured bugs, like, if we gotta take breaks, if we gotta play other games, <laughs> they want to play this. I, I know it sounds increasingly unethical I do. I do. to make bugs go through this, but we're, we're big scared babies, but we oh, want to see Thank you, because... Raven Bonifle. You said $10 says testing. Testing. One, two, three. Oh, you money. don't have to do that. Thank oh, you. Thank you, Raven Bonifle. <laughs> Get you one of those. We're now two. Oh, hold on. Ripped it. I, I don't think Automophone is like officially the fifty dollar donation marker, but I like oh you okay there, buddy? Oh. You okay? <laughs> I was like Romeo. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, I get to do my Bugs, you don't have to Tuning. do this. No, I want to. That's the thing. That's the terror. That's I love Sorry, horror. Sorry, he's chatty. I'm so scared. I love horror and I'm so scared of it. You know? Yeah, that's... Which, speaking of, by the way, uh, thank you, it was Catalyzed, right? Oh, yeah! Was, uh, Catalyzed sent Bugs a recommendation for a specific movie. Uh, Psycho, which is, the big family, the large family. Yes. Holy shit. Which is shit. A, a fake documentary movie, which is, like, <laughs> set up like an NH NHK documentary. Yeah. Which... In the format of the other movies it released in a series, Sorry, in, hang on, I think hang the on. series is. Electronic Beth says the BTS man is named RM, formerly Rap Monster. Holy shit! Let's go. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you like, for your and his real name is Kim Neju. Neju? Sorry. Thank you, eBay. Thank you, rap Electronic Monster. Beth, for finding that out. Now we know. Thank I'm you. I am drinking delicious blend of Rap Monster, which is a great name. Yeah. I got no. I, that fits right in. Yeah. Fucking awesome. <laughs> I will say it's a nice coffee. It's not too sweet. It's uh -huh. very lightly vanilla. It's definitely like bottled cold coffee. Ooh. It's a good. That's a decent. I, if you like a canned coffee, it's a good time. And oh. I like a canned coffee. No, no, Ag Pendragon. They're all the vanilla flavor, brother. I don't think that's true. I don't think he <laughs> good. Legally, I do not co-sign. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, though. Uh, yeah, uh, this movie, uh, uh, Psycho Big Family, is from a series of films that the way I will say is that the series is called Removed from Te Airing or something mm -hmm. like that. Banned from broadcast in Japanese. Banned from broadcast. But saying that, a lot of the movie is like, a very sweet little documentary about like a slightly dysfunctional family and like their their trials of like getting to know uh it's it's a big family with like a lot of kids and they've got like a new dad uh we find out like the the man who's like the dad now like has only been there for like some years their last dad kind of vanished mm -hmm. um so there's like some difficulty settling in the kids no not like hereditary <laughs> uh <laughs> The, the kids aren't quite used to him. You know, it's like kind of normal stuff fitting in. Normal stuff. Mm -hmm. They've got a big- Why is there a knife in the fruit basket? There's a big vegetable garden in the backyard that's about the size mm -hmm. of a human man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will say uh, because, you know, you need some degree of consent to engage with this kind of media. This is a horror movie. But I will say it is a very gentle horror movie. Mm -hmm. Where, like, the most content warnings I would give for it is, like, blood. a lot of focus on family interaction, blood. Uh, there is, like, a thing you find out pretty early on where, like, one of the middle daughters will, like, physically attack the new dad. Yeah. And that's kind of brutal. So, like, not again. The violence level isn't brutal. It's mm -hmm. a sixteen-year-old lightly trying to attack someone. Yeah. But if you have any problems with like family tension or uh, scenes like that, you know, be warned. That's why we like lay this out. Mm -hmm. Oops. It's a really good movie, and I highly recommend watching it with like a friend on call yeah. or in a group chat. Because watching it together so that you have multiple eyes <laughs> to go, Hey, did you see X? 
no <laughs> is really fun. Yeah, Frankie and I both had separate things mm -hmm. that we noticed in that. Which is really funny because mine was like out of focus in the foreground mm -hmm. and yours was out of focus in the background. Yeah. Ugh. And I and I had a moment where I saw something that was only motion. Yes. That we had to like watch a separate like video on YouTube examining it. Yes. To figure out what we were seeing. Really good. And I'll say this. Good it's kind of a horror movie with a happy ending. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weirdly. <clears throat> like, I'm, I'm just going to lay that out there. <clears throat> the typing was so nice. Okay. Don't! Why would you do this? <laughs> Did that give you the Terrible. Tables? No. Attack you. How does it compare with Neroi? Uh, it compares with Neroi by being infinitely less intense than Neroi. Yeah. Neroi is like getting four shots of espresso added to your latte yeah. or like a cafe au <laughs> lait yes, I'm so sorry. and drinking that and Jesus Christ. <laughs> New donation. No, that is not a donation <laughs> noise. 200 human dollars. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Neroi is like a cup full of kerosene that you light on fire. Yeah. It's good. Before you drink it. This is like a spicy juice. Mm -hmm. this, this is like, oh, there's a little bit of pepper in this apple juice. This is like a ginger tea. Is the, the And that's not saying like it's not effective. It's very tense in some places. And if you're like us and you enjoy going like, hey, something's off. Yeah. Hey, something's off. Yeah. Hey, but like, like. Oh, actually, here's something I'll say for the parents. The kids are the kids wind up fine. All of the kids that are alive in the movie are fine. Yeah. Like, the kids aren't actually going to be in severe danger. This yeah. is the kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the kids are fine. Yep. Nodding silently at the microphone as mm -hmm. if you can see mm -hmm. that. Um, mm -hmm. Pepper and apple juice sounds like a perfect April Fool's joke. It's a cold remedy, actually. Oh. Huh. Mm -hmm. See, well, you can also do it with, like, uh, straight up, like, simmer, like, a little piece of ginger root in, like, either water or, like, apple juice mm -hmm. and just kind of have that, like, a little cider. That's See, a nice time. My Nana would just cut up an apple and put it in a bowl of brandy <laughs> and I'd sleep after I That's had that. That's what white people do. <laughs> I'd sleep good. I'd be out. <laughs> Sleepy time. <laughs> uh, it is called Psycho, spelled like this. Large family. Uh, Psycho the Large Family. Thank you, people in chat. And by the way, you can find this one on YouTube, subtitled, right now. Uh -huh. That might not be true forever, but right now, that is how we were able to watch it. And what's worse is that it's a part of apparently like seven total movies that aren't connected by plot, but all have this type of format. And it's the only one with subtitles. Yeah, um, because uh, this one is marketed and designed very intentionally, really, really good as being a like, yeah. um, uh, bilingual, like NHK it's documentary. It's an amazing documentary about the wonders of Japan. Yes, yes. And mystical uh, concepts in Japanese, such as domestic violence. And ghost photographs. <laughs> the the lady narrator uh, they have for it is so I, her fucking accent, good. I, it's gotta be... It said Canada. I was like, it Australian. said Canada on there, which was Australian. the funniest thing. Because she talks like fucking maybe there's a place in, grandma. Look, <laughs> maybe we don't know enough Canadian accents, and there's just a place in Canada... Where people oh. sound really close to Australian. She's amazing because, so... like, after the dad first gets, like, beaten by the daughter, she goes, What happened to the Japanese concept of honoring the father, like, in samurai tradition? It's so fucking funny. It's oh, it's really, too really on the good. nose. It hurts. The, it's, it's exactly <laughs> like the script for a Japanese script for a white woman to read. It's great. <laughs> it's really good. It's, it's really, really good. good. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and after we watched that, we then went on to watch some of um, oh, yeah. uh, fake documentary Q, which I, I don't know how well known this is. I know uh, Nightmind did a video on it. <clears throat> Uh, but Fake Documentary Q is great because it is just a YouTube channel that just makes 
various types of what I guess you could call like found footage or lost documentary horror. Mm -hmm. I'm a big nerd and I think lost documentary is slightly different than found footage. Found footage is raw uncut footage from a mysterious source. Fake documentary requires like the documentary trappings of it. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but they're really nice because they're all in Japanese but they all have like English subtitles. Uh, and they're just different short little films with very different vibes. Uh, we watched uh, the haunted videotape one. Oh, yeah. Which is great because was... it's very much like... <laughs> very clearly in that... someone's actual video store. <laughs> yes. No, the Oji-san <clears throat> running that store. Yeah. The mushroom cut. Yeah. The string glasses that they can hang around the neck. The, ho the Aloha shirt impeccable energy really good really really good uh and we also watched biovac which is one of my personal favorites oh, because that of... was so creepy that one was great because that okay so the first one is like oh this is a uh, footage that was going to be put on television and then for some reason was shelved and when we got the footage we were told that no no actually it's it's a fake documentary nothing in this ever happened Yes, the people who made it died, but and the, uh, Biovac is um, just, well, this woman is a live streamer who live streams like nature walks in the forest. Um, and that one's great because you spend the whole time like, this is a lovely nature walk. I am so fucking tense. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think we watched... Did we watch, like... Oh, yeah, we watched uh, Hidden Link. That one... Ugh. Oh, man, that was so... And, like, and there's more links. No. No, there's not. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> the, the sad bug noise. No. <laughs> yeah, Frankie got to hear that a lot. It was really good. And I feel so bad because I'm, like, as tense as Bugs is, but I crack up whenever Bugs <laughs> makes this noise. Because it's, like, so plaintive. Uh, but uh, 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 the, the Hidden Link one is really fun because it's, like... Oh, yeah, we also watched House of Mirrors. Oh, House of Mirrors was ah! crazy. Yeah, no, when you hit the comments and see what's going on, you're like, oh. Yeah. No, and that one's great because, like, you already watched the whole thing, like, really tense because it's, like someone going through a house with a video camera looking at all the rooms confirming that everything's like normal oh there's a mirror oh there's a second mirror oh there's another mirror oh there's another mirror oh there's another mirror so you're already tense as hell and then you get to the end and they do the like but if you slow down the footage and you go no yeah no yeah. no oh. <laughs> i <clears throat> my uh, Noroi and the other works by Noroi's director mm -hmm. is, like, the champion of, like, no, not the slowed down yeah, zoom no, in, no, look no, at the no, footage! Oh. Oh. oh, it's so good. It's so good. <sighs> it's always the worst. Um, did anything else happen? Let's see. Uh, I finished... Oh, I read a... what. Oh, good. Oh, uh, I finished Earthsea book one. It was really good, and I'm on Earthsea book two. Yeah. And it was so good, I ordered I... book three in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I, I gotta start it on Earthsea. I'll probably check it out soon once I'm done. It's with, really uh, good. Um, I, I I read through What Feasts at Night, which yes. is the second book in T. Kingfisher's uh, Sworn Soldier series, which I really hope gets another book in the... I'm hopeful that the fact that the publishing company made up a name... Yeah. <clears throat> ...and called it, like, Sworn Soldier makes me really hopeful. Uh, yes, it's out. I ordered the hard copy as a special little treat, and it's a very nice hardcover. Um, literally, my only complaint with What Feasts at Night is that it's, like, a novella, and I wish there was, like six more like yes. it. I'm real into T. Kingfish right now. T. Kingfish is so good! Ursula Vernon is so good! Uh, what Feasts at Night is a sequel to What Moves the Dead, which is a harrowing... Okay. Here's the pitch for What Moves the Dead. A young officer, whose gender is officer. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. <laughs> These books have uh, other language pronouns, which include Va and Vaughn, 
which I think specifically are the ones for soldiers. And what I always love is the background details. It's like, yeah, we also got specific pronouns for priests, gods, and rocks. It's like, that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. But, no, not a cab. A soldier's different than a cop. It's not good, but people become a soldier for a lot of reasons. Like, in this protagonist's case, to be able to spend m send money back to their crumbling family homestead. But anyways, uh, they get a letter from their friend that says that she thinks her brother thinks that she's dying and they come to the house of usher which is oh. moldering and rotting mm -hmm. and something is wrong and their friends have aged beyond their years oh. and something is wrong and if you brush and their arms rabbits. the hairs yeah. on their arm fall off and there's rabbits, there's hares, and the hares don't move right, and they stare at you without fear, and they move jerkily, and they wander, and they wander into the tar, and the tarn that glows at night, there's something wrong with the water. And it's great because it's Ursula Vernon, so there's a lot of witty dialogue also. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, indomitable English woman who paints mushrooms. Who yeah, I kind Beatrix of Potter is in this. Yippee! No, no, Beatrix Potter's aunt. Honest, honest, oh, legally okay. distinct. Yay! Uh, and What Feast at Night is a sequel to this, which involves uh, the same main character, uh, Easton, mm -hmm. going to the hunting lodge that they own back in their home f country, which is a fictional home country. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, here's a really good quote, like, just straight up from the dust jacket. Your mother never wanted your father to tell the old stories to you children. Said it would give you nightmares. But you of all people know there are things, real and uncanny alike, that we ought to fear in order to survive. The hunting lodge is abandoned and the caretaker is long gone. And there is something in the dreams. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Read T. Kingfisher books. Mm -hmm. The horror movie, the horror books are great, and the animals are always fine. That is the that is the the promise. That is the oath. We can guarantee Finally. it. Night. Bye. But yeah, uh, I read that and literally like enjoyed it so much that I got the <laughs> audio book. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Thank you for not calling me Wally. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, that was cynical. We had an incident earlier this night. Um... No! Don't say you're gonna now I have to shoot you. Come back in 30 minutes. <laughs> if you survive getting shot, join our audience like you don't have rabies. <laughs> Why would you self-incriminate like that? <laughs> <laughs> uh. You self-reported! <laughs> we saw you over the body! <laughs> I'm sorry, please come back in like 30 minutes and just go with the flow Yes, I chat. promise Thank you'll you. be fine. We just have to be really firm about this yes. for reasons. Anyways, not to- by the way, I remember whenever I do this, people are like, Oh, the Welcome Home fandom. The Welcome Home fandom is fine. Yeah. They're lovely. Yeah. They're sweethearts. Yeah. We're just trying to do I can't comment on any shipping at any point because I saw what happened in Steven Universe, but you're all doing wonderful, I promise. Thank you, Selena <laughs> Courses. Shout out to Epic Divorce Guy Chuckle Fuck. So true. So true. So true. <sighs> okay. Hold up a sec. Hold oh. on, hold on. Phantasm Gorilla shared a dream I have to share. Recently, I had a dream that that water duck starter from Scarlet Violet appeared in the new Legends Arceus game, and its evolution was just this middle Eva with really, really long legs, like a Let's Lola go. execute size. Let's fucking go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I... We can't have another Catboy Benry incident here. <laughs> I, I did once see, I believe it was a, a charity marathon for um, um, Gorilla Milk. Oh, this is terrible. You know, the chocolate gorilla. Milk Ape. Milk um, Gorilla, yeah. Milk Ape. And uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a Minecraft game, and they had just figured out how to put gifts on signs, and it was like... Right after uh, HLVRI had come out and was very mm -hmm. popular and Catboy Benry was going around, it was very funny logging in and immediately seeing Catboy Benry wandering on all fours up to the camera being used for charity oh as a gift someone had put in. It's like, wow, these things can well, become good. How wonderful. It's true. 
It's true. Anyways, now that we've done psychic damage to our audience... <laughs> Uh, is there anything else? Let's see, you've been reading Earthsea, I gotta read Earthsea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, gosh, uh... I think that's mostly- we've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. Yeah. Bugs has been playing it in Japanese, and I've been playing it in English in it's, a very normal way. It's been very fun, because I've been, uh, mostly using it to, like, uh, talk to blathers, so now I know the kanji mm -hmm. for like plant eating dinosaur, meat eating mm -hmm. dinosaur, dinosaur mm -hmm. era, lots mm -hmm. of different kinds of shells. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how like to get to the post office, but I can mm -hmm. say uh, Q mm -hmm. G die, so it's good. It's good. Uh, which, by the way, I just want to note partially started, I think, because. Um... Someone online literally just made shit up about how the villagers speak in Japanese yeah. in a way that you could immediately identify as a lie by just looking at a screen cap of any dialogue from the game. Like, really fun, like, literally, like, old classic ass. Oh, congrats, Plutes. Oh, well, in Japanese, actually. Oh shit, congrats, Demi friend, 435. Four, it's always wonderful to figure out what's going on for yourself. Hell yeah, congrats. And congrats to Plutes Boots, who turned 34 and got an HRT. It's always wonderful to hear. But yeah, uh, literally some, like, we'll see this type of villager only uses this pronoun, and it's, like, just not, mm -hmm. not true. Mm -hmm. Just literally made up. Mm -hmm. It's good, it's good. And they were claiming, like, Oh, well, in Japanese, in the original GameCube game, uh, they were nicer than in the American translation, and so the American translation was clearly done to punch up a weak script, which made both of us go, like, mm -hmm. I don't think that's true. I think you lied I don't to think me. that's... As soon as someone asserts something like that, I go, that's an insane thing to assert. Mm -hmm. How could you possibly know that without pulling up, like, screen cap comparisons so the ants the main reason i'm bringing this up is never assume someone online knows what they're talking about when it comes to the original japanese script of something unless you can look at their profile and it says like professional translator and even then pay attention to the information they're sharing that goddamn dog is on screen again isn't it no you sure? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay. I trust you. Why is it flickering? I don't- it's What a, have you done? What did I do? Bit aside, you've made it like into a CRT screen. How did I do that? I don't it's know. It's Sharpen that makes it flicker. What? Holly says that means me I need to send something to my wife. Oh, I bet <laughs> that's something sweet and normal. Aww. I bet it's not a dog wearing a little hat at all. No, it's not going to be a dog wearing a little hat. Anyways. Well, speaking of the horrors. <sighs> we probably can't. We we can't put it off any longer. It's 9.14. Mm -hmm. Hello uh, and welcome to Frankenbugs. The streaming duo of a Frankenstein and the bug. And I am Frankie Frankenstein, your co-host, who's usually on the other side of the screen. Uh, I am usually the person moderating chat the most directly, although today... Due to the content of this stream, Puzz has a hammer made out of guns. It's the exploding hammer from Bloodborne. And all other mods also, even if they don't know for sure <laughs> if something's a spoiler or not, have full authority to fire off a 10 minute mute as needed. Anyways, that being said, I am the co-commentator. I am a voice actor. My name is a human man's name. And I am a Frankenstein. Hello. I also write funny things online from time to time. And with me, as always, every single time, without missing a single stream, is Bugs, uh, aka Face Full of Bugs, uh, aka uh, uh, Gooster Bold, uh, who is also an artist, <coughs> who has I... made a great deal of art, makes all I... of the uh, channel art, literally, except for like, if it's Pixel, I did it. I... If it's a KHUX poster, we did it together. Otherwise, it's all bugs. 
Uh, not we're not doing rules yet. We're not doing rules yet. I just got started a little bit early. Uh, and you can check out the art at uh, uh, Gooster Bold at Tumblr if you'd like to see more of it. There's gay bold men in there sometimes. Mm -hmm. I promise. Mm -hmm. I promise there is. Mm -hmm. If you go back far enough, you'll start finding Lupin the Third comics we did together. That's your Easter egg hunt. I guess. It's, bro. it's not an Easter egg hunt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's, they're thank good. you, Emma. They're good. I, I doodled that in Wasn't one nice? sitting, and then I, I cranked that out in another one sitting of just inking and coloring. Like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. We have to do yeah. this. We have to do this. I can't the fear. not work on it. The fear. Uh, and as always, <laughs> thank you for the support you guys have already shown. If you would like to donate, we really appreciate that, because this is 64. our main job. 64. Thank you for resubscribing Ghost of Christmas Future. If you'd like to subscribe, too, that does also help us, and we do appreciate it. You found us through Loop. Of course you did, Flora Fawn. I remember you. <laughs> from the Zenny. Oh, for my Zenny got a Twitter account. Wow, that was a while ago. I forgot. Anyways. I'm putting you back to normal. I'm putting me back to normal. I can't take myself seriously. You can't, seriously you can't live like this. Like this. You can't, can't live like this. this. <laughs> <laughs> we could just stay on one screen like, together. Like, we could share yeah, the scared. left side. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm coming over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Just directly into my shoulder, <laughs> tucked in gently. <laughs> But anyways, that being said, if you'd like to support the channel, we do absolutely appreciate it. And you have the ability in your hands to cut the tension with goofy noises because every honk, that's $5. Somebody gave us $5, they get a honk. They get a little honk, even if you donate two fifty. If another person donates two fifty, that's honks, baby. In mm -hmm. fact, you might even get the rare spare change of the jingle, the tiny jingles. We have the Flexitone every $30. I'm just going to sprung it. That guy. You know, that guy. Okay. $69 gets you the slide whistle. Uh, every $20 is one of these. Sometimes I bring out the automaphone. Uh, and if we reach $100, I get to play the worst kazoo you've ever heard and do... Mm -hmm. Let's say the Goosebumps theme tonight. Why not? Fuck it. If we reach $120, Bugs has to play with the squeaky toy they own. And if we reach Yay. $200, we will actually have to put on Dungeon Man. We will have to put on Dungeon Man. We will legally have to put on Dungeon Man <sighs> for 10 minutes and leave you guys with it on break. But as always, donations are not required. Dungeon they are just tonight. highly appreciated. Thank like you for subscribing, Synapse, today. Thank you for giving us Don't a curse. Don't say that to Good me. God. Don't say that to me. I'm scared of so <laughs> many start things going, tonight. Dungeon Man! Oh, Dungeon queue. Man! <laughs> Don't do that. Fox is gonna get like a negative association Don't to do Dungeon that to Man me. music. Don't do that Bucky to me. is gonna turn to the camera no. and go, What the fuck is no, that no, noise? No, 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 no. That is like, I keep getting scared. I'm gonna move the window and Bucky will be looking at me and he will have fucked up eyes. I don't. <laughs> that is like. Fuck! <laughs> <Bug. laughs> Anyways, real quick, let's go over the rules. I'm gonna put them in chat real quick. And I'm going to pull them up on my side real quick. As you all know, when we go through the rules, the accepted format is that I am going to ask you questions about the rules and give you a quick, a little question session. <laughs> Don't question what I just said. <laughs> you shut up. You want to do the rules? I can send you the rules in no, chat. No, no, you no, can no, do no, the... No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, can I... oh, do I have a hint, man, right oh. now? We, we should make a point redeem that pulls up a hint about, man I, somehow. Good night. Yay, about thank you, Bugs Pops! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, tonight, I would like to ask you a very important question. Do you think when streamers are playing a game with involved clues and puzzles and hints, that they want you to tell them the fucking answer? No! Do we want you to tell us what to do? That's right! No! Tonight of all nights, do not tell us what to do unless we explicitly say, Chat, do you know? And even then, I'm gonna be real, we're gonna ask Puzz. <laughs> we, we got the Nintendo hotline of Puzz <laughs> on call tonight. And speaking of which, are you gonna tell spoilers? And by that I mean, is anyone in chat gonna go, oh, did you get to the part where... Mm -hmm. And then you say a thing that hasn't happened yet? That's right. No, boss. You just gonna let us play 
you can ask. Here's what if new people come in, if you want to ask where we're at, you can say, um, what have you gotten to? Sorry, one second. Because we're going to discuss. Go ahead. Real quick. I just have to ask my pop something. Pops. Okay. You have to use um, NATO code for tech support, right? Like when you're saying like R is in whatever. When, when you're like talking to clients and you have to spell out something, you say like, oh, it's T is in whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what is R? It's Romeo, right? Romeo. Not repeat? No. Okay. Okay, sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, re repeat, and I'm convinced repeat, and that isn't part of the code. It's just marking that, like, the yeah. code okay. has ended, and it's just one sentence. Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. okay sorry good. about that. Anyways, that's okay. Now, speaking of which, the last one I'm gonna say... Let's see, I'm gonna pick out of here. Hmm. Staying roughly on topic. Hey, Squeaks, Nicole, okay, nice to see you again. Hello, Squeaks. We want you to... And remember... Who makes the rules? Someone else. Wait, we do. We make the rules! Which means, on top of not spoiling us and not telling us what to do, we can also just get people for whatever reason we want to, so stay on your toes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, let's see, Bugs, you got a rule you want to throw in tonight? Uh... You have to be so nice to me. That's already a rule. You, you have, already have to be so, so nice, nice to me. Bugs. You have to be nicer to Bugs than usual. You have to make sure Bucky isn't going to turn around and look at the camera with a fucked up face and say, You did it. And I'll go, No! I don't think, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they can control that. Uh, mm. Let's see. Final rule. Uh, I will once again remind folks that we are a goofy <coughs> stream. We are local live action, we're local access television children's show for adults. Despite the fact that there is a great deal of grim things happening in the world, this is not particularly a place to discuss any of them. However, we will note here at the top, as we always do when I discuss this one, free Palestine, free all of the colonial states mm -hmm, in this world. Mm -hmm. America should not have control over the state of God, Hawaii. Should it should not. be an independent nation. Yep. Uh, not to mention Puerto Rico. Not to mention the horrible things happening in other countries, including the Congo, mm -hmm. including a lot of places in this world. Mm -hmm. That is where we lay on all of those things. If you don't like it, Fuck off. Yeah. But otherwise, we're not going to discuss it in depth in chat because we're here to have a nice time. I hope that's a nice mixture of <laughs> fuck off yeah. and we're here to play silly game. Exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, what I was that's thinking it. was we go through, mm -hmm. just because uh, I remember this having some yes. intense mechanics uh, described here. Yes. Uh, we go through this page yeah, again, uh, and then I would like to yeah. rewatch the Mount Pinatuba video again. Um, that sounds good to me. Just because... Uh, do we want to do this before or after we discuss, like, what we've gotten through in the game so far? Oh, yeah, you should do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're going to go back over uh, A Helping Nub by Stumbler and Wolf. Uh, and we're going to go over Mount Pinatuba. I agree we should go over that. Mm -hmm. But just real quick, here is the general quick map of where we're at in the game. We have gone through the corrected variation of the game, which is to say we went through the version that the developers of this, and remember, when we talk about this, we're talking in fiction, pointing at you all. It's fun to discuss things in fiction. Mm -hmm. the, the version they made, that's a cleaned up version of what was originally on the shelf. We went through that. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit uh, edgy, I'll say, but like Banjo and Kazooie devs, if they could have made a Disney game, and got permission to do these things, they'd have some weird stuff in it. There'd, there'd be something strange, you know? Mm -hmm. Jibba -jabba I, I think nice. in Donkey Kong 64, you have to like dodge the bound and bandaged. Be nice, Jibba Jabba. Oh, Kadois, like we talked that. about the, uh, the Psycho after you showed it to us. Thank you so much for that again. That was such a great viewing. Yeah, uh, we did talk about that. That's okay. Okay, you good. <laughs> I, I just maintained tone. Anyways, uh, we went through that. And then we went through a fairly normal playthrough of the version of the game that wound up on shelves. Is very explicitly the way that that's given to us. This is the original version of the game. This is like what was in there originally. And so far we've learned there's some things in the walrus level that don't show up normally. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in the darkness, including what looks to be a human man and a human woman and we've found a couple of things from thinking outside the box including a YouTube channel which we are going to look at one of the YouTube videos from and hmm we found a website 
And we found that if we interact with some of our friends in an unusual way, specifically our uh, friend, the gull bird. Oh, the goose. The goose, thank you. Mm -hmm. We went through a different version of his mini game that sent us to a place in the game that usually doesn't exist in gameplay, but is suggested by areas of game we've been through before. We've cooked in the kitchen, and then we found our way to the dining room, which had an arm on a plate. Mm -hmm. That's fine. It sure looked like a... Uh... did look like a blue rabbit arm. Yeah, I would say. That's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then eventually we found a museum. And here's what I'm going to just establish talking about. Remember, this all was in the game as it shipped, is what we're told. This is all in the game. And then we found something beyond the museum, too. A very dark place that Bucky did not want to go into. And as we went into it, Bucky commented on, like, the smell being bad, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Mm -hmm. And Bucky specifically talked to us, because remember, in the game, we're his imaginary friend. Mm -hmm. In the concept of the game, Bucky knows we're there. We are a character, kind of, to him, that he openly said, just reset. Just reset so that we go back to the normal game. I want to go home. And we didn't listen. Uh, Snapday says, I think the YouTube video is autoplaying real quick. Oh, what? No, it's not. It's muted. No, it's not. Oh, oh, shit. It's muted. It changed. It changed oh. to Roy Orbison. Oh. What? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it went two Roberson tracks. Thank you for noticing that. Great! Thank you, Thank you for telling us. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Roy Orbison's but anyways, jump scare. <laughs> yes. Uh, that, that's just a quick recap. Uh, there's some other stuff I'd like to recap, like the discussion of the original creator. Mm -hmm. The only other thing I want to say real quick is keep in your mind the one thing that I like thinking of while playing this game. We are playing video game Bucky video game Bucky is based off of a cartoon redesign of the cartoon character Bucky. Cartoon mm -hmm. character Bucky is also accompanied by live action suit Bucky, who appeared to have been a part of the same television show. It was a mixed media kind of cartoon live action bit. It had suit performers, both of whom were redesigned from an original cartoon character that was not a beaver that was had the rights more or less appropriated from the original creator so we got that we got cartoon bucky we got live suit bucky we got redesign bucky we are video game bucky and there's also another bucky who appears to be the suit type of bucky who's doing something bad mm -hmm. like yo gabba gabba i mean you're right but i would have said like the super mario bro show Let's go over helping Nub. Okay. Um, real quick, you guys heard Roy Orbison? You heard like the lyrics and stuff? Or did you just hear I... drums? Because this is part of the normal game music. No, it was muted. Okay, good. Good. Okay, okay. We just had to double check in case it turns out there's a sniper's like gun pointed at us as we speak. Yeah. A helping Nub by Stumbler. Yay. Okay, so about the authors. We, we mm -hmm. remember this is Stumbler O'Hare, yeah. who is an yep. Oswald analog. Uh, in a way. Yes. Uh, w worth noting, I don't remember the name of the original character, but the rabbit blot, I almost want to say? Yes, blot. I believe. Let me check my notes. Uh, I think so, yeah. It'll be in the notes, yeah. but uh, Stumble is very clearly based off of that original character, which I want to note, isn't Stumbler existing, I don't think is a part of, like, the haunting I think that's just, like, the creator, uh, specifically the devs Cogsworth Games, being, like, a little bit edgy, being a little bit mature, mm -hmm. and having, like, a spooky hidden ending where you have to find this character based off of the original stolen IP character, Blot, uh, who's got his arms torn off, ah, uh, which I, I do think is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I, that's very, like... Oh man, the 90s, the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have Chief Wolf. Yes, uh, who's interestingly uh, very distinctly noted as being who's helping Stumbler put all of this together. 
Uh, Chief Wolf is my favorite character. Yeah, he's, he's innocent. Good. He's never done anything wrong. I don't know how that arm got in the dining room, but I don't think that's his fault. <laughs> don't worry about it. 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 Uh, and then the next page is where am I? Layer three is where you are now. So, as you may know, yeah. Uh, we can I read this diner. out again? I sure, sure, sure. Go for it. Uh, I think this is worth talking about. <clears throat> layer three is where you are right now. As you may know, the island is split into layers. For instance, layer one is the island, outskirts, and any attached missions. Layer two consists of a pool, a diner, and a waterway. And now you're in layer three, the land of darkness. That's okay though. If you come properly prepared, you should be equipped to either venture even further or keep yourself safe. To open the gate to move to the next zone, locate and change the computers to three out of three. Once it's open, find the gate control and turn it on. Uh, I mostly want to highlight this because I think, Bugs, you were just going to say, we've been to the diner. Mm -hmm. We have not been to we the haven't pool been to... or the waterway. Mm -hmm. Which means there are still two other routes to get to layer three that we haven't taken that we're definitely going to go take. Mm -hmm. Even though, as some of these other notes will make clear, is going to explicitly endanger us. Because if horror as an entire genre had one symbol that I was going to describe to you, it would not be teeth, it would not be a knife, it would not be the darkness. The symbol of horror is eyes peeking through fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you want to see... You, you but you don't want to see, see. But you want to see. You don't want it. You don't want to experience, but you do want to see. Your candle. Can, can I just say it's pretty impressive that Stumble did like a little animation for this? Good for him. You know, good for him. Honestly, yeah. That's... Ex exporting with Photoshop is hard. You know. Mm -hmm. Maybe use the CSP. Uh, he might, it, it might be like just straight up scanning in, uh, I, side note, I really love, I've seen a lot of like quasi animations where people just like edit, edit together on TikTok, like different shots of like stills that mm -hmm. they've drawn and they do like resizes. That shit's great. I love that shit. Uh, um, I think the... noting in this that it's silver tech has graciously provided us with these computers. What the hell does that mm -hmm. mean in this context? Yeah, yeah, because, like, the bit about compute, like, that implies, like, Silvertech would have provided Cogsware games mm -hmm. with computers to work on, and these seem to be, like, an analog, but Stumbles is saying us, which we have stocked all around the place. Does Stumbles can Stumbler consider his position vis a vis the devs to be? Right? Is he. Uh, not in like a spooky way, just an interesting way. Uh, Golden computers will need to be activated within the timer. Once they're on, you'll need to find each of them and turn them all on before the timer hits zero. I don't think we found a golden computer yet, or else I just forgot. Yeah. Uh, also, I do love the note in this one of, if you're reading this, either a friend has shared you the link to this, or you found it yourself through, which is what we did. Mm -hmm. We found it through a computer. But I do like that it is made, like, a part of the game, that, like, it's okay if someone hands you the URL. Uh, something that I really like about the presentation in general of this game is how much it's aware that, like, Solving this game is kind of a group activity. Mm -hmm. We're being pains in the ass, though. Yeah. Pointing at chat. If we need help, we'll ask Puzz. Uh... It's fine. It's fine. It's... Mm... I don't want to see Dwellers! It. I don't want to see this. Can I point out something real quick while we're on this page? Dwellers. Also known as Starling. Oh. So, two thoughts I want to point out about Starlings as a concept. One, uh, 
this might be a stretch, but Starling kind of sounds like Sterling to me, which is Sterling Silver, which we just learned the computers are from Silver Tech. Does that mean anything? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of something. It's kind of something. Um, but more, I want to call attention to the fact that Starlings are a bird that have these beautiful flocks that move in these like big complicated like patterns and uh making starlings i, I associate that with like particle animation you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there's something there but there's also something to like are these entities that like flock in motion together yeah they're called a murmuration of starlings yeah a murmur uh, a murmuration is scary in this context yeah uh, and I also want to call attention to the sentence, donning the faces of Bucky's own friends. Awakened when Walter, Giovanni, or Olive are brought down into layer three. Starlings are also known for incorporating sounds of their environment into their bird cries, says Holly. Great! That's great. That's good. That's good. <sighs> uh, I, I think I called attention to this last time, or maybe it was just on the call with bugs afterwards donning the faces of and when your friends are brought onto this layer so whenever we come back through through another friend's path we're having another one of these added starlings also push no that's cuckoos starlings are... hold on starlings brood Parasites. I am so convinced you guys are wrong, but I'm double checking. <laughs> Common starling. Uh oh. Brood. Da, 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 da. Pair. Huh. Interest specific brood parasites are common in common starling nests. Oh, good. Interest specific. Good. Huh. Great. Very good. Female floaters, unpaired females during the breeding seasons, present in colonies, often lay Squeaks, eggs. Squeaks, I've been having fucking nest. nightmares about this game. Of course, we've been talking about it all. all. <laughs> when we, we we discussed it for like an hour last time, even though we were like about to turn into yeah, fucking dust. When 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 we get off call of talk, playing this game, we talk about it for like an hour off stream. Like yeah. holy shit. Oh. Okay, my apologies to uh, people in chat. Starlings in general aren't brood parasites of other birds, but they have brood parasitism inside their own species. That's so fucked. yes, the dwellers being called starlings does in fact work as um, as a much more subtle call to uh, brood parasitism. Uh... Which is to say, this is worse because it's a brood parasite that doesn't grow up to be another bird. I'm grabbing the screen like you can, like I'm grabbing your shoulders. This is a brood parasite that grows up to look exactly like the regular species. Great. That's good. Yay! I'm glad that we're right Learning in the middle of this is power. Scary. Learning and growing. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah, okay, Hazelnut. Uh, general chat rule, if you get bonged, you don't have to apologize. Don't apologize. Just rejoin the chat. Yep. I'd appreciate it. You know, looking yeah. at this image, I can't help but think of one of my classmates in piano class who mentioned offhand that, oh, I work at the aquarium. You know, I work with the otters. And the teacher goes, oh, that's cool. Wow. That's so nice. I mean, they must be really sweet to work with, right? And she mm -hmm. goes, no, they'll bite your finger at the first chance if they can. <laughs> uh, we're not allowed to, like, full on touch them because they will take off your finger if they get, yep. if they're able mm -hmm. to bite you. Oh, uh, speaking of real quick, I was uh, talking about T. Kingfisher earlier. Y'all should read. Yes. Oh God, snail. Which one is it that has the river otter thing? It's not the twisted ones, is it? No, the twisted ones is the one in the woods of the deer thing. Uh, this. Let me see if like the book has like the list of her other books. I bet it will. Oh, a how? No, house with good bones. No. No. That's the one about the intergenerational trauma. That is the right. Oh man, with the baby. 
The one that's based on the Willows by Aldrin and Blackwood. Yes, Digger is not a... Well, Digger isn't a horror in the same way that Ursula Vernon's romance books aren't horror. There's just a lot of decapitated, horrible bodies. Ursula Vernon book. I'm pulling them out, sorry. That's okay. Something. T Kingfish. The Hollow Places. The Hollow Places. God. Oh, the Hollow Places is. Oh, that one guy who's like sitting in the water. And he's, oh, like oh, attached oh. to it. Oh. Oh, and the bit where he's like, "No, you can't give me any food because if I get hungry again, I'm gonna have to start starving all over again." Oh. Uh, also, just real quick before we turn to talking about the game, uh, catawized, catawized. She did a lesbian retelling of the Snow Queen. That's got horror elements. <laughs> fly, my beauties, fly! Anyways. Yeah, Puzz, if you ever want to borrow some uh, Kingfisher, please. I'll, I'll, I'll pass you some beat-up ones. I think I already yeah. passed you a beat-up the twisted ones. I forget. Yeah, it's a good time. Uh, I I just always have to pitch that one because I read that one. I was like, how did I not know that this was a lesbian retelling where the girl who's going after her brother actually gets with the bandit princess? As she should! Anyways. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. It's really good. Okay, so. <clears throat> visuals of Olive and Giovanni. Scary. Yeah. Hate it. Yeah. I mean, I love it, but it's good. Yeah. Uh, so the reason part of why we're going to review this is I'm just going to keep this tab open in the background. Uh... We're gonna need this code. If we get caught, we're gonna try really hard not to get caught. Except maybe if we don't get caught long enough, we get caught on purpose once. Mm -hmm. Just to see what happens. Uh, special note: if a barrel or any other object appears to be off, scary, or moving, yeah, repeatedly hit it until it vanishes. I don't like that. I don't like that. What happens if we don't? Is what I think immediately. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prop hunt real, shut up. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Computer dwellers, beaver scratch. I We should also keep a copy of this open in a tab somewhere. Oh, I have the whole beaver scratch alphabet yeah. written down here. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go over this for chat real quick. Uh, beaver scratch is a page that straight up gives you a large amount of the... Mm, thank you, squeaks. Scary <laughs> squeaks. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Beaver Scratch gives you a great deal of the cipher for a code that you see in this game a lot, which Bugs actually has pretty much, I want to say, pretty much cracked. Yeah, I, would say. I have uh, everything except, I believe, no, I have X and W. I'm good. Uh, yeah. No, I have everything okay, we're except all good Z on right now. I, yeah. I think that uh, There's also X. a cipher guide, yeah, I so. which I, I think we'll refer to... But right now, we have a couple of puzzles where we know that they work as one of the ciphers. Like, we have run into one of the music ones. Mm -hmm. uh, we have run into one of what I think is the... Um, I think we have a Shakespeare cipher. But we don't have the cipher cue yes, for the, that. Yes, the devlog seems like it would be mm -hmm. one, which very yes very scary especially because well, and it's also been noted we have that the... like uh the goose can hear things like yes, this which is scary uh all, i i'm also still convinced that the nato sequence we hear in the woods is a shakespeare cipher pointing at chat nobody say anything mm -hmm. i think we're just missing the cipher solver for that because what we need for that is some kind of text saying code is xxx that'll give us which letters we're looking for because then we need to check how many times the letter shows up in that sequence so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we have that we don't have the solver we know about the mozart sifter we know one place that is definitely one of those but maybe yeah. we could solve that one by ear if we knew more about music. Um, yeah, good luck, Frankie. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I did one semester of music theory and somehow passed. I grew up around music. I've written songs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, if I anyone's do... listened to some of the songs maybe... I've written and gone like, this music seems weird, well... Maybe this is the nice scrap found uh, that was played. Uh, it might be worth listening to this again with this in mind, seeing if we can, if that has seven of the same note opening, and then D, G, A, B. 
It could be. We'll, we'll look. What I figure is because we're going to go back and, like, retrace our steps to get to the other areas, I'm assuming it might drop us through that area again. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't, we know how to get there. So... I mean, because, uh, like, look at this. It shows us, like, here's the flags code. Here's what it is. So that's what makes mm -hmm. me wonder about this. Right? Uh, it is very... F I, I do really enjoy that if you get to this through the computers, you probably have gotten through yeah. this code already. <laughs> I wonder... I'm being jump scared. Yeah, I, I don't know if going through the... I don't know if the other routes still take us through the museum or not. Mm -hmm. I feel like they would. My assumption is that, like, they take us through a unique area and then the museum just because of how the museum kind of leads oh yeah the three the three paths three. that went yeah you're right you're right you're mm -hmm. right I, so i think we'll go through the museum again and hopefully we'll pass by where that music puzzle is again but either way uh for right now cypher guide and then i think the last one that's relevant to us right now is layer four mm -hmm. which has the tasks so task one find Task one, I'm writing this down. Find, Find the crystals. crystals. There's a computer lying around somewhere, and on it is a video that contains your answer. If you visited the pool, you know what steps to do next. Cool. I don't know if we found any of those things yet. Okay. Step two, find my tape player. Look around. There's a tape player somewhere with workstation code on it, recorded by yours truly. Maybe look for my little home away from home? So a place that, like, clearly he seems to be in. Seems like a reasonable place to lead it. Note, play far away from Giovanni. He can hear these. Turns to camera! What is we that got mean? here through Giovanni's route. Giovanni is the only currently active Giovanni animal. That's, that's that's what I've been dreading while I think about this. Mm -hmm. Like my heart pounds mm -hmm. thinking about this. Start the task. Go to the sky hallway and look for the door <laughs> with a music note next to it. Press the button to begin. Sheik says, but do you have a pencil to wind the tape? If we have to do that, oh. Go to Step three. The start the task. Go to the sky oh. hallway and look for the door with the music note next to it. And press the button to begin. The monitors will instruct you on what to do. This seems like that this takes place like back in the museum, yeah. I think. Now here's something interesting. Some of it anyways. Um I've been thinking a little bit about this. Maybe this is nothing, but you know, it's Bucky's mm -hmm. imaginary friend pushing Bucky to do this. It's us. Good luck, Bucky. Stumbles dr uh, yeah. addresses Bucky about this. Stumbles and wolf. Yeah. That's kind of interesting I... to me. No, you're right, actually, like Hmm, how to put it. It's interesting that Bucky is aware of us, but since we're positioned as his imaginary friend, I'm not sure the other characters in the game yeah. would have any reason to know about us. Find yeah, exactly. And one way or the other, uh, y'all, please stay on topic. Bonk. You know. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Th that's just the 10 seconds. Rejoin in a few seconds. Anyways, uh, it's very distracting for us if people talk about other stuff in chat because I'm looking at chat! <laughs> the streamers can see chat! <laughs> the streamers can see chat! Anyways. Three and uh, Yeah, and then step two is the find the batteries, the drop them off, bring the batteries to the computer and the look for glowing green batteries. There'll be one in the office, one in the rooftops, and one in the cave. Right. Hmm. We have not been to any of those places so far, I believe. Office and rooftops. The cave, cave might be. Cave, I get. The boat, maybe, but or well, no, isn't the cave, cave. Stum yeah. Stumbles' cave? Is what I think of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Step mm. three: Toodles. <laughs> It, it sounds like either way, a lot of the stuff we still need to do kind of involves us, like, backing out. I do have one important question, mm. and this one people can answer. If you know the answer, grabbing chat, do think to yourself, 
do I distinctly know the answer to this? And if you're thinking, well, I guess it could be, don't answer. If we hit the reset that takes us back up to layer one, well, layer two, I don't know which layer being in normal reality is actually, D that doesn't reset like anything we've made progress of in layer three, right? Like, I assume that's just a way to like get us back to like the main game part. Or do we have to, like, go back on foot to, like, not lose? I don't think we've made a lot of progress we'd need to keep, I mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. But, like... Yeah. Ho hopefully I worded that so that it makes sense, but it's not... Because we have a function in the menu. Okay, you will not lose progress. You need to reset, says Electronic Beth. I trust Electronic Beth. I thought that was the case... Because a lot of these clues seem like they require you to go back to where you can access these things. Yeah. Okay. But I wanted to double check. With that in mind, <laughs> I'd like to watch the Mount Pinatubo video again. Um, Sounds good. Because it was what the computer came up with, and it has a, uh, you know, the call out that uh, Horns has. Yeah. I think it mm -hmm. is, at least. So let's. Uh... I, I believe it is the same one. We, we kind of listened to it on our own time. Uh, oh, let me stream this to you, Frankie. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me mute the game for a moment. So what we believe, what I believe at Roy least, is Robinson, that the standby. Do to me. Mm -hmm. Sorry. The standby is like not. Yeah. Part of the code necessarily. So let me. But it could be. We'll find out. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, hey pops. Yes, kid. Uh, when you're doing uh, NATO for clients, what is S as in? S. Yeah. Sierra. Sierra. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, it is standby. Not yeah. Okay. Yeah, so standby is not being given as part of the NATO code, okay. but it's possible that whenever we we find this Definitely. solver, my assumption is like standby, okay. then we get the sequence, and then at some point whenever we get the like, you know, we need these letters. We'll be checking how many times the letter has repeated in the NATO code. This game stresses yes. me the fuck out, and I'm not even looking at the screen. It's powerful that way. It's really powerful that way. Um, it just says quads. Uh, K-W-A-D-S-H. I don't think... Oh! No, 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 but but the Shakespeare code doesn't work that way. No, uh... Oh! Oh! But there's yeah. more than four letters. Well, yeah, but what... Okay, what would happen, though, is that we get something that's like... The code is uh, uh, S A Y B. Oh, okay. And what we'd be looking for is how many times S repeats in the sequence to get the number for S. Okay. You got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so let's we, get back we don't to... need like the initials of it. We need the whole sentence of those words. I think. All right, back to the torture dungeon. Yeah. Oh, a side stream me. Oh, right. Install on sorry, your internet sorry. browser. That's okay. Do, do, do. Enjoy the blackness. Yay. Polly says, I haven't caught any streams. I love this out of games puzzle. Oh, yeah, that's it's fun. great. It's even weirder. It's an in game puzzle that has an out of game, straight up, this is how the puzzle works from a character in the game. I'm still on your internet browser. What? I sent it to you. All right. I know, on. but sometimes it does this. <sighs> Yeah, isn't that fun? Uh, I actually really appreciate the existence of this code page because, like, I think codes and ciphers are really easy to get, like, false positives on. Because if you get something slightly wrong, 
Oh, Holly, there's a whole fake developer webpage for the developer for this, like, in-game game studio. They it's even, really good. like, justify why they use Unity. It's great. Yes, I love that. Why are there bars at the top of this goddamn room? Good for, uh, reading. I guess it lets the air in. Oh, that actually wasn't there at long since I forgot it was Nick Nocturne's suggestion. Yeah, Nick's really good at feedback. <laughs> Oh, 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 ah, uh, got it. Can we, like... Hmm. Can you, like, grab the edge of... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, did stream alerts get turned off? Stream alerts are oh, accidentally shoot. not playing right now. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Let me, uh, read that dono. I'm so sorry. No. Don't apologize. We've already explained. It's not our fault. That's true. But still, they gave us no. money. Yeah, Bugs evilly turned off the alerts because we hate money. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's an accidental thing. Thank you, if we don't notice it, who says $10. Dungeon Man, <laughs> not quite, but God bless you. Very Thank scary. you for money. <laughs> what, what's our max? What are we at all the way by now? $60. Okay, I'm $9 away from getting to play the slide whistle. What do you mean yeah. first time I've heard Nick Scream was playing this game? Great. Don't tell us that! Great. Oh. Whoa! Oh. See, I wish you could do, like, that Wind Waker, like, shimmy on a ledge kind of maneuver. Mm -hmm. I'm just taking a second to get reused the controls. No, no, absolutely. I think that's a lot of what this area is for. Uh, we have some secrets. I noticed most of the secrets we got seem to be in the, uh, quote-unquote normal. Yeah. Oh! I don't like that the room that we see our secrets in has the statue of the live-action suit buggy, yeah. by the way. What's that in the background? We got Bunny, we got Walrus, What's... we got... See where Bucky's hat is? Yeah, I'm looking at that too. Huh, I, maybe that's just the statue back here. Yeah... Uh... That that's a photo of live action Olive. That's um He went wading through the cranberry swamp very sad. See, this one's interesting to me because like when we first saw it, it's like, okay, that's gonna be like the evil suit guy, but I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I love the music in here. Gonna have nightmares when I go to sleep. Uh you before you go to sleep you should watch Homestar Runner Shorts and that will fix it, I promise. Probably. Oh, you'll have nightmares about Homestar Runner. <sighs> Take your poison. Where's my candle? I'm an internet war story. Oh, thank God. Okay. The okay, okay. So if we lose candle, it comes back from being in the barrel. That's really helpful. <sighs> I've been watching Nick since I was like 10, so hearing you scream playing this game is like the biggest full circle moment I've ever experienced. Turns the audience, don't watch horror when you're 10. Turns back to the audience, I watched horror when I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was reading uh, J-horror summary websites at that age. I still remember like the summary to movies I've never seen. God, I hate okay, this. So. I know, bud. Now, do we want to, like, explore around in he more, or do we want to start, like, going back for the other routes? We have two out of three computers. Mm hmm Do you want to try and find the last one? Yeah. Just while we're here? Okay. Hey, can we go look at the art that was on the wall? Uh, okay. It's in the last hallway. Hello? Who are you? And then the silhouette uh, of something. Ah, uh, hang on. Someone is parked outside the house blasting music. Yay. Uh, okay, they've dropped off their friend. I don't I was like always too scared how that to read lights the goosebumps. up. I don't like how yeah. that lights up. I don't like that. Yeah. This area fascinates me because, like, something about the hallways really makes you think, like, well, we saw that video footage that was, like, in a hotel. But this is, like... An office, a hotel, a conference hallways. It it feels like a place that exists in real life. I don't like this even a little. 
I don't like this even a little. I don't like this room. Uh, that's the computer. I oh, know the that's shipwrecked the computer. light. Mm -hmm. I know that's the computer. It's sparkling. Okay. I like how the wall texture looks like rotting wood and rose wallpaper. See, that's what makes me think of like an office is like, it looks like a wallpaper made to look like a bamboo <gasps> grove to me. Are you good in here? This one place looks kind of unfamiliar. Right. There's like just enough difference between areas that it's like kind of harder to get lost, but still get lost. You gotta watch the stream max volume headphones in the dark. You have to. Uh, legitimately, Holly, on our next break, I'm gonna turn off one of the lights in my room. Yeah, you Not have all of that. I ain't doing that shit. Get you don't back. have to. You're playing. You're playing the game. I'm not playing the game. See, this, I think this room really makes me think, like, office, because it's got, like, little dioramas of little houses, like, I could totally see, like, oh, we're putting together, like, that's like a dev kit, straight up on this computer. Yeah, it's the uh, Unreal page. Whistle time? Oh, did we get nine bucks? Oh, shit, we did. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Yay! Uh, that's okay, we just had, uh, we, we have our alerts not working tonight, so... Let me pull this up on my phone so I don't have to keep doing that. Yeah, yeah. Where is my fucking phone? That's a question. Ah, here my fucking phone. <laughs> okay. Hooray! Do do do. One second. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sixty-nine percent of the goal. That's because our goal is one hundred dollars. Thank you, Ordeal Caretaker, who said, here's the funny number for the funny slide whistle. Thank you so much. Yay! All right, let me cut the tension real quick. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate it. Let me give it more. There we go. Oh, I love this thing. I should clean its mouthpiece at some point. Feel my blood pressure lower. <laughs> so you gotta donate to get the, the sounds when you're too scared. It doesn't help Bugs. Bugs has tuned these noises out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually have a new noise I could make, but I'm not gonna for this stream because it's actually kind of scary. Oh, great. Yay! Yay! Yippee! Okay, so we're back in here. Mm -hmm. There's the Who Are You poster, so that leads to, like, this dev area. We got a keypad here, but we don't have the code... I feel like it's probably connected to that one, uh, tape recorder. Did it reset that we got in, um, earlier with that big computer? Um... I have no way I could answer that. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Because I think those bars were still up anyways. Yeah, I think that's the case. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, Pasu points out that we're not safe on pause, so we should hide in the barrels whenever what you got a tab out. What do you mean by that? It We're not safe in the pause, but okay, how, let me go this way. Remember way back when we were listening to the audio in the museum, and when we went on pause, the audio didn't oh. stop, it just slows down? No. I know, bud. I know. No. I know. I, okay, we found this one before. Let's uh, re-listen. Parts of souls into it, but is that even enough? His standards must be set astronomically high. Plus, after is there a the barrel we can hide in while we listen to this? Hmm, okay. Hmm. Okay, if that's a cue for a code, All right. we don't have the decode for it yet. Uh, because we would need to know what letters to be listening for. Yeah, I... <laughs> okay, 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 I'm fine, okay, I'm fine. I, 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 I will say, I think if we don't... Uh -huh. We got a keypad here. Uh, I'm looking at my old notes for- oops. Shh. 
Okay. Okay, yeah, so it did reopen So this. we do... Okay, okay, so we do have those things to reset, but because we have our notes, that's okay. That's the computer room over there. So here's two. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, no, this opened a YouTube video over here. Mm -hmm. Right, right, this one with the flesh and the organism. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I believe there was a button in here. Mm -hmm. I think so. One out of three. Hmm. All the different dev computers. Was it on top of one of them? Ooh. Yeah. That blue yeah. one that's facing the wall is yeah. sure something. Sure is. <laughs> I despise the lack of music. Well, if we reach two hundred dollars in total tips, no. we'll provide some music. Hmm. Won't help at all. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but I swear there was a computer that had a button on it. It's it has been a while since we last played. Is the one thing. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, I remember. Right. Ugh, I hate those guys. Right, right. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's two out of three, but we never found three out of three. No, we didn't. And I don't know if we can find three out of three without, like... Let me, let me take a look real quick at the other... Uh, your first mission... Second mission... That seems unrelated. That's finding the batteries. It doesn't seem like this. What is. Huh. It seems like what we're doing isn't related to the missions to get to the next layer at all, actually. Hmm. But it is something. I feel like we saw him saying you have to get the computers to three out of three. I remember that. Yeah. Language, dwellers. Hey, I just saw something bad that I never noticed before in one of these pages, Bugs. What? While a dweller may follow you around in Layer 3, that doesn't mean they won't try to follow you elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Where did I see this? Where am I? Candle, computer. Maybe it's in computers? Okay, 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 okay golden computer. Now this doesn't have the 3 out of 3 info on it. D don't mind me, chat. I'm like looking through this in the back while Bugs navigates, because I can do that. Candle, isn't it? Where am I, isn't it? Oh! To open the gates to move to the next zone. Not the next layer. The next zone. Mm -hmm. Locate and charge the computers to 3 out of 3. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the access to the next zone and the next layer is going to require us to reset and do a few things. Mm -hmm. See, this is the gate control button, or area, but... Oh, there's so the we button! Still... Oh, there's a button in there! So do we gotta get this gate open to get to that button? That, that seems to make, make sense. Is there a keypad in this room anywhere? Not that I see. There's several in the hall, but none that are, like, mm -hmm. you know... It, it could be that those keypads are what we need to, like, work with to get this one open. Mm-hmm. What was that? What was that? I hear that too. That was like a recording machine answer. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Barrel. Wait. Wait, is it auto-playing a YouTube video? Yeah, check. I, I don't think I would have heard it if it was doing that, though, and I heard it, Bugs. I only hear game audio. I don't hear your whole computer. 
Oh, it's 10-10. We gotta take a break. Aww. What the fuck? When did that happen? Okay. 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 We're, we're gonna take a quick break after whatever that was. Oh, it now played when I punched to... the quartz, quartz monitor. Okay, oh. we'll do that again. We're gonna be right back. Get up, get a snack, have a stretch. I gotta get up and pace around anxiously, BRB.
Hello. I was doing a little early. I don't know that I'm brave enough for this game, but I have to try. Hey, listen! It's fun to play something, even if you're kind of scared about it and, like, push your boundaries. Uh, legitimately, there's plenty of horror games that, like, I have only experienced through other people playing it. Sometimes just because, like, I don't have access to the right platform. Why is my microphone doing that? Hold on a second. There we go, I had to tighten one of my microphone stand. Do you guys know I use like an actual microphone stand? Like a full standing stand? I don't know why I live like this. The, the problem is as soon as you try to find like bolt on the table type microphone stands, they're all like built to be in a Yeti. Don't get a blue Yeti if you're starting out streaming. Those fucking half of them are like room record mics. Why would you want that? But the standing mic, I can, like, lean over the bed that I work from. Uh, sitting up, not lying down. If I have to lay down, we don't stream, because that means I'm doing bad. Okay, I was so certain I was going to come back to chat being scared out of their fucking mind because they saw something. I, I think the sound we saw was just from us hitting the TV. Someone put that together. <sighs> Which means we have to go and like hit one of the computers again and see if that makes like you. sound happen again. I know. Okay. Um, we actually got some donations first. Which oh shit! Fucking thank you very much. Holly donated thank you thirty dollars and says more. And Yay. thank you. Thank you, Ellie slash Ebeth says Dungeon Man, Dungeon Man, and donated five dollars. <laughs> thank you so You're much. You're all evil. Alright, let you. me get you your noises. <laughs> that brings us to 104. Ooh, that's exciting. Oh, that means oh that's kazoo time. Alright, hold on a sec. Let me get out. Let me get uh -huh. oh. Don't you fall under the bed. The, You're gonna have listen, fun with the your slide kazoo, whistle craves death. And I'm the gonna slide slowly whistle wander craves right oblivion. back to that room, and we're gonna uh -huh. see what happens. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me get the rest of the noises real quick. Hold on. Okay. Don't call it Milky. You're teaching all of our nice new chat members who don't think the kazoo is called Milky. Hold on, let me get it for you. <sighs> Maybe you should wait till after I'm done with the kazoo. Okay, I'm gonna go hide in the barrel again. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yay! That's a good one. <laughs> Finisher is the problem with that. It's like I only remember the fucking do, do, bit do, do, the do, lyrics. And the dog's eyes glow and you go, yeah. fuck. Do, 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 do. So, uh, it's really good. Oh, hold on. There's one other scary song related, uh, scary game related song that I know off the top of my head. Christ. What? What is this? Does anyone know what 
note this game hears input from your microphone. Yeah, that's right. Giovanni's scared of my kazoo. That would be incredibly evil if it did that. Okay, I'm done. Thank you all very much. If anyone can guess what that second song was from, you are my comrade and my friend now. But in a normal audience way. Thank you all very much for your kind donations. Thank you. Uh, if we reach 200, I will play the kazoo again, along with the other thing that will have to happen. Thank you very much for your kindness. Okay. Uh, I would like to call the Nintendo hotline. Okay, I am going to really quickly contact from Rule of Rose, Close but no Cigar. Uh, I'm gonna po take a quick look over in paint chat and see if Puzz is there. I think Puzz literally just got up. Okay, well, we can always wait real quick. Unless, mayhaps, some- oh! Hey, Puzz! Thank you for getting into the oh, database, I'm sorry, Puzz. I'm really on my hot water bottle that I've been putting on my chest because I'm so scared it is on your chair. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's so sad. How could you do this? I know. I'm very fucked up. Come up, Romeo. But I will say, the song I was playing was not from Rule of Rose whatsoever. It is from a different good bad game. It was not Sally's oh, song. Oh, uh, Miss Stiletto Heels? Yeah! Well, you, the, you're already my friend huh? in real life. Yay! <laughs> you idiots can't get the prize. Behind the door. Mm -hmm. uh, Romeo's got some I can no. see your face in the it's a blank incomprehensible blank. lyrics. I don't know. No one even, like, reckon literally different experts on Deadly Premonition argue about those lyrics. It's great. You thought the honk was from that game. That's right. Um... Squeaks decided to go in a very scary direction this time by having a tiny little kitty cat go wow, and and uh... that'd be a great scare in a game, to be honest. All right, pu Puzz. I what, what are we Puzz asking? Is Puzz. The database. Puzz. Um, okay. I'm. What do I? Where? Help. Uh, I I think specifically what we would like to know is, and this is for Puzz specifically, our friend of Puzz. Uh, we're trying to get to the third button to open up the next zone. The third button is behind a gate. I have a slight inkling of what we might do to get that gate open, but we are asking Puzz for hints for squeaks. on what to do to get that gate open to press that button. And if we need to straight up, like, back out and come back at this from another angle, we can do that. Because I figure either way, probably tonight we're gonna, like, back up and do one of the other routes just to, mm. like, look at it and be able to theorize and everything, but mm. we just have this one button left. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, am I muted? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. No, you're not muted. I'm not muted. That's why they heard Romeo honk, bud. That's right. I'm sorry. Go to the place where oh, you entered God. this whole section okay. of gameplay and go straight forward. Yeah, we did go immediately to the right. All right. Okay. Thank you, Puzz. The Puzz specifically is very deputized. Now, um, okay. Back in here, I believe. Mm-hmm. Man... I don't want to be in the I dark. Know, bud. I know, bud. Oh. Oh yeah, that's how we got to uh, Stumbles. Oh man. Okay, door locked. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. <clears throat> Puzz has eight hats on. She's stronger than you could believe. It's literally true. Okay. Door locked here. God, I don't like the music here, man. This is so unsettling. I know, I know. It's very ambient and gentle and all the wrong... This literally feels the same as... You know in Silent Hill 2? When you're just walking into the town 
and there's like the long silent pathway that James has to go through and there's like no real music. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a bar. Jesus Christ. Okay. Look right, me right. We eye. came in here. Oh. Look me in the eye and tell me. It's scary. Yeah, this is where we first came in. Oh, Squeaks. Follow. Squeak says I did all the Layer 3 music, so thank you. Oh, it's damn. beautiful, it's good. legitimately. It's really good ambient. I, and I, when I say this, you should know, sometimes I listen to the siren soundtrack when I'm relaxing. You know, the video game siren. What the fuck was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? What the fuck was that? What was that? They're lying, by the way. You can do one more thing before resurfacing. I believe I'm reviewing exactly where you ought to go. Thank you, Puzz. I'm staying in the fucking moving. barrel until Puzz talks to me. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not going back in there. Fuck that. Uh-uh. Something beeped at me. That's not right. There's gonna be a fucking sentry in there. Uh... More phone noise? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <clears throat> well, while we're waiting on Puzz, can I read, like, the first paragraph of what Feasts at Night, which I'm reading at a fair use capacity to convince people to buy this book? Never mind, she has something for You're us. You're going to go, gonna back, go back to, to the, the wallpaper, wallpaper zone. zone. Stand back for further instructions. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Thank you, Puzz. I'm sorry, I'm not saying that like, oh, Puzz, I'm saying that like, oh, God. But Bugs is full of misery and woe, and is going to start making cicada noises at any minute, so... Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I'm brave. Also, DemiFriend435 says, you walk in there and it's just portal turret. That would literally make us less scared. We would go, ah, and then we'd be less scared. I love the shipwrecked logo just, like, being here. This is part of why I read this space out as, like, a warped version of, like, a working space. Because mm -hmm. I could totally see, like, a game dev studio where, like, yeah, our wallpaper's, like, bamboo to make it look, like, really chill. You are right, Buzz. Uh, can I post a screen cap edit into the fan art zone? I took a pic of the screen to put Romeo in there. Yes, specifically <laughs> yes. for this purpose. So long as it is fan art for the stream specifically, which I only specify because, like, if you're making art of a game for, like, your own purposes anyways, that's different. But... I'm trying to remember which two you've done. Uh, the one we haven't done, I think, is the one behind the We've gate. done this one? And we mm -hmm. have done the one where you have to go in the tunnel under the uh, entrance to that little area. Did you hear something like buzz? No. Oh, that computer's light from here is really mean. Yeah. You need to do the one on the back of the small computer then. Oh, is that like in the computer room? That or? lights it up? Oh god, okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, okay. Uh huh, uh huh, okay. That's three out of three, baby. Okay, Thank let's you, go Puzz. to the big computer room. Thank you, Puzz. Yeah, I, I think Ooh. that one we got like the stumbles last time, and we just filed it as like part of the stumbles thing, and not as one of the puzzles. It's related to the puzzle. It's going to give you the clue you need for the keypad, I believe. Thank you, Puzz. I'm okay. I think we're good. I'm okay. We're I'm okay. okay. I'm okay. We're okay. I'm okay. You're okay. I'm okay. Did little house arrangements correlate to anything, or are they just there? My theory is that they, like roughly correlate to, like, devs making, like, computer patterns. Huh, we got that one, we got that one, we got the Stumbles one. It still says two out of three, though. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe one of the buttons we pushed isn't one of those? Ugh. I keep looking at the corpse monitor. 
I know, bud. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sir. Hi. Um, hi. Listen. Oh. Um, I'm a little lost here. Have you seen another button? Are you my dad? Are we, like, related? Are you my son? Are you, like, another me? Is this, like, a perfect blue thing? You look so beautiful in the candlelight. <laughs> I wish I could paint you. Tipper Tapper says, when I was playing, I found that shouting fuck it we ball over and over on the lower levels helps a lot. <laughs> That's a good method. Okay, so it seems like we're still a little bit stuck again. Mm -hmm. Squeaks. Help. Um, I'm sorry. I... I... <laughs> I'm sorry, Squeaks. Bugs. <laughs> I'm just rubbing on things to see if maybe I can find where the last button is. Yeah, I, I, it seems like we should have gotten all three. If we missed something or like one of the ones we hit was like the wrong button or if it like reloaded when we came back in, maybe. Got the one on the back of that computer. Mm -hmm. Hate you. Squeaks, I'm so sorry to ask, but could you give us a clue? Not a direct answer, but a clue. Yes. I'm so, so sorry. Your brain is- Bugs! <laughs> I have a bug-sized brain, shoulders. it's hard! I'm sorry! Don't apologize for it! It involves the video of that, that the small computer opened and it may involve a wee bit of research. Okay, that's what Bugs meant by you need to push the button of this way. We got get in the barrel. Then let's look at the video. Yippee! Let's look at the video. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So that was the Mount Pinafore video, I believe, what just opened. Okay. So oh, does I that need to go us... hit it again, I think. Or, no, I can just hit uh, reopen tabs. Your history. Yeah. Okay, Min Mount Pinatubo. Okay, I think I have that open another window, too, so I'm gonna take a look at the description for that, because... Okay, we know that there's a key code, uh, in that area that we could be putting something into. That seems like what we need to open the gate, and this has... Uh, it has a sequence in it, and we have the sequence written down. Um, very funny, looking in the comments, someone says, Stop what you're doing right now. Hide in a barrel before pausing to watch this. Are you doing it? Good. You are not safe in the pause screen. Hide in a barrel now. Smart. 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 Hmm. Oh, wait, hold on, I thought of something. Mm. Mount Pinatubo. Oh! Mount Pinatubo is a real mountain. 1991. It's erupted before, it's erupted before. 1991! Okay. Alright. Okay. Is our code 1990? That's my birth year. Wow, happy birthday. Oh god, okay. If it's if it's not outright 1991, uh, and I I can't take full credit because someone in the comments was like, right? When, okay, I think this it was is like the when did Mount Pinatubo erupt? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so now we know stuff like that. Yes, yeah, see if. Great. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Bugs. <laughs> I'll be there in a sec. I'll go there in a sec. I'll go there in a sec. Hold on a sec. I have an urgent meeting in this barrel. <laughs> ring, Hello, ring. Mr. Investor. Ring, ring. Hello, big money investor. Hi. Nice to meet you. And talk. What, what's that? A cameo in Smash Brothers? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> I want to meet Mario. No, I don't want to be a spirit. I want an actual character. No, not a me gunner I... outfit. That's just insulting. No, I don't want to be a sticker. What is what? Don't say that to me. That's the keypad. Okay. 
I'm not. I'm. I am scared. I feel this feeling strongly. I will feel it. And let it pass through me. We 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 are experiencing the beautiful wealth of human uh, experience. You Why have to go hit that loop? button. You know you need to go hit I that button. I know I need to hit it, but I don't want to. Checking for an E rank, yokai. <laughs> You're right. Okay. <laughs> Gathering my courage. Hello? Is this Sans? It's great to hear from you. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Remember I'm okay. what Chillchuck could do and then someone okay. responded and then Jibber Jab responded, he'd get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, I don't like that it's got the wireframe of is that one of the wolves? Oh. Okay. Okay, we're no. back in here now. <laughs> uh, Hazelnut, don't post about not being off subject when you're taught. Hey, cool, cool down for ten minutes. Y you've been a little bit spicy. Okay, so I think at this point this is the um. All right, the, it's gone from red to yellow. It's probably going to go from yellow to green. So this is the go and respawn oh. point. I would say. Oh man, yeah, huh. Do we want to go look around just in case and see no. what it looks like in there? Okay. Midnight! Let's go to bed! Let's go to bed! Bucky, listen! I'm gonna have a nightmare. So safe to be in bed. So safe to be in bed. So safe to- yeah, I don't know if we want to get, get some more friends, more friends. Bucky. Friends. So now we have a choice to make. <sighs> I am the most scared of the walruses level. Oh, I've wait, is there one dreams. thing? Should we go check in the woods area if 1991 is also the solve for that? Because the same sound from the, the mountain thing is in there, right? Ah. Uh... Like the, the 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 stumbler, well not stumbler. There's an actual stumbler. So you still have to worry about the volcano time limit. Uh, what happens if you game over? I don't know. I'm scared. But I'm gonna find out. But here's the thing: we just got knocked back to midnight of day one. I think we were past day one when we first went down there. So, I my suspicion is that. We don't have don't to do everything me. we've done Don't over look at again. me. Don't look at me. Don't look me in the eye. Don't do that. Do, do we want to go check the woods no. keypad and see if we can get that to work first as a stall real quick? Yeah. Um, have you noticed there's no NPCs around anymore? I mean, we haven't seen a wolf yet. Yeah. I don't like they, that. There should be a couple of guys walking around out here. I don't like that. I don't like there's, that. There's uh, our buddy... Yeah, huh, there's there's usually a couple of wolves around here. Oh, Squeaks points out there's no music, too, also. Yeah, huh. Great. 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 That's great. That's great. Uh, I, I, that's it. I'm gonna start singing copyrighted music so you guys can't stream this anymore. <laughs> UNDER THE SEA! <laughs> the sea is always greener. <laughs> Downwards, better. Downwards. We just wrestle him to the <laughs> ground. <laughs> okay, so the jail's back up. Hey, bro. Nope, Sue. Don't say that. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I know. 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 Okay, oh. let's find the keypad. What? what? That wasn't there! <clears throat> what the fuck? Okay... That's a ship part that's burning now. Yep, that's just a ship part. Oh, there he is. I believe. Let's go look for the keypad before we, uh... Yeah, agreed, agreed, agreed. ...interact with burning ship part. 
keypad was like tucked onto a wall it was. we found it while we were like walking around on top so we'll, we'll check the perimeter i don't like that to run you have to go into this view by the way that's scary oh you do yeah. that's fucked up the audio is different what was that noise it says chat yeah it does seem different safer up here. I'm gonna assume that feeling of safety is an illusion. Okay. You know, that was a prop that was, I would describe as off, thinking back. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I should have done something. Well, we'll find out after we get the keypad, because we might as well press forward for now. Oh, there's music. There was like strings of music just Oh and there the it slamming is. Noise. The failure noise playing. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's I great. remember that that's from last good. time. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <sighs> I'm brave. I'm a big brave beaver. You're brave. I'm a big brave, brave. beaver. You're brave. The big brave beaver. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get scared. <laughs> I wonder if only that part is flaming. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, we haven't seen horns, Blue Ubi 3. Uh, I have seen horns. Fuck. Um. Okay. Uh, but, but here's the thing. Horns is uh kind of stumbling around without notice. Yep, there we are. Hi, bud. All the parts are was flaming. That up there? No, that's a sign. Okay. All okay. the parts are flaming. Okay. Is that the keypad? Nope. Okay, that's just another flaming part. Yep. We're not gonna try touching those just yet. There's the keypad. Let's try it. 1991. Oops. Wrong year. Nope. Okay. Damn. Okay, it was worth a shot. Well... I want to see what happens if we go with flaming parts. Yeah, that's worth it. Why not? I, I think resetting resets all of these things, too, so... Hey, Horns, bro. Sorry I hit hey, you. Hey, bro. I didn't really think about how much it would hurt to pop you. I'm real sorry. Mm-hmm. You're a... You sound a little different, buddy. Sounds a little different. Um, you know what? I'm gonna lure you over to our funny little circle, and we're gonna have a, a listen, I think. Mm -hmm. This isn't the right way. His head is still yellow. Mm hmm. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Can I find something out? It's not much of a spoiler, but a more subtle detail. Yep. He's just static. Hi. Just static. Actually, um, could we hear what it is from Squeaks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bugs can override. What, what's the what's the what's the detail? <laughs> is really good. Yeah. You remember how Giovanni died, right? Yeah. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, is that what the sound is supposed to be? Oil. Bubbling. Oh, that's creepy. That's great. Let's try putting one of these flaming ones in here. Okay, no normal success and noise. <laughs> that's a direct cause of your actions. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. <sighs> okay, so 1991 isn't the solve for this code. We still have the audio that he was giving us before, so that's not, like, lost forever. We don't know how that audio relates necessarily to this puzzle, but it's something we can go back over or phone the Nintendo hotline over if mm -hmm. we need to eventually. Right now, it's worth seeing what this does. I'm taking the long way around to avoid him. <laughs> no, I think that's smart. No oh, dead end over here. Uh. Oh, cool. Pretty close. Cool, another part. Yeah, yeah. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Back about it. I really like the way the fire, like, trails. I do too. It looks cool. The the smoke layered on top of the fire effect is is really fun. You're making a burning viking ship, nothing to worry about. Oh, that's actually a pretty astute comparison, honestly. Oh, Jibber Jabber says, I just realized that the fail chord thing is followed by the piano chord that plays in Giovanni's level. Mm. That's fun! That's fun. I wonder if more of those are gonna get added as we go through the other layers. I wonder if we need to have gone through all the other layers to like get all the information in this, or not the layers, but the uh, the, the layer two paths, I should say. Scary before to think we about. get like enough information for here. But for those wondering, the burning Viking ship thing, uh, a Viking funeral, or at least the common perception of one that I have from various media sources is a funeral where a body is put on a fire boat, pushed out into the water while on fire, and is allowed to burn to fall into the ocean. Uh, you may also know it from One Piece. Yeah, something that's interesting is that we have definitely learned that there were some forms of death happening in real life. There's whatever happened in the footage we saw when we clocked Giovanni one. That seemed bad. Mm -hmm. Pretty fatal. Mm -hmm. Don't think you get out of that one. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a note or recording? I think it was a note when we first got into the dark area talking about the thing watching the woman as the blood in the water until she stopped moving. Uh, but what I'm still interested oh, yeah. in is when we found the other way through that door in uh, the walrus's level. When we got that, like, well, she hasn't been acting right. Nobody's been acting right. I took her to the hospital and I left alone. Uh. So there's some form of illness or death that also occurred to do with a hospital visit. Hey, really? We're gonna get all of these in time. I don't know if we are. Maybe I just let That's this okay, man though. grab me. Catalyzed, I explicitly said that the version I knew was, like, from pop culture, absorbing. I, hey, I am gently holding up the assume we know we're talking about sign. Alright, this time let's Thank try you, to though. get all the parts. Okay, I'm too good of that. That's okay, Catalyzed. Oh, come on. Thank you. Alright, quick little stroll through the woods, why not a quick little stroll, just a quick little stroll, we're just gonna run real quick through the, through the old woods, we're just gonna run real quick through the woods. 
Oh, it's a nice time out in the woods. We could go camping out here. We're doing good. We're doing good. Ah. That first one can't get put. There we go. <laughs> That's fine. That's close enough to being in the box. Bucky kicked it in. It's fine. Uh, Fuck uh. this! You're in the box now. Get the fucking parts box. See this in all kinds of maps. You're gonna make me do a puzzle in the volcano. <laughs> Shake says, "If you go out in the woods today, big <laughs> surprise." You go out of the woods today, you won't believe your eyes. Because today is a teddy bear. You won't go home by morning. Oh, that takes on a <laughs> bad. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh! You're talking now. He's playing the standby record now. Oh. Okay. Are you less mad now? Okay. Oh, that's good. If we still need to get those letters, we can uh, get them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna do my speed run tech to get through this forest. Here we go! I'm gonna throw my hat and jump off of it like Cap- uh, Wait, Cap isn't of my era. Uh... If I get all the ship parts this time, I bet this time it'll lead me to like an actual level, which is like my home island, and and we'll go to Build-A-Bear, and... John, you'll, uh, John you'll be like, I forgive you. I'm sorry I was mean to you also, Bucky. And I'll say, haha, it's yeah. no big deal. And I'll go, well, it wasn't my fault because I'm just being controlled by the whims of forces beyond me, and I'm not even really the original Bucky. I'm just tied conceptually to the Bucky that did these things. And he'll go, I understand. That sounds really confusing. Let's have pancakes, and we'll all have pancakes. <laughs> Bucky's imagining this. Bucky's the one going like, and this time for sure, he'll, he'll be able to say sorry. Why isn't the fourth one accepted in the box? Huh? Why are you still coming? I'm in the circle. Okay, I wasn't in the circle. Haha. -ha. I yeah, was the, very scared. The, the circle's boundaries <laughs> are a little bit tighter than they look. Hey, brother. And the game will release, and it'll be great, and it won't traumatize any children. Mm. And, and, I'll, and I'll get a sequel. And then years and, from now, and, and... Universal Studios will open a Bucky Land. And in the sequel, I'll get to make uh, part. I'll get to make ships and, and, and cars out of different parts, and it'll oh, be kind of divisive. Um, but I'll be I'm but really it'll, high it'll res, fun, so it's you know? okay. Yeah, yeah. No, canonically, Sergeant the Magby, this game released exactly in the form we're playing it, and it was only on the shelves for a week. Children in universe played this game and probably found some things mm -hmm. because some of the stuff we found just happens in the normal course of playing the game in this mode if nothing else the walrus level would have been a thing oh, there's a car going by 1056 on the mountain roads mm -hmm. that's a fun drive it's the milkman Thinking about how easy it was to find Giovanni's death? Yes! Yeah, it sure was, huh? Doing the kind of thing that a curious kid who explores everything would do. Like, you find out, like, oh, that's funny, you can accidentally hit characters. You would, right? Like, when I was a baby kid, I was playing Wind Waker and finding out that you could just use the mind control fruit to slam a seagull yes, right into the bomb fruit. That's right. And you could get a, a single treasure chest early. It feels sinister when you put it like that? Yes. Yes, it does, which I really enjoy. Let me 
me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let Bucky out. Bucky don't want to be in the woods no more. <laughs> Yay. Pick, pick Bucky up. <laughs> Bucky, you want to go home? Huh. Okay, no particular response about it being fire. Okay, we'll see you again when we reload the game and go figure out what that is. Walrus or otter bugs? Uh... Walrus or botter? I could put it to chat vote. go to the vet. Mm -hmm. Not you. I have to face my fears. Oh, so Trixonima says I think if I encountered the walrus level as a kid I'd throw my N64 into a gulch somewhere. Yeah, yeah I would too. Uh, the best part is that we're gonna have to guess if we're correct about how to get into the third layer if it works the I same think, as the other way. I think it's gotta be like how the video showed, right? Well, could we try hitting him in the overworld before we go into his level, just in case that does it? Because if it doesn't I'm, do I'm, it... I'm mustering up the courage to do it. Okay. Okay, buddy. <sighs> Please don't be scary to me. Huh. Okay. Maybe we should try... Um... Okay, so, what we saw in the video was someone going on the boat through to the end, and then hopping off the boat before it got all the way out of the gate area, right? Right. Hey, we don't have the secret anymore. No, well, we could always go get it. No, I mean the, um, I'll give you something to help you in another level is not working. Oh. I'm going to try something stupid. Okay... I'm gonna see what happens if I just go for it instead of solving it to open the gate. That's not a bad idea, yeah. If, like, what we saw was, like, if you can get out on top of that water, worst case scenario, in theory, it just, like, drops us back at the beginning, right? Right? Hmm. Okay. Well, this continues for longer than I would have thought it would. Okay, that just takes us back down. Hmm. Okay. We, we can always ping the Nintendo hotline for this too if we need to. That's true. The Puzz Tendo hotline. <laughs> the Puzz Endo hotline. <laughs> Puzz Tendo 64. Puzz Endo ho hotline. <laughs> This is a good sign. <laughs> Streamers do not only do this when distressed. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a watcher. What? Oh, God. That's what it is. Oh, you're right. Look at that up there. It's the exact same figure. With it's, the it's hands behind the, its the, back. The statue bucket. That's what it is. Can we get up to that? I don't think we can get up to that. Does roof. its head turn to look at me? It probably does. Ugh. Wow. Gnarly. Oh, that's a barrel. Can I hide in it? Nope. I just tried. That's fair. The Hell Valley creatures from Galaxy 2. Help. You're right. <laughs> oh, it is top of the hour. We actually gotta take a break. No. Okay. <laughs> hey, I can't pause. Nope, we can't pause in this level. We can just have Bucky stand still. Alright, have fun, chat. <laughs> Good luck, chat. Uh, we will be back in about five to ten minutes. 
Uh, now is, as always, a good time to get up, have a stretch, have a little walk around, have a sip, uh, chat amongst yourself. We will be back in time. BRB.
Yeah, so I've had a few people go like, what's that comic that appears? Sorry, that's literally just my desktop background. Uh, let me... Oops, wrong button. Maybe this will show it. It's literally just uh, two covers, the front and back cover of Gay Comics that I liked. It's literally just called Gay Comics. Uh, it's very cute. I like it. Let me see. I think it's... I have the same desktop on both monitors. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, personalize... Oh, here it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I was supposed to have a different background on one monitor and on the other, but I think, like, having to constantly plug and unplug things for stream, um made it so it just kind of took over both monitors and I've given up on changing it, so that's fine. <laughs> Blue Spoon says, my paranoia was like, haha, horns is in front of you yesterday. I was like, my dude, Puzz told us yesterday, sorry to out you for this Puzz, but Puzz told us yesterday they were having a, like, I can't go to the fridge or Bucky will be there moment. <laughs> Also, I'm sorry that um, we haven't made much progress this stream. I, I've been having a lot of fun bumping into things, though. I, I really like kind of slowly gnawing at the bone with this. This is a really fun game to explore like this. I, I hope this isn't, like, too, like... Okay, cool. <laughs> bumping into things is the best way? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you again for your patience. Hey, Frankie. Hello. Where did I leave my phone? Its alarm is about to go off and <coughs> random at me. Ay, ay, ay. I don't Ooh. find where my phone went. So I had uh, a fun moment while I was up. Yeah? What happened? Uh, so as you know, like, we moved into this house, like, at the oh, beginning you, of squeaks. this year. Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh... Sorry, I was I was uh, apologizing to chat about making kind of slow progress today because of how much I, I kept hiding. No, I bugs. <laughs> if they wanted to see someone just solve the game, they could just go watch Nick. Like not right now. Watch <laughs> us first. <laughs> oh wait, I'm so sorry. Um, I I will interrupt you for one last time. I'm so so sorry, and then okay. you can continue your story. We got another dono. Also. Oh yay. Um, it is from do do do. Don't bring up the DS emulator. I mean DS legal, whatever. Um, this one is from Kofi supporter who donated fifteen dollars. Says I wish to meet Dungeon Man. <laughs> How much was that? Fifteen dollars. That brings us to one hundred and twenty nine. Thank you very much. Oh, bugs! You got to play your instrument. Oh you shit! Gotta, you got to play the boy. Sorry, rumi has been playing with him. Uh, give me a second to find him. That's okay. Uh, and 5A1NTFM says, Me and my buddy have been trying to watch and play through this game of this year for weeks, and we keep getting scared. You going through is awesome. It's nice and chill. Yeah, honestly, I think, like, I, I think the way we're playing it is fun, Bugs. And I don't think anyone is in our audience going, like, I cannot believe they are not simply being Chad and sprinting through and get. <laughs> also, if you use the word Chad, I'm going to shoot you. Anyways, um. um uh. Yes? It the instrument can't be found. Here's a <laughs> instead. <laughs> you know what? I think that's a good substitution. Romeo has it. <laughs> the, the wizard. So okay, anyways, my. <laughs> You're killing me! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, You're I'm sorry. You're killing me! <laughs> Hang on, I'll make Bucky go stand in the corner. Hang on. No, you don't have to do that. Um... No, this barrel's like tipped over. That's weird. All that happened is that one of the things that, like, still isn't unpacked is a uh, bottle of, like, umeshu that, like, for the move, I was like, oh, well, I don't want this to spill anywhere, so I'll, like, put it in a plastic bag and then wrap that plastic bag in, like, an old Safeway bag. And the Safeway bags we get are often from getting pickup order because we're still being pretty cautious about COVID stuff because, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, I have asthma and fibromyalgia. Why would I want to add another problem to that? Yeah. Um, but those order bags have big, weird stickers that have, like, a, your name printed on it, like, a, a barcode scan on it. And if you twist and knot that up, it twists and knots up the bag and everything printed on it. Oh. And I glanced down at where it happens to be in a corner of the room and saw black, splotchy squiggles twisted up on a white surface. 
And does chat know what periodolia is? Oh no. <laughs> For two seconds, I glanced down and saw Twisted Screaming Face. Wow, that's fun. Then reality reasserted itself, and luckily I don't really have a scream response to things like this. I just looked down and went, hmm, and went, oh. Well, that's oh, fine. Oh, I should have some of that umeshu, though. I don't drink often because I'm bad at getting drunk and not like, oh, I get drunk and it's bad. I mean, I'm like six feet tall <laughs> and twice as large as most people. It takes me too long to get drunk and I get bored of the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like that goes to Christmas future. Like a, um, if anyone in the audience has read Fuan no Tane, aka Seeds of Anxiety, oh, man. you know the faces in that, this is terrible to do to you, but the ones that are like children's scrawl faces. Yes. Yeah, it was like that. Oh. The, side note. Uh, if you like horror, read Fuan no Tane and the same author's other series, PTSD Radio. Really tragically, I think both are on, like, hyper hiatus because of the author's, like, health problems, but, uh... It's good. It's good. You gotta enjoy whatever the beverage is first and getting drunk second. See, I think Umeshu is that for me, because it's just sweet, syrupy, fruity, weird liquor. What's up? Oh god, the faces hey, are Hey, fucker! Back. They're back. Why would they be gone? We're still in the the on shelves version of the game. We have to do this with the faces. Don't smile at me. Which... Don't smile at me. We are not he friends. Does. We he are does. not comrades. He always does. You are a scary face in the sky. Oh, the dishwasher uh, just spurted water really loud behind me. Is it okay if I, on my own, ask Puzz something to the side? Yeah, of course. Okay, Puzz, I'm gonna secretly DM you to the side. Hey, Puzz, just a quick check. Hey, man. This is like my least favorite one because, like, I still can't parse it entirely. Oh, that sucks, Ordeal Caretaker. I have luckily avoided it because I already have health issues that are really crippling, straight Ooh. up. I'm so sorry. That sucks, Dick. I'm very desensitized to horror, but the sky faces yes, really make my skin crawl. Make... Legitimately, I, I think part of what it is, is in a video game when there's like a scare that kills you, that to me like mutes the horror like 90% of the time. Uh, as soon as you get caught, but these don't do anything to you except mm -hmm. maybe scare you and then you get the hook. Yeah. They're just like there. Oh. I love the tune that comes on when the lights are out. The meow, meow, meow. Mm -hmm. it's so good. So with the era. It really is. Whoop. I wonder if I can go back in that room and uh, interact with the computer before I talk to Wolf. Hmm. You know, I don't know. Well, let's try to do it the proper way this time. Then, uh... Yeah. Worst case, we just hit the old reset and come back through here again. Exactly. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I just got some info back from Puzz. Okay. It, it, it is up to you if you want to know or not. Um, is it something you'd like to hint me about? Mm. Let me get one more question back. Oh, 
what's gonna happen again. <laughs> he panicked! Oh! It resets you all the way? Wait, what? <laughs> I, I guess you can fulfill both conditions at once. Okay, so uh, I, I would like to confirm something real quick. We can get to Walter's Layer 2, but it's not by the Walking on Water glitch. Ooh. And we can't replicate that glitch right now. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, I, I, I'm going to ask Buzz <laughs> to give us the high sign when that is possible. I'm sorry, Thank Squeaks. You, Thank you, Squeaks. Bugs! <laughs> No, I'm no, going no, to throw no. you into the water no, next no, time no, you... No, 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 because uh, Squeaks went what when that happened? Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we, we bug testing. You need some bugs testing. We hey, find a couple of you bugs. You need bugs. We bu we bu he, these bugs. Hey. I don't know why I'm talking like someone's cousin. <laughs> uh, yay. Okay, yeah. What what I wanted to confirm was just uh, if we were barking up the wrong tree too hard. That's why I checked with Puzz. Oh yeah, because beavers do bark. Oh, that's okay. Hello? Oh god. That question mark looked like a person from this angle. Ugh. Good night, pal. Good night, buddy. Well, we now only have one friend whose layer two we can navigate to without resetting. Okay. Uh, what to become famous? <laughs> by stream viewers from us. Hey, bro. You notice the Giovanni? I wish they sounded here? like that. Yeah, Giovanni's not here. I notice. Actually, come to think of it, we should. If we don't make it to a lair, we should see what happens if we get the good ending with Giovanni, like, dead. Yeah, that's a good idea. Reporting this as spam. No, I'll report this as scam. They trying to sell us viewers. I, I hate the new, like, scam bot things that do it as like, hey, sorry for bothering you, I want to offer this free promotion. Yeah. Sorry for doing this in the Bucky voice, he would never. <laughs> My, uh, Bucky will never ask for your bank's password. What I do like about Twitch moderation, though, is literally the last time it happened, I sent them a, a, a DM I got that was like that, and literally all I wrote in it was just look at it, and they got it. <laughs> yeah. The, li literally what I tend to, like, report in is like, they trying to sell us viewers. Okay, so that- okay, I had a thought on break about this, by the way. So, we hit Giovanni, mm -hmm. and the death we got shown was someone's head being slammed into something, specifically a friar. Mm -hmm. We've also heard something about she in drowning. the water right. drowning. Do we have to find a way to, like, lead her to water in this level? Because she follows us in this level. And we've tried just, like, hitting her to get the fail state, and that doesn't do anything weird. Is there, like, water we can take her to? Kind of. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What is that? Is that you? Oh, god, it's the slowed down phone message. Can we, like, get her to the edge and then hit her so that she goes over? I hate that's what planning I think. this out loud like this. this. That's what I think the deal is. All right, sorry. Hey, okay. No. Okay, it doesn't really make her move. Okay, okay. You want to come in the water with me? Come on, let's swim. Let's swim. Girl. What? Button? Oh, 
Button? No, it opened a YouTube video. Button? It opened a video. Okay. Alright, this is called Dancing in the Dandelions. S side stream that sucker to me, my friend. Yep. Bucky, you just stay where you are, and hopefully nothing scary happened while you're there. Can you... Oh, it didn't send it to you. Uh, Hang on. Nah, let me see. I have to close and restart the whole window for some reason. Okay, here we go. And when they see a big red... And yeah. Oh. Sure. Do we gotta go over there? Okay. Can you... I saw something. I saw that too. Okay. Okay. Re re reset. You probably gotta restart the stream for me to get the game side You're stream. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Let me, um... Tiptoe through the <laughs> to you. Uh, Olivia. Olive. Olivia. Hey. Help. 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 Oh, the... Girl, where are you? Hashtag girl. Hashtag girl help. Oh, beaver. Ah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, I'm just so happy to see you. I, I think, is that the house? Okay, let, let's find the view we were shown in that video. Yeah, let's see. It okay. was like, it was definitely here, right? Yeah, it looks like here. Is it here? I think here. <laughs> mm. Alright, hang on. Let's look at the video again. Yeah, let, let, let's pull that up. We're probably going to fail out of this just from the timer, but I think that's okay. That's okay. Uh, could you actually toss me the link on my side oh, so yeah. I can see Sorry. it uh, on my screen? Why am I getting that's recommended okay. it might just this be easy. Shit. Sorry. I don't know. Okay. Let me toss Give that me to link. you. Okay. So that... That kind of... What's, uh, that looks like our friend Stumbles down there. Or the other purple man. Yeah, that's true. Okay. No, wait, hold on, you're right, that really does look like a rabbit, because he's also sitting and doing, like, that rocking yeah. thing he does. Okay, so that's the left house. Yeah, that's the left house. And then it zooms in... What's there? Just above the left house. Okay. Okay. Alright, alright, Okay, all right. I... I'm just gonna keep that paused there. It looks like the rabbit has arms to me. May, 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 maybe. Oh, that was close. Mm. Olive, give me a boost. Maybe like just the wall, even. Oh. oh! Okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh, that kind of got us somewhere. That kind of got us somewhere. Hey, what are you doing? Nah, no, don't worry about it. The coconuts, please! You know, I, I really need these coconuts. I know, but... Uh, listen, you know and I know that this is important, but I just gotta do what I'm... I, it's just gonna happen. I have so little say in this. I've seen things. I've been to the darkness. Okay, so I think... Huh. Just hear like an opening noise. That's the noise when you mantle onto something. Okay. So we can get here and we can kind of like hop along like this, but it's not really letting us like over. We can kind of go a ways like this, is what we're learning. Maybe we just need to like look that direction? Like, what can we see if we look there from here? Not really a whole heck of a lot, admittedly. Hmm. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I don't she know. She kind of shrugged at us. Yeah, she did. 
can definitely advise on this item and only if you want because I did compare to my notes and so know what's up. Thank you, Puzz. Ooh. Yeah, let's go again. Oh, one more, one more. Hey, Frankie, can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you cap and put in collab chatter where exactly the circle is? Maybe I'm lining this up wrong. Yeah, I can do that for you real quick. Uh, let me take a couple of caps. Okay. And then, okay, so that's where the circle appears. There's that. <laughs> the, really enjoy how fucking baked and toasted this footage is. Yeah, for real. So it's like right above the house and a little bit to the... Okay, I got a good shot of it, so... No stones unturned, Let me okay. give you these uh, caps. So here's before it zooms in, just to give you the look at where it is, and then there's the red circle. We we should go back to that area that was making, like, the noise play, too. I I don't know why. I really want to open the chest that's, like, right where that noise stuff starts up. Okay, coconut. Coconut. How goes the horrors? Oh, you know. Are you sure you don't want to fall in the ocean? Why do you keep asking me that? Oh, you know. Girls will see an ocean and be like, I don't want to fall in that. Has it always been this foggy? Uh, I think it's foggier because we're here later at night. But also, who know? Who know? Okay, we can... Huh, it's not mantling this time either. Oh, maybe I need to go back and hit the button again. Oh, that's that's a smart idea. Hello. Wee. Up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bugs. <laughs> I got excited. Is it is it fog or is it smoke? It could very easily be implied to be smoke from the volcano because uh, it gets more like this the longer you're at these things. And the atmosphere around the island absolutely does change over time. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to just make sure that it doesn't uh, start mm -hmm. auto-playing the video on the side. Okay. What, you don't want extra noises? You don't want extra noises? Not you terribly. don't want extra. Red in the ocean. Red in the ocean, morning's devotion. Red ocean at night, sailor's delight. <laughs> I'm not sure any of those are any kind of sayings, Loki. <sighs> Have you ever heard the DK rap, Olivia? It's great. It's beautiful. It's the best music I've ever heard. Not Maybe if the game goes summer. really well, I can meet Donkey Kong. That'd be nice, Loki. Yeah. Hmm. I swear to God, this house's light is gonna turn on and I'm gonna just Scream. explode. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Hmm. It's the leftmost house. It's right there, but I don't understand. Maybe the house something... is gonna grow legs and walk away. We would cry. We would cry. What if I hit Can you in front of the, house? the door? Oh, I don't like that, but you're right. Come here, girl. Okay, no. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Hmm. gets us up here and that feels like something. Mm. I feel like we're close. Yeah, I do too. I just don't know what to do from here. Do do you want a page for a hint from Bugs? Or but the but the puzz? Uh bugs. Big a buzz. Yeah, we can fuck around a bit first. I just want to rub on it a little longer. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good by me. It seems like the Whoa. mantling, like, oh, I don't know if that was a secret, but it was something. <laughs> Bucky went check this shit out. 
Oh, oh, that black back there doesn't look like an abyss. It looks like it has floor under it. Yeah, I noticed that. It has, it has like a, a like hole or something. Hang on. See. Olive getting rizzed up. Look what I can do. <laughs> Isn't this swag? Please, 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 please. Oh. 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 <laughs> I don't think this is the secret. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, yeah, I could use a hint. I'm sorry. Uh, don't, don't apologize. Th this game is made to, like, it literally says in the thing, like, have friends, help a few. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Puzz, we, we are submitting for one Nintendo hotline, uh, Hint. Hi, Olive. Hi. Um. There's an extra step for this that isn't obvious. Oh. Okay. What's up? Let's poke around a little then. Hmm. You gotta like get more cocoa nuts. You gotta open a very specific chest. You'll know when because a mirror will spawn in at your start point for the level. What? Okay. We gotta start opening chests. Okay, okay. That's really funny that I was almost a little bit on it. Okay. Once you do that, go to the indicated spot from the video. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, we've turned Puzz into our hint boy, our hint man, our hint girl. Oh, hint man! <laughs> yeah, this rules. I I really do love the like intricate but not impossible. What? Oh, we ran out of time. Right, right, right. I'm the hint coin now. <laughs> um. Um. Hey? Hey? Ha. Okay. The label says Olivia's last phone call. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. He showed up at the door again. I, I don't know what to do. Something about us and I just felt wrong. <laughs> oh. Controller rumbling. Why controller rumbling? Why controller rumbling? Oh, that was what we were hearing out there, Bugs. He showed up at the door again. I, I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Was a great goddamn scare! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and we didn't really play that video either. Oh. Okay. I was covering my screen. What happened? <laughs> huh? Oscar Lima. Oh shit. Yeah, she was saying something else, and I thought it was the other dialogue. Fuck. That's okay, we'll write down what she's saying for now. Mm. India? I wonder what this is spelling. Victor? Oh. India. Alpha. Oh. Man. A thick trail That's of- okay. Oh. Hey, girl. You wanna come with? Let's get opening some chests. I, mm, I 
wonder which chest it is. Okay, no coconut. I kind of want to fail out and see her dialogue, though. Mm. Recheck what that dialogue was. Uh, someone could have taken a clip, too. Well, mm, that's true. Mm -hmm. Shards of glass, a thick trail of... Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. Is Olive named after a real someone? I do not know. I'm thinking aloud. Uh, my current theory... Okay. Oh, so, important nothing... things to remember. The trees are gone. Oh. Oh, all there is is the chests now. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. I, I, I guess, and since there's no coconuts in them, we have reached the failure guaranteed version of this level. That rules. So we can't accidentally find coconuts that'll boot us out. We have to find the right one. This rules. Woo! Uh, so in answer to the is she named after someone, my current understanding is that if so, it is not in a way where we've gotten the information. What I feel like is the more relevant information is the real people who were in the suits are who I believe are dying right now. Not, oh, there was a real Olivia in real life. I believe that was the actress for Olivia. I barked that like is my assumption. fucking dog, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you all got to hear what I do, which is go dead silent. Where's the chest? There's another, like, room area, too, right? Besides this one? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. Okay, the mirror has shown up. Let's talk to the- Oh. Now we go to the spot indicated in the video. Hey, Olivia. Come here. I don't think we need Olivia for this. I just want to see if something happens. Okay. Come here. So what do you think? Oh. oh, she does show up in the mirror. That's nice. That's yeah, good. That is, yeah, that's nice. Do, do you ever feel like weird and bad from looking at yourself in the mirror? No reason. Well, anyways. All right. Lesson learned. I won't mash through dialogue anymore. That's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Vegeta just posted bugs. <laughs> V Vegeta literally just clipped the dialogue and put it in chat. Bless. Uh, let me pause the vid. People have complained about the mirror? Ridiculous! Said it wasn't hardware accurate. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's not a hardware accurate mirror! What will I do? Come on! The yeah, yeah, the in fiction this is being made in source in fiction it's very clearly an alternate reality where game dev works differently oh that's her walking every time i'm like what is that clicking noise what is that tapping noise <laughs> I, I do know there are people who would get, like, very distracted by whether or not it would work on the original hardware. For me, genuinely, the induction of, and this is also a world where there's, like, a beta version of Source wandering around, makes me go, technology works differently in this timeline. Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. Hmm. I think you're drifting a bit left, says Buzz. Maybe from like the other side of the house? Yeah, Does maybe. Does that work? It's like right between the two houses, Puzz says. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay, that, oh. that actually helps a lot. Yeah. Oh, like where the road, okay, where there's a road leading there. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> well, that would certainly do it, huh? the hell is that? I know, I'm screen... Can, can you back... Okay, let me... Okay, I got, like, a screen cap of the face. 
Okay. Can't go in here. Let, let, let's wander around a bit more, too. Ah, oh, jeez. Door. I'm gonna get got by the godder. I know, bud. Fools. Maybe? B time equals true. What is that? Oh, keypad. Don't got nothing. B time equal true. Oh, that's the volcano over there. It's playing the audio again. Listen. You could hear it like as a very faint rumble. Mm. Or I'm so scared I'm imagining the audio. I cannot hear it for the life of me, my friend. Hey, girl! Shards of glass were stuck everywhere. A thick trail stretched from the broken window. And it led directly into the water. Hmm. Okay. What was that? That's the sound she makes when you hit her. Okay. And you weren't, like, pressing any buttons or nothing. Alright. Understood, I think. Hey, watch it! Hey, watch it! Hey, watch it! Hey, watch it! I don't think this is it, but it could be. It's just taking time off. Alright. Mm-hmm. We needed to. Go there, there was like a red circle that directed us someplace. Was that door leading us to there, or was there someone else somewhere else back there we could have gone? I don't know. Maybe this time. Here, this time, what we should do is just like poke around. Well, poke around, but also like see if we can keep track of which chest it is that's do that like makes the mirror appear. Is it there now? No. Oh Jesus! iTunes just popped up with a like log into your account thing. It scared the shit out of me. No oh, bugs. Okay. Okay. That's a Is Olivia the only one who says anything when you hit her? Uh, yes, explicitly in this mini game because in the normal version of this mini game, uh, you can hit her on accident while you're getting coconuts. Okay, so it's one of the chests in here. Well, I might as well sprint over that away while we're here. Let's just see what we can see. Do I have to uh, redo it every time? I wonder. Can I just go for it now that I've done it? Let's find out. Nope. Okay. Good enough. Nope. Okay. We gotta hit the button. We're learning. Mm -hmm. We're learning. I'm gonna swim away. I'm gonna swim to a different video game. Here I come, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm your new villager, honest. I'm, um... I'm running the fishing jo contest jock now. Type. Y yeah, that's right. Don't don't worry. There's, there's nobody else who should be here. Aww. Right in the fire. Here I go. It's like bed to me. Oh, it looks different this time. It's in the forest this time. Oh. Hey. Hey. That's not me. That's not me. We got blood trailer him. Him. We're picking him. Why do you gotta look like me, man? What does it mean if someone who has your face does things like this? Okay. 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 
Hey. Bye. I think she just vanished because it's nighttime, and you know, when it's nighttime, everybody goes to bed. Oh, that had a wall texture behind its door. Is that one of the doors that used to be locked? Yep. Yep. The pool! We made it, Bugs! Great. We made it to the pool. Great. Oh, this music is really good, actually. Yeah, this is nice. This is very soothing. Uh, lots of little computers. I, I noticed the same computers from, like... Oh, a pool. A pool. A pool. A pool. The broken glass in the trail. And remember how that one footage is from a hotel? You know what you find a lot in a hotel? A pool. This track should be in Twin Peaks. It is serving a little uh, Laura Palmer's theme, yeah. Oh. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Oh, house, house. Go back to that corner. Go back to that corner. Oh. Go to the left. Yeah, huh. Oh, God, this theme is so good. Yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay. <gasps> okay. Oh, 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 oh. Code is... ECDC. ECDC. Ah, uh, that's like one of the first... Can we go back and, like, go to the, um... Why do I the, hear the walking? Room? That one's Chief. Let's, uh, go back and see if we can go in that locker room area. Yeah, alright. Here's the gearbox logo. Mm -hmm. There's the parts box. Yeah, let's, let's 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 check out things around here for a little as a little bit. This is this is nice. This is nice. Things could be nice. I'm 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 like a toy in a toy box up here, baby. I'm I'm in a having a good time. What's in this door? Nice things. Oh, it's a sauna. Oh, cool. Oh, it's. Hmm. Oh, for my sore feet. Oh, my little tootsies. Oh, finally I can swim. Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 Let's go see what that other door had in it. <laughs> There's a whole room over here. Let's see what's in there first. Oh, look, windows. Oh. Oh, hey, look, there's another little model set up, wow, and it's got, like, that. the big That's building so nice. and everything. That's... We gotta go look at the waterfall secret, <laughs> don't we? We have to go look at the waterfall secret. We okay. Secret. We have to go look at the waterfall secret. I don't like that we have to go look at the Are waterfall Are any of these secret. my locker? My... Oh, please, one of these has to have my pants in it. <laughs> I lost it in the crash. <laughs> Now, what's over here first? Oh, it's more lockers. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. More lockers and a door. And hallway. Oh! Oh, this was behind a gate earlier. Oh, you're right. Hey! Hey, I remember this now. <laughs> oh, so do these doors let you, like, go back to the other areas? That's really cool, actually. Yeah, that's great. Hello. This okay, let's. I was using one of the silver tech computers around the place, and would you look at what I found? Online, they have a bunch of sheet music everywhere. So I could just take one, print it off, and play it on my piano. <laughs> it's lovely. I found this one song I want to try. It's called Hot <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Okay, well, we'll come back to this. We, we should keep investigating the pool for now. Okay. Definitely, like, GDC, maybe? Okay. Maybe. So 
it this piano? No. Because it's hitting chords occasionally. I don't mm. think so. Alright, we got stuff to investigate. I don't want to. I don't want to. We'll check out that door again in a second. Always behind the waterfall, as everybody checks behind the waterfall. Oh, this is such a creepy space. There's another waterfall. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, cool. untextured trees. Can we hit the tree? We have to try hitting the trees. No coconut? Sad. No coconut? Sad. No bucky coconut? Sad. It's like, oh, oh, another waterfall? What is going on? Oh, that's just, okay. Yeah. Smart. Smart. You smart. <laughs> oh, keypad. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. We got that cap that had a, like, key solve on it, but we would need, like... If in that room we find a tape, that's probably going to be, like, our first actual use of the Shakespeare yeah, we uh, code. Probably. I don't think we have the pieces right now. Well, EDGC can also be a musical notation. Mm, yeah, but we also don't have the music for that to solve that either. Uh, and also it had the specific thing of, let me take a look at the codes I have open in another thing. While you navigate. Mm -hmm. You usually know you've got it when your data set consists of letters entirely at the start of the alphabet. Let me take a look at the cap I took, because that might actually be it. Not because that one has... Hmm. E, C, D, C. Yeah. Those are all start of the alphabets. Oh yeah, no. For sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to go back in here and poke around a little. No, no, I think now is when we should poke around, because, like, we went to the waterfall area. That's one of these awful statues that I hate. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, Can hello. We interact with these... Oh, here we go. Hot cross buns. It is. Oh, you know what? That other tape was saying y you can find sheet music online. Sheet. Music. Hot. Cross. Buns. <laughs> Let's go. There it is. I am able to pull up the sheet music for hot cross buns. From a lot of places. I'm going to pick it from letsplaykidsmusic.com. And I'm going to send you the link, bud. You don't... Here, look. Okay, thank you. And, okay, 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 I'm really excited about this. Uh, the code solver and the other thing, what does it have to say about the Mozart thing? Let me take a look. Mozart cipher. Just identify your data set, we have it. Okay, so... Uh, our data set... Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm just looking at uh, the, the set we have, so that's... Uh, yeah. Every good boy loves fudge. Well, it's ECDC. Yeah. So I'm just going to put in collab header ECDC... And the way it works is, this is similar to the last one, but you have to count the notes. So if D is played twice in a song, D is two. Okay, let me take a look at the sheet music that um, I pulled up for Hot Cross Buns. This isn't right for Hot Cross Buns like this. This version has four separate oh. notes. See the scale going okay. down on one of them? Um, but I think I can do this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pull up a different sheet in the background and try and solve it on my own, okay, too. Okay, cool. Just not say anything, because I want to play codes. Hell yeah, brother. And I think it's fun that it goes like you can get the sheet musics. Okay, so ECDC. Okay. I think it's, um... 
Let's see is three. One, two, one, two, three, four. So it's just the heart crossbones, yeah. heart crossbones, one a penny, two a penny, heart crossbones. Yeah, okay, so C is the highest note here, so the one a penny, two mm -hmm. a penny we hear are C and then G, or D. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, yeah, so that is C, D, G, C, D, G, so... Uh, Sorry, let me do this in the slowest way possible. I'm not allowed to help, it's very sad. You're allowed to help? <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to find a sheet music that has it, like, simplified. Oh. So two of each, plus four, six, and then seven. Huh. I've never heard of this song? No kidding! It, it's like the kind of thing you learn if you got to do, like, recorder in school. Boing, 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 boing. Okay, let's see. E, C, D, C. E. One, two, three. So that's that, and then... Oh, it's E, mm. not G. I'm so silly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... Seven, seven, three. Come out to seven three seven three. I I wonder. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Oh, I might have just found a site with like a sheet music that'll work for oh, that. Oh, perfect. Oh, great. Buy the PDF. Never mind. Appending to search free. <laughs> Beginners. No, not block this site. Okay, this looks workable. I think I found the right kind of sheet music for this. Oh, excellent. Because this gives it as just, like, the actual note names. B-A-G, B-A-G, G-G-G-G-A-A-A-A, B-A-G, there's no E. Oh, that's fine. Oh, then it could be zero. Um. That's, isn't it? One of the options on the keypad was zero? It could also be transposed to be uh, C, D, E as the notes. Mm -hmm. So instead of G? Yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm. Anyone here got perfect pitch? <laughs> Bugs, that can't be how this is meant to be solved. No, Senior Bob just said that in chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You gotta say! Yeah, it would be EDC. Um, okay. I have 7373 for what I think it might be, but I'm a little suspect because E and D have the same amount of uh, numbers, or notes, and, you know, hmm. Mm. Maybe there is a zero. I, I think zero has to be an option if it's like one of the number pad keys, you yeah, know? Yeah, you're right, you're right. And it's transposed, so it's... I don't know. I, I don't know if... Hmm. So maybe we should try, uh... 7373, three, if that doesn't work, 0373, three, three, and if that doesn't work, 7303. Three. So long as all you got... The, as long as you got all those options written down, absolutely, boss. Hell yeah, I got them all written down. Okay, let's go try it. Yippee! I hope it's okay that I was like squirreling around looking for. No, music absolutely. Stuff kinda... it, okay. I wouldn't have thought to not do the. Um, I wouldn't have thought to put zero in. Well, it's just because that other. Yeah, well, because that other thing was like, if you go online, you can find all of these music sheets. Just listen. Mm -hmm. First two notes of Hot Cross Bun. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right. So, first of all, let's try 7373. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, there is no zero. Okay. Nope. Oh, no! Mm -hmm. do, do both of our other solves require the zero? Yeah. <laughs> but, but there may be a slight flaw in the plan. 
me go to history, recently closed window. So it's ECDC. stupid. What? I was notating D like it was lower than C. I forgot. I'd mix those up. Bugs! Maybe it's 7373? Or 3737? Try Wait, that out. Yeah. Might as well try it out. Nope. I feel like it shouldn't be just like just two numbers as the result is my only thing. Yeah, I feel the same way. ECDC. But I'm not finding like any version of it that has E is the problem. Oh, for piano. We're hearing it on the piano. Hot cross buns, mm -hmm. sheet, music, piano. Let me see if that helps. Smart. Easy, free easy piano sheet music for right hand. That could work. Cool, oh, problem. I'm just gonna tre keep trying finding him till something. Hell yeah, brother. This one is G, D, this one is G, C, G, D, G, D, G. Hmm. None of these have E, and zero isn't an option. Breakthrough boss? I think so. Hang on, let me double check my numbers here. So if it's E C D C. Oh! I found one with E. Oh, perfect. It's from Pinterest, which sucks, but here we go. I'm just gonna take a screen cap so I can share it without being a giant pain in the ass. Okay, this gives it as... You bastard. Hold on a sec. Oh, there it is. It just uploaded twice. Okay, so this is giving us E, D, C, E, D, C, 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 D, 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 E, D, C. So that would be transposed out as E, 1, 2, 3, so 3. Okay. And then D, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6? Oh, 7. Okay, okay. Du double check my numbers. Remember, your boy got dyscalculia. I'm literally like using the finger cap. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because there's a final C on no, right. cross bonds. Uh, and then E C D C, and so the D is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven again. So three, seven, seven, and seven. Then, it looks like. Because it's E C D C yes okay, three seven cool. seven seven. Let's try that. Thank you, Frankie. Your big brain. Whew. <laughs> My big brain was looking through Google results until I got something for babies learning piano. Thank you, 
random Pinterest piano song download. Squeak says the true evil of Shipwreck 64 is Pinterest, you're right. Oh, hey, Squeak. Um, can I ask, what was it you wanted to tell us about, uh, Stumbles? Uh, with the rabbit wolf? Oh, you want to just hear that since it's not. Yeah, it's not in the game. We've yeah, gotten pretty far. This Calculi Gang. Yeah, I. It's really annoying, too, because people have to be Let's like, I'm so bad at math. Go. Let's go. And I'm always over here like, no, I can't count. You don't understand. I can't <laughs> count. I have to count in binary. Oh, platforming challenge. Oh, let's go. I really love this, like, creepy, like, tile untextured feeling, by the way. I, I can smell the pool water, you know? Thank Let's you, go. chat. You're very nice to me. <laughs> yeah. Bugs. <laughs> You're not allowed to apologize for being slow and then be like, thank you for being- You're good! Okay. You did good! Okay. Get gas. Okay. Oh, ah. hey. Yippee! What what that sign say back there? Oh, oh, we're back here! Yay! Frankie was right. Wolf was the one who saved Stumbler from being killed. He did so by crushing the rabbit wolf's head in with a rock Whoa. and taking Stumbler back to town hall. Holy shit! That rule. Wolf is the best one. Wolf rules. I, Wolf is like the only character in this game free of sins. Don't say anything. Hey, bud. Oh, you know. Okay, same dialogue. Yeah, same dialogue. <sighs> now, here's the question. Oh, hey. Not here this time. Let's take a look at this. Stop yeah, no. now. Stop. Yeah, same stuff as last time. Drado. Drado. Brandon? Oh, yeah, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. Brandon. Who's Brandon? I don't know. Write that down in your notebook. Like, hangman answer Bra Brandon. Okay. Hang on. La 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 la. Oh! No, we haven't Brandon. broken for midnight. No. We, we should do that. Okay. Yippee! You know what? Actually, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go back. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's save out here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, guess what? We're friends now. Yeah. You get to be between me and the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what monsters you mean? Nothing. Hold on, explain. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just gonna nod vigorously because Bugs is moving their mouse, and that's what's <laughs> causing that in case anyone in chat gets so, so scared. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick 10-minute break, and I assume when we come, we're going to play more Yes. for a little bit? I would okay. love to. Uh, now, here's the thing. Do we... Hmm. Hmm. I want to poke check in. With... Okay, you want you want to poke in? Yeah. To see if anything obvious is done? I, I want to see what her area will be, because I'm so, so scared. I, I think we just went through her, her area. No, I mean, like what the hall paper hallways was for Giovanni. What hers will be. Hmm. My, my suspicion is that it's gonna be the same. Well, but let's see. I think... Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. Alright. BRB, we're gonna be take ten minutes. Once again, if you gotta go to bed, if you gotta log out, if you gotta check us out on the VODs later, absolutely do that. Don't stay up too late for funny VODs. Uh, we're gonna take a quick ten minute break. I'm gonna eat some bagel, and we will be... Wait, right wait, 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 Sorry. Um, we got a dono. Oh, shit. This is from... Ahem, ahem, ahem. Mm -hmm. Uh, Caddy says, not sure how much more until next noise, but may I request hot cross buns? <laughs> and donated $20. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What are we at total? 159 Oh, that's scary. We're actually within, like, Rock's Throw. That's terrible. Alright. Let me get you that, and I think I owe another one of these real quick. Wait, has it been 269s? Is that enough for 269? No, it's not 269. Well, no, let me do some math. Let me do it some is. math. It is. 
Let's go. Get that All right. hot cross buns. I can't play hot cross buns on slide whistle. I would need to grab the kazoo again. But if we if we reach kazoo numbers again, I will do hot cross bun. I promise. <laughs> but for right now, hold on. It's be like, well, actually, maybe hold on. a good long wind up one of the I just imagining the wolf sitting like how are you making those noises <laughs> I'm whistling okay <laughs> let me get you one last funny noise and then you know what just for getting us here there is actually one other instrument I could try to play hot cross buns on hold on so let's see that's Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind support. I'm going to go on break now. BRB a second.
Hello. Oh. I have a song stuck in my head from uh, Olive going, stop it. Um, the way it was mashed up to go, stop it, stop it, stop, 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 stop. Um, <laughs> there's a, uh, a uh, how am I feeling? Good. There's, there's a certain thrill that comes with being scared. It's good. Um, there's, there's a scratch artist or scratch MC. Uh, I don't really know the genre name. I'm a fake fan, but, uh, called Rusty Roboticus, who has a mash, uh, scratch, well, a mashup actually of uh, Never Play With Matches called Never Play With Scratches. And because when you're doing, uh, you know, scratch, like, music, oh my god. Um, you know, when you're you're using different samples of the audio, it's called caught it and cutting the audio up. And there's a sample in that song where it's someone going, stop it, stop it, stop cutting me up. And I'm just sitting there in the kitchen making my chocolate, like, or making my coffee, like, why? Do I have that stuck in my head and tracing back to like, oh, it was this sample in there. It's a good song though, you should listen to it. It's um, very creepy actually. Very fun. It's very funny. It's a gag song for sure, but it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. That has been Half Remembered Song from like 10 years ago. Corner. Please enjoy. Here it is. It is dope album art, too. Wait. Oh no. Oh my god. When I went to send the message, I accidentally clicked and dragged right over the stop streaming button. That would have been fucking awful. Hi, Frankie! Hello. Oh, Frontier Psychiatrist is so good. The Avalanches are so good. That whole album. Ugh. I'm not too hot. Frontier Psychiatrist is dope, yeah. is the thing. I'm not crazy about their Frank uh, Frankie Sinatra era uh, music, but mm. I do like Frankie Sinatra. It's a good song. Uh, also, please check out uh, Frontier Psychiatrist reanimated after you've seen yes. the music video. Yes, yes, please Also do. watch the music video. Watch the music video. Pretend you're really, yes. really into Psychonauts and you have nothing going on because, like, Psychonauts 1 came out. You don't even know the VR game is oh, coming. Oh, man. That... Uh, we, this isn't really the time nor place, and if people have listened to us playing Psychonauts 2, you've absolutely heard me get into it already, but the era in which the theorizing had gone on so long that, like, weird fandom assumptions had, like, calcified in terms of, like... Oh, the log timeline mm -hmm. was the worst. The worst. Yeah. And then Psychonauts 2 came out and proved me right. Proved me right. Alright, yeah. I, I, we, we should poke through, because I do remember, like, okay, we, like, solved the puzzle back there, and it opened up the next zone, and colors and things. Yeah. Uh, what was I'm very interested again? how much this moment with Olive yeah. is, like, given to us a few times. Oh, Olive. Olivia. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. This is Olivia. It hit her before she even knew it was coming. It started with loud screaming, reduced over time to mere growth. Any will to swim away slowly drained away as she sunk down further into the water, polluting its natural color. The rodent stood a few feet away, watching the effects of his actions, and only began to walk away when she stopped struggling. The, the whisper effect after the words is really good. Mm -hmm. I almost wish we could go through that bit with Olivia and follow the blood trail instead of him, but we really had no way in the moment. 
<laughs> and I don't even know if that's accessible again, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, it happened. I'm sure Nick will have found a way to look at that again, or look at it. <sighs> oh yeah, we can follow the blood trail in here. It's... Oh wait, the blood trail leads to that. Oh, interesting. Uh, just that it led to the house was all I was observing. No, the house you're right, over you're there. right. Mm -hmm. Oh, the lit up gearbox logo back there. <laughs> really good, really good. Uh, I want to note, too, that we now have, like, a weirdly complete image of a great deal of what happened with Olivia, speci like, specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, the trail of glass, the window, this blood trail is almost certainly meant to reflect that. Can we look at- the wall says they're lying, and that's very interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Who is the they in this equation, you know? I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Yeah, that's smart. Uh, but, okay, so Olivia was on the phone. We've now heard that conversation she was having. Mm -hmm. In a room, maybe even a hotel room? I'm, I'm so sure. I don't know if I'm correct about, like, maybe, like, you know, people are all working on a project, you're on a shoot, you all happen to be, like, logged into a hotel, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look me in the eye. here. Yeah, are any of these doors open now? Yep. New place. New place. Good call, Bugs. New place, and I don't like it. In here. Compu computer with a bot on the back. Oh, man. Alright, hang on. I have to get in a fucking can or something. Hold on, gotta put myself in the jar. Um, you know what? It's fine. I've decided it's fine, actually. It'll be fine. It's, it's fine. It's, there's no barrel. I'll just keep this open to the side. Oh, wait, but I gotta watch the video. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to you in just a sec. Okay. Hmm. Do you like what you see? I don't have it. I'm just looking at Bucky's back. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Do, do, do. Where is it? Where is it? It's on the screen. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you letting me... Oh, there it is. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've seen this man before. Oh! It's another chunk of this. The middle view this time. Gary Wilson. Pants. Maybe dead organisms is what it was from last time? Hmm. I feel like it was organisms. Yeah, we gotta like rewatch Check that. the other yeah. video with this video. Maybe like save this URL somewhere. Oh! <gasps> Don't like that. That's real good. Olivia Finch! Found at the bottom of the lake, right side of the cabins at Broadside, each staff's quarter located. She appeared to be waterlogged. Looks like something of a horror movie, said Hilary Stocks, her cabin mate. There was a running trail of blood leading all the way from the window of Olivia's cabin to the lake at which she was found. Holy shit. That was pretty readable all on its own. Yeah. Oh, and then that's what we saw on the right before. So we could probably make most of that out. Oh, now we get the, the cut-off letters, too. If we need them. 
Okay, so that tells oh, us there wasn't that much information missing. I didn't like that place. No, that was pretty good. So there's gonna be one more on the left now, too. Okay. Hmm. So there's another video we need to find. And as a reminder, we've had confirmation from Dev that these are, like, mo models. They didn't do anything fucked up. This is not auth style, took a photo from something type shit. Wing convert? Part manufacturer, beach attraction, minerals found. Seem to have its own politics. We, we should cap these bits. Specific subject from the rats. The effect of that on the rat began to fuse with the material applied condition. Victims emerged it before it became. Oh man. Oh man. <gasps> Every fucking time. Okay. 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 Do we remember where the other one of these we had was? Um. Oh god. Uh I I I figure we'll worry about it the most like when we have the first one cuz then we can put together like all of the info. I think it was on the back of the big computer in the computer room, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it would be yeah, in I my think history so. for sure. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Are the suits alive? Is that what it's saying? We don't know yet. Okay, Tico Lulz. We'll miss you forever, Tico Lulz. Oh, no, you're saying I'm not getting sleep. In that case, sorry, Tico Lulz. Yeah. <laughs> Legitimately, uh, without goofing or memeing or anything here, if you're someone who gets very anxious in war and you find yourself having trouble mm -hmm. after this, there are two things that I find very helpful. Either uh, imagine the thing you're scared of being silly or goofy or your friend. You need to imagine not, like, the scary version of these things, but, like, it's Olivia, but, like, she's holding a balloon. And that's gonna sound silly, but it will help you calm down. Or the other thing is literally just, like, find very calming media. Or if you don't mind getting spoilered, I actually find, like, people deconstructing stuff like this helps me sometimes. Uh, either way, like... It will help you to calm down for a bit by just, like, doing something chill, watching something silly. That's why I suggested, like, Homestar Runner. Like, combine the two. Watch some Homestar Runner and then imagine, you know who's at the fridge? It's just Homestar Warrior making myself a sandwich. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I was out here practicing my spooky ambient noises. Ooh. Choo, 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 choo. Ah, ah, ah. I mean, I'm very good at them, yeah. I think I was doing a seagull earlier. Let's see. Strong about him. Getting too scared to sleep recently and watch Jerma to calm down. Jerma is like a Homestar Runner. Yeah, he's like a species of... Homestar Runner. Yeah, yeah. He is a Homestar Runner. He is a Twitha Gapley, is the thing. Um, where did I... You know, I wonder if maybe I had linked it to you before in our collaboration channel. Remaker, I don't need enough date alert right now. Thank you. I don't even use you. Consider something delightful like Big Man. Yeah. Mm, it looks like a no. All right, I'm going to have to poke around later to find that or just run back in there and get that video well, again. If the name of this one was three. Yeah, it would be it's two. It's probably in your history is like two. The problem which is, is kind of a. I looked and I could yeah. not find two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Worst case scenario, we go back into the computer zone. Yippee! Find it. All right. Um. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. I'll I'll look more for that later. <laughs> yeah. Well, for r right now, I figure it's pretty low priority because we're gonna want like, oh, you can also just ask Puzz track this down for me, you friend Buzz. That's that's true. If we can't find it, we'll do that. But for right now, we'll wait. I. I think when we have all three parts, that's when we go into Turbo Drive to put them together. <sighs> okay. Uh, 
uh, you gotta side stream me. Oh crap. Uh, side note to chat, since I was giving all that advice on like how to calm down. Here's Frankie's evil secret. I engage with horror media to get rid of my anxiety, and I don't know yes. why that works, but it does. Same. Um, uh, it's like for me, it's very much mm -hmm. the feeling of um, eating spicy food. You know. Uh, for me, I, I often think of it as being like the catharsis. Uh, one of the sections of the puzzles in the section is evil. That's okay. We got a, a little buddy in a. T oh, I don't like the jail bars being in the floor. I hate that action. Whoa, the table being like thrown over. There's another mirror. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, and it's in the blue. It's in the water. It's in the blue because she drowned. It's in the blue because she drowned. She's in the drowned. Huh. It's in the drowned. It looks like. Um... <sighs> I don't know what that looks like. Oh, that's palm trees. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out, like, what part of the Where island. Where it is? Yeah. I don't think we could tell that from a glance. Table Let's just put a recorder over. in the corner, too. Okay. Well, there's no barrels to hide in, so... <laughs> oh, okay. I remember this being, like, development log, because I remember fuck. laughing yeah. up or fuck. Right. The truest Cube development fuck. log. Se fuck p... <laughs> Se fuck cube... P-M-C-P-N. Okay. Let's see. Do you think she drowned? Catawise, we explicitly know with excruciating detail that she was in some way thrown out of the glass, dragged to a lake out of her cabin, uh, beaten severely, possibly along the way, and then drowned. Yes. We explicitly, absolutely know that she drowned. Yeah. This is devlog. I know the rest of this word. Q mm -hmm. is R. B is A, I believe. Yep. Then F. Oh, uh, by the way, just on the horror thing to chat, like, literally, like, I've been having PTSD. a little bit of trouble, to be totally blunt, with a PTSD problem recently. I had a very small flashback moment, actually, which wasn't, like, super bad. It was just a moment of, like, oh, shit, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Just to let you guys know, this isn't me, like, trauma dumping this is just me going like i had a moment and it's really funny because like then last night watching that scary movie with bugs part of it was like being on call afterwards and like talking with a friend which i always recommend is yes. just having a good normal time with your friends will help your brain a lot God, yeah but the horror actually literally kind of took the edge off yeah. entirely because <laughs> for me my brain goes like oh i'll be scared about this i'll be scared about this fictional exactly. thing and then the movie ends and for me, it, like, it takes that feeling, lets you feel it without spending the whole time, like, fighting yourself about it mm -hmm. or, like, having to worry about, like, it's not good to room, the, to quote Adventure Time, it's never good to fester. <laughs> There's no such thing as good festering, bro. Yeah. But you feel the feeling, and then it, the story ends, and then the catharsis is over, mm -hmm. and you put it away. Yep. And, you know, if that's everybody's different uh, and if horror makes you paranoid and scared and bad it won't be good on, for you hang on hang on yeah oh it's the same audio yeah i just started playing i didn't do anything all right sorry you were saying oh uh that was all i was done playing Let, let's hit this audio thing now did you notice the end there was a crashing and then it sounded like a splooshing yeah, it goes scream, screen, crash, sploosh. We are hearing her death. Uh, devlog random. All right. Today is August 12th, 1996. We've been given the go-ahead to get back to work on the project. It's hmm. been rocky, but we're all getting back into it. Harry's been at his workstation all day, playing through, well, he's been stuck on all of his levels. The Coke Network. Apparently, there's been an issue with the chest spawning in. They just appear a random, which is already bad. But then they soon vanish when you get too close. I'm really just not sure. It's very confusing. I'll figure it out soon, though. So. Hmm. I'm sure. And Liz has been busy as always. She's trying to catch up on the game's artwork. 
We finally got a finalized design for the wolf guy, mostly changing his proportions, so we can share his animations with other characters if we need to. But, yeah, she's killing it, as usual, and on my end, not too much. I'm just chipping away on the little debug map right now, calling it just the plaza for now, until we can think of a cooler name for it. But, yeah. That's where we're at right now. I'm going to keep recording these. They're very fun, for sure. All right, see ya. Okay. I noted all of that down. So the information for that that I'm, like, latching onto the most, we've been given the go-ahead to start working again. At some point during development, development was stopped. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think about that. You're right. Right? So, like... What happened that made them need to stop and then need to be given permission to, like, start again? Mm -hmm. Also, the detail about, like, the glitches happening for the boxes is really fun. Mirror, there's a key code. We don't know what we need for that key code just yet. Olivia. More of the models, and these ones seem, like, even more, like, analogous to, like, figuring out the layout. Mm-hmm these that one's like a web page looking one again is there anything back there i will say uh once mm -hmm. when i was glancing at the comments for a video um mm -hmm. i saw something about that fucking computer on the desk so very excited to see if this is what it was because i thought it was the one in the starting zone yeah that that that's good to hear squeaks Shh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't like the dark tunnel. I don't oh. like it either. Here oh, it's go. so moldy in here. Keypad there. Oh, those are like straight up uh, fluorescent light bars on the ceiling now. Oh, great. Oh. Code is EFG... Lowercase g? No. Nine? Nine? Oh, maybe it's EFG and then nine as the last number. EFG nine? Is there any letter that could look like a nine that much? Not a P. A D? Huh. Oh, oh, to joy. Okay, it's another, like, simple for baby hands type, uh, three note one. Mm -hmm. Oh, to joy, simple sheet music. <laughs> Thank you, Frankie. I'm going to, uh, platform yeah, it no. here. Ooh! That was a fun one. Gate control! Ah. One of three. Okay, okay, alright, alright. Oh, uh, there's gonna be some scare where you, like, walk over this and see something at some point that there's something. Uh. Oh, to joy. Sheet music. Piano. Beginner. I'm gonna go look this at the other room while we do this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Might have it anyways. Piano for little fingers, right hand only. Okay. So what we have is EFG9... So, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, C, D, E, E, D. Ah! No, I don't want to join your newsletter. Hmm. Mm. Let's see. Uh, here's what I'm working from, by the way. E, F, G, 9. But it gave us, like, both parts of it. Um, 
But it does just kind of repeat twice, huh? The guy said on the thing 81296, and since there's only four letters, I'm going to see if doing 83, adding 1 plus mm -hmm. 2, would work. 8396. Try for it. Oops. Damn. Okay, so... E F G E E E E. So that's four. And if we need all of it, then it's just doubled, right? Uh, I think it would just be the section that played. Right, but that does like da 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 da. Yeah, I think so. I think it is it twice. Let's see. See if I can find like a different version of this kind of sheet music. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> I I might have one that might be exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh, let's go. Nah, 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 nah. I don't want to sign up. Copy image. Oh my god, he's stoogifying. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like what we need. Ooh, excellent. E E F G G F E D C C D E E D D E E F G G F E D C C D E D C C. That's it. That's the perfect, only part perfect. we need. Okay, so E F G nine. So it's gonna be E E E. You must join the newsletter e -E. to open the gate. Fuck. <laughs> e E. I lost track. Hold on. One two. One. One two. One two. One. One. So that is one two three four five six seven eight nine nine nine. Okay. And then for F. That's one, one, that's no, just four. And then G, one, two, three, four. Hmm. All right, let's see if nine, four, four, nine is it. Yeah! Yes! Big brain Frankie! Big brain Frankie! <laughs> uh, thank you to Color Me Mozart. <laughs> Which actually was pretty easy to oh, follow, no. so I think. Huh? Oh. Ha. Yeah, I don't like that either. It's okay. Oh, okay. Okay, hi, Olivia. Okay, there's two of three. <sighs> yeah. Get being out of joy. Like, okay, on one hand, that's just like a smart choice on a meta sense for a puzzle because, like, that's something you can find. But that being, like, attached to Olivia and this yeah. is slightly like mm. okay one more yeah okay. oh it'd be so exciting if we could get through all of these before we gotta stop tonight i would feel a lot nice. less scared thinking about the next stream to be honest wouldn't that be nice maybe we can do that <laughs> i take pride in showing the absolute worst imagery my players either i say this with like fondness and like all the love for this project in the world much worse art has shown me worse. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is the perfect amount of bad. Honestly, and I know this is like a cliche thing people say because he's like the only horror like artist they know about, 
Hmm. It does make me think of, like, you know the thing with Junji Ito faces where it's not, like, the big full spread that, you know, everyone talks about as, like, the big reveal spread? But when he has, like, just one detail crammed into a panel... Oh, yeah. ...and you can't quite see what it is... That's, that's what I get, and that's what I love a lot, is, like... The seclusion of details is always going to be worse. Although maximalism has its own charms. The only button... I feel like we gotta do something with that keypad of the computer on the desk, and that's giving me... that's bad. Yeah. That seems like the one thing that we might need to work with here. I was looking to see if maybe any of the computers had the same background, mm -hmm. but they don't. Mm -hmm. What was that writing on the wall back there? Uh, in here. That's great. That's good. That's mm -hmm. fine. That's good. That's nice. Or I'm here, actually. Mm hmm. Hmm. Could be either. Hmm. I'm still up on on standby. Thank you, Puzz. It does sound like the- okay, so there's a mirror, there's an overturned desk. And there was a mirror in Olivia's level. And what we're seeing on the computer screen is two coconut trees. Hmm. There's an overturned desk, we're seeing an assortment of houses there. Hmm. I'm going to ask Puzz a quick question okay. to the side, on my own. Question? Is this... Oh, that's the layout of the room we're in. That's where we are, I think. I think you're right. You right. would know better than me. Because that's the hallway. I think that's right. No. Is there anything, am I... like, marked on it? No, I, I might. No, I might. Okay, I've, a... mm. I've asked Puzz the question. I think I'm wrong, actually. Mm hmm. Hmm. He stumbles. Hey, Stumbles. I miss Stumbles. I miss the wolf. Huh. Weird answer. Okay. Okay. Puzz has given me an important cue here. Yeah? Uh, so what I asked was to make sure that we have all the information items we need or if we needed to do something at a different location. The reason I asked that is because those palm trees being on the computer mm -hmm. made me wonder if there was something back in Olivia's level we need for this. Puzz is answered. You have all you need, but this is another case of getting out of game information in some form to get your answer, but you have the means and information you need to get that if that makes sense. Hmm. There's a very obvious, very silly hint I can give if needed, but I'll leave here for now. Oh, I'll fix chat showing up on stream. Thank you, Jibber Jabber. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... We have the information. We have to look We have outside. the information, but it involves out-of-game information. Is there anything with... What I'm... Okay. Here's my current theory. Mm -hmm. Given that the keypad is in this room, mm -hmm. I am going to assume... What we need as the cue for the out-of-game information is also within this room. Agreed. I am going to go take a look at the YouTube channel and see if any of them have, like, a thumbnail. Oh, you're smart. That is the palm trees. You're smart, you're smart, you're smart. Uh, real I'm quick in the background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or if any of them have to do with, like, Ode to Joy, and a 
Misidentification, redundant, silly song, discontent, crash, design. No, Mothray, I feel the same. It's getting to me that we haven't seen a threat yet. Yes, that is actually the scariest thing. Okay, literally when we played RE8, I think I've talked about this a lot, but I don't know... What? Great. Okay. Great. Anyways, I was gonna say, I don't know if any of that would have been, like, as scary for us. Yes, that was in-game, because I could hear it. I don't know if RE8's baby sequence would have been as scary if we'd ever actually gotten caught. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, none of the thumbnails immediately come to mind. Jail, one, redundant misinformation, the palm trees... That noise, the drowning, the drowning videos. Maybe there it's... sure haven't been any barrels, yeah. Hmm. Could it be on the dev site? Hmm. I'm gonna just like quickly glance through Cogware games just in case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, like the last time we needed out of game information, it was the year that the mountain in like erupted. Real engine screen cap. There's that. Mm. There's this. They have the trees in the background. Could you try 1999 for me just for fun? Yeah, sure. Because that's the copyright on Cogware Games. <laughs> Bitch ass. Okay. Mm. When was the last dev? Wait, did the devlog dev log in this have a date on it? It did. Uh, it was August... Okay, you tr you, it was yeah. 1996. Let's re-listen to that, see if maybe there's something mm -hmm. to latch on to. Alright. Mm -hmm. Today is August 12th, 1996. We've been given the go-ahead to get back to work on the project. It's been rocky, but we're all getting back into it. Harry's been at his workstation all day, playing through, well... He's been stuck on all of his levels, the coconut one. Apparently, there's been an issue with the chest spawning in. They just appear a random, which is already bad. Hmm. But then they soon vanish when you get too close. I'm really just not sure. It's very confusing. I'll figure it out soon, though. I'm sure. And Liz has been busy as always. He's trying to catch up on the game's artwork. We finally got a finalized design for the wolf guy, mostly changing his proportions. So we can share his animations with other characters if we need to. But yeah, she's killing it, as usual. And on my end, not too much. I'm just chipping away on the little debug map right now. Calling oh. it just the plaza for now, until we can think of a cooler name for it. What about but, the bug map? Yeah. Maybe we that's should go to the debug room. Right now, oh, the I'm debug room. That's that's one of the that's one of the videos. Sure. Yeah. All right. See ya. Hold on. Let me pull it open. Crash. Discontent. Design process. Debug room. The debug room has a code in it. What? R remember? We, oh, he, that's he right. That's one. right. That's right. What is it? What is it? I bet that's not what it is. I'm gonna say that right now. Better Nate than okay, lover. Okay, I have. Okay, I have the video up to the part where he puts in the code. One, two, three, seven. No, four? One, two, three, four? Try one, two, three, four. Nope, okay. Well, let me post the video in anyways, though. Oh, oh, oh big head bucky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, to anyone going, what was that dang noise? What was that clip? That was me getting a drink. You know, we could get back here quick enough. I wonder if maybe we should go <laughs> try to get into the debug room. Maybe, 
but Puzz said we, like, had all we needed already. Yeah, that's true. Which is part of why I asked Puzz that. Hmm. Do, do you want to get the hint from him? Yeah, I could use a hint. Thank you, Puzz. Alright, Puzz, uh, feel free to give me the hint, and you can do it in our DMs if you want, or you can do it in chat. Dealer's choice, dealer's choice. Mostly just because if we've already been told this question is evil, we're, we're just silly streamers. We've been so good. We haven't asked chat for any, for any th th puzzles. The codes. We get a hint. Mm, we get a hint. The one thing I'll say is the hint I can give you will basically be the hint. You still want it. Hmm. You could always give it to me in DMs, and then I could filter it or give bugs a half hint Ooh. if we needed to. Yeah! Psychologically torture bugs! I, I mean, that's the benefit of there being two of us, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Cause Yay. Remember, the only reason we got the last one is because, like, I saw a glimpse of someone in, ch like, in a YouTube comment saying, like, the eruption. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Fucking bitch ass! <laughs> you evil! Uh huh. You. I'm pointing at Squeaks! You! What do I do? <sighs> what do our achievements look like right now? What do you mean? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Beautiful dev. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, art is great. What a beautiful world. And I wish this game had fucking Xbox <sighs> Live style achievement pops up like fucking Alan Wake. 4742. Jesus Christ, that's great. God. That's so fun. Jesus Christ. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, now let's look at this room. What in this... Did would, did the achievement just pop it up? It has because the art. We it this... has this art on it. On the oh achievement. my god, that's so good. The achievement good. is the one you get for collecting 30 coconuts. <laughs> you get it early enough that you don't think about the name twice, <laughs> Misfit Puppet points out. Good god. Plus it mentions all this level. No, you're totally right. And it has the mirror. Yeah. I'm not excited. I'm not. That's my my hands were shaking for normal reasons. Smile. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Puzz. Thank you, Puzz. Jesus thank you, Puzz. Jesus Christ, that's too good. I can't imagine what? the reaction of. That was fine. I didn't hear anything, actually. Smile. Uh-huh. 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 The reaction of what? Nothing. Okay. Oh, it's open now. <laughs> Great. Hey, this is the wallpaper for the um, main menu screen. Sure is, which has been a reoccurring texture now and then. If something gets us, we're going to bed. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Oh, look at the t oh, it's sky texture in here. Oh no. <sighs> It's a note from Cogware, too. It gets much worse, though. On that drive, photos of bodies, four in total. Very heavy blacks and whites. This wasn't the original image, it was a copy. So there's another one of these messages that begins this. Okay. Okay. I'm brave. Okay. I'm brave. I'm brave. Okay. Don't, don't say you're hugging me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna mute you out for that for ten minutes. <laughs> We're not hug us type streamers. Yes. <laughs> we are internet strangers. <laughs> you don't know us. Don't touch us. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, though. Come, 
Come back in ten. You'll be welcome back, honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm fine now. Okay. I'm fine. Do we want to explore around before we close out for the night? Yes. Okay. Let's do that, then. There's a lot of chandeliers, you notice. Crystals. What is... Crystals. Okay, we've heard about the crystals. It's a note from Cockware. Ten. Ten! Wait, so that was eleven? Okay. I don't know. Fiction. It's all rooted in fiction. It's a miraculous recovery that boy had. Near-death experience that he's back in the- Oh, no! It was a cover story. Someone got very badly hurt, and then suddenly was back to work in the parks, and the story was it was a miraculous recovery, and that was fiction. Twelve. The fact these images are photocopied, to me at least, means that people shared images of dead people. Oh, and you want to know what else? Maybe... Oh, Jibber Driver points out four bodies, but we've only known of three so far. What's the fourth? Ain't that a fucking question. There is footage... of... the... murders. There sure is. There sure is. Who took that footage? Who kept that footage? Who distributed that footage? Workstation code. Hello, future stumbler. It's oh. me. Has stumbler. I, uh, I have the code. Going forward, if you ever need to turn on the workstation, the code is 1997. The year what all went wrong. Alright, that's all. Toodles! You look great today, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Stumbles. Thanks, Stumbler. 1997, the year it all went wrong, and we need that for... Just gonna cross-reference real quick, because I think it's one of the tasks. The workstations. Yes. Which is a part of... Hey, it's a golden computer! computer. It's a golden computer! We, I'm gonna vote that we don't try that until we've, like, found yes, all of them. Yes, agreed. Okay, find an tape player. Okay, find the crystals. There's a computer lying around somewhere, and on it is a video that contains your answer. If you visited the pool, you know what steps to do next. We have visited the pool. I did record the I did record the code for future use, but I forgot it. There's a tape player somewhere with the workstation code on it, recorded by yours truly. We now have that. Look, maybe look for my little home away from. Right, it's a room with crystals and black stuff. Play far away from Giovanni. He can hear these. Okay, so we have that code. Start the task, go to the sky hallway, and Code look for the door with the music D -E -C -D. note next to it. C D. Hmm. Press the button to begin. The monitors will instruct you on what to do next. Good luck, Bucky. Okay. So I vote that we don't necessarily start this process yeah, tonight. Agreed. But we have the parts for oh, it. Jesus, and I think that looking around me. Yeah, that was bad. I, I think just looking around and getting the lay of the land here is a good way to close out for tonight. Agreed. Okay, so there's one computer here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could even, like, draw out a map once we found all three of them. Yeah, agreed. It's terrifying that we haven't seen anyone yet. Yeah, I wonder about that. I don't. Uh, I don't want to think about it. You don't want to hear my theories about what could or could not I set do. that off? What do you think it is? Theory one. Uh, when we hide in a barrel, it might start a cooldown that causes them to, like, back off because it would make the most sense if that mechanic 
gave you a reprieve of some kind, because otherwise it could be impossible. Okay, there's the third one, so oh, we have those. Oh, there's one those. in the cage. Yeah, we should keep looking around. Okay, okay, we can just get to it from over here. Cool. Uh, two, them chasing us will begin after we do something. Yeah. Oh, Sky Hallway. <laughs> it's a note from Cogware 14. I want more than anything to say what I found. No, 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 there's something. I saw something. Getting further away. <sighs> I did not get a good look at I that didn't man. <laughs> I fucking hated that. <laughs> well, it's one ten. <laughs> There's another noise. It's directional. It is. Mm. Hey, if that was phone audio that was remixed, there's been times in this game where we've heard phone audio start for a second. Yeah. Without interacting with anything. <gasps> fuck was that? What the fuck was, was that? that? What was that? Oh man, Frankie. <laughs> I know, bud. Oh. I know. Remember, if we get caught, we just get sent to a funny jail we escape, remember? You're not helping me convince bugs at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, God! Time to start a humble life as barrel people. <laughs> No. No. Uh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. No. It'll be okay. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Oh, fuck. Where is it? Where is it? What is that? Maybe I should just let it get me. Just to look at it. Just to get scared. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What are you? Well, let's find out. It's hey, bro. The goose. <laughs> Good news, we get a save point out of it. My existence, friend. <gasps> like, really? Really? You got us thrown in a cell? What is wrong with you? Look, two options. Either we use the respawn button and go home, or you find a way to break us out. I'm not using my bug teeth to chew through the bars, so... Don't ask about that! So, did you notice that the model mm -hmm. what grabbed us sure seemed to look like something that wouldn't be in a game like this? Oh, he's pissed. 
It looked... He's so fucking mad at us, man. Uh, it looked like the park suit. Yeah. Not like the in-game model. The yeah. in-game model is about Bucky's proportions, roughly. Oh, shit. Are you gonna come back? Can I get a good look at you? So wherever we are, it's still running around. Did you notice one of the clips sounds like 99911, what's your emergency starting? Oh god, you're right. Ugh. 91, what's. Yep. Oh, I just realized something awful. When we input the code to get out of here, we're gonna have to escape out this hallway physically. Yeah. I don't think he's happy with us, if I had to guess. He's not that happy with us. We hit that save, right? Yeah, we hit that save. Oh, there's another note on the wall. Good. Let's read that note. Okay. It's a note from Cogware, 15. I guess I'm writing this more for... Dunno. Relief? Peace of mind? Hard to say, really. All I know is this is gonna stick with me. Yeah. So, it's 115. Yeah, alright, let's wrap here. We're gonna wrap up here and leave Bucky so so safe in his barrel bed, where he fucking hates us so much. Now, here's the other thing. We could respawn, because we still haven't gone through one path. Yeah. However, doing that does seem like it will add, um, yeah. to our personal danger. Yeah. In here. Yeah, I... I Go to bed, Pasu. I we're, say we're closing up. we stop here, mm -hmm. and then next time we yes. have a talk about what we want to do from here. I think so, because either way, we got through the pool area, we got a lot of really useful tools, we might have the pieces that we need to try and attempt to get through this puzzle, which seems to be the final layer 3 puzzle. Mm -hmm. And maybe if we get really lucky we could like solve the puzzle in here and then loop back yeah and then maybe it would just be like a straight shot to like run for the exit in here maybe 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 but either way thank you Pazu. good night uh we're gonna call it here for now god that noise is creepy it's really great sound it's really Bruh, really good come on it's really good sound design. Oh, he was on... I saw that. He was on the left side of the thing. Mm. In the black boundary. Great. 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 <laughs> great. Let's, we're gonna take a quick a five minute of break. And then we're gonna come back. Hey, thank you, Lily Bows. Uh, there's bugs here, too. There's a bugs. But for now, we take a five minute break, we go to fan art, if one of those fucking voice clips comes in when we're in here, in like this area, I'm gonna pee. Just, yeah. you'll, it, it's gonna be bad. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, we take a quick break, we come back for fan art, and then we close up the stream. <laughs> Bugs is gonna quietly decompose in a corner. At for least five this minutes. means I have three days before I have to maybe play this again and get scared again. We, we can play something else and take a break too. We can always take a break. We can always take a break. BRB, and if anybody's gotta go to bed before fan art, go to bed before fan art, okay? Be right back.
suppose anyone clipped when um, Giovanni showed up, did they? Because I want to get a good look at him, and I am scared to be near him. And I don't want to Google the goose, because I think I'm going to see something that would spoil me. There was a clip, there was a clip. Okay, let me scroll up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Senior Bob. Fucking champion. Alright. Man, there's a pretty decent radius before he grabs you. Okay, let's see. Alright. Wow. Okay, let me put this on screen. Ugh. Oh, I just noticed something I have to tell Frankie. That's exciting. Perhaps you'll get a good look at him in the next stream? I hope not. I hope not. I certainly hope not. Oh, I like that the way I have the setup looks like there's a fake Frankie. I'm gonna move over here so you're not tricked by the false Frankie for a moment. Do not worship lesser Frankies. Don't like that at least one of them seems to do things with the sidebars. Is that what Frankie meant by appearing in the black? I thought he meant appearing in the, um... The crawl space behind the wall. Did he appear in the th the thing? Hey, Frankie. Oh, one sec. In the sidebars of the game. I'll live in the margins. What do you mean? Hello. Okay, there we go. Hello. Um. So, Frankie. Uh, mm -hmm. people had a look at what you saw in the margins. You're mm -hmm. saying it was Olivia. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Um. It, it was great, too, because from my perspective, I just looked over and saw, like, a purplish something. And because of where the camera was tilted, it looked like it was, like, past the wall of the, ca like, the jail we yeah. were in. Uh, and then, like, I had to stop and realize that it wasn't inside, like, the game space. That's so fucked up. Um, I'm Even sending you, me. uh, an image. Uh, look on sh streaming. So there's Giovanni. Okay. That light's yep. reflecting off of him like he's wet or something. It also makes it look like parts of him are missing enough to see the space behind him for a minute, which is really good. The closest we, like, we get is like slightly right here. Bad a little. Okay, there's got to be like a good time we can get to get a better look. Ugh. Uh, Ugh. Don't forget, you can use you can like frame by frame with uh, you know the like the the brackets right next to M. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll that'll page you back and forth like by frames on. Well, on YouTube, it might not work on. Yeah, Twitch it's very not working well. on Twitch sadly. Uh, oh, perfect! I can do this. Yeah, that sure is something sticking out of his eye, huh? Oh, you're right. Oh. What the, the hell? The skin of the suit is mottled, not rotting. Ugh. Okay. So one thing that we've now, like, had Ugh. kind of established is that what's going on has something to do with the Bucky suit actor for the theme park, oh, which we've heard about the theme park up. before. Yeah. Sorry, you were saying? Oh, that, that's all I had to say. Oh. <laughs> I was just venturing it for conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this has something to do with the Bucky that was the suit actor from the theme park, and we've seen really distinctly fiction, it's built on fiction, 
a miraculous recovery, that boy. I wish I'd gotten the chance to read Log 14. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll go back through, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very creepy because it felt like it was summoned, like, by Log 14, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ugh. 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 What a great design. Really, really good. Is that his cigarette? Uh, I don't think we can say what it is. Not at this kind of resolution. Hey. No, that has a rectangular edge on it. That's like glass. It's a fork. <sighs> I see. Well. We've had some fun. We now know what this looks like. It's bad. In a good way, bad. I... Uh... I'm thinking a second. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, so what I think is interesting is that something I was talking about before seems to be bearing out now, which is that for there to be a haunting in something, mm -hmm. something needs to have happened. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that we now have some pretty direct confirmation that something that happened was hidden. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily just that, like, people died. Mm -hmm. If anything, it seems like the part of the story where someone was okay is what was the lie. Yeah. Because someone chose to hide a lot of stuff in this game. Like, this isn't like... I'm choosing to believe that this isn't, like... And all of this extra stuff is in here because of a ghost in the video game. Like, it could be that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure if it is, it'll be executed in a way that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Someone is hidden something. They want it to be found. It needs to be hidden first. Mm -hmm. I'm very interested in the dev notes talking about, like, finding a file with, like, f f like copies of photos. Yeah. And what that means, and yeah. there being footage, the because fact that we have seen footage. Yeah, and you know, it's it's an interesting like, um, you know, you are proceeding into this because you want to see what happens. This person is disturbed the game, by the fact yeah. that the game that the bodies had been photocopied, so people were sharing around these images. Yeah, like, is there an aspect to it of like you being kind of a voyeur for this information, or is it an aspect of like? trying to get the truth out with the only avenue you have available mm -hmm. i'm also very interested again like okay 1997 is the year when it all went wrong mm -hmm. in 1996 something had happened that halted production for a little while and then production resumed again mm -hmm. I wonder if in 1996 is when the, like, miraculous recovery happened. What went wrong? Well, we, we are ever driven forward. Yeah. By a desire to know. Yeah. I keep Man. thinking, I mean, there's all sorts of accidents that can happen in theme parks, you know? Like, America mm -hmm. Sings. Uh, oh, was, oh, God, yeah. yeah. And the fact that, like, we've seen something with, like, something being tested with rats, mm -hmm. and miraculous recovery, and... Mm -hmm. Ugh. I hope we get to see Olive in her model next stream. Uh... You know what's also kind of upsetting is that I was realizing and thinking that even though it's still in the format of like assets about the island and everything mm -hmm. the area in olives like coconut gathering mini game is a simulacra to some degree of the place where she died because there's cabins trees and a water source oh, that can be God. jumped into yeah and it's the only one of these levels where you bucky are walking around with the character. 
And it might be a pretty faint connection, especially because we just heard that the design for that happened before 1997? Yep, Giovanni's level is a kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck God. happens to the walrus? Oh god, the walrus is gonna get, like, like fucking Pirates of the oh, Caribbean, that poor kid. Oh god, that's right. I yeah. forgot about that one. Remember, when you're on rides, keep your fucking hands inside yeah. the ride. I saw a cute drawing that was like, oh, and he, he got off on, he got knocked off into the water on the log ride to save his Gia from the water. It's like, no, if you get knocked no. off into the water on a log ride, you aren't... There's a lot of machinery mm. in the water. There's a lot of machinery in the water that you cannot see. Yeah. Honestly, there's a lot of machinery in the water. It feels like a parallel for what we're going through, to be honest. Yeah. I, I keep thinking <laughs> about, like, how the boat tracks forward in that area, but, you know, um... Yes! Gosh. Uh, I'm, I'm also thinking, like... The stuff with Olivia is really fun. Uh, are we still are enjoying, still the, enjoying game? Oh, the game? Oh god, yes. yes. Oh god, yes. No, no I'm so yeah, sorry. Like... I'm making agonized, agonized <laughs> noises, but it's like, you know when you watch someone eating spicy food and they're like, mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, and like, for me, like, me going silent is because I don't have a scream response. I have a freeze response. I, when, when Giovanni <laughs> got me, my hand clapped over my mouth and I mm -hmm, couldn't mm -hmm. make any noise at all. No, I, I'm having tremendous fun, both, like, with the scares, like, the actual horror, the way that stuff is being unveiled. I'm having tremendous fun with the fact that, like, we keep having all of these, like, pieces given to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we don't quite have the ability to, like, put everything together. I... Yeah, like, people are talking about, like, how melancholy and um, the phone call feel, the the way Olivia's story feels like so tragic. Um, because like, uh, mm -hmm. because I had the achievement screen open, I'm looking at it now and we got a musical ear. Mozart, is that you? Cute. Boo! <laughs> Did I catch you off guard with a picture of Giovanni? 33.3% of players have this achievement. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many got that Mozart achievement? Uh, 43.5. The lowest... That's uh, not bad! The, That's the rarest really one we seem bad. to have actually is the one where Olivia got us when we got in the boat early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm super enjoying it. I'm very much someone who loves to like try and put together like what happened or what. I really shouldn't have put my vintage Mickey doll out in my fucking room. I knew when I went to turn the lights out that was a bad oh, idea. No. There, See? I just looked up and saw. You have to understand, the vintage Mickey doll has a really confrontational <laughs> stance. See, I was I was walking to the bathroom in the dark because I have to cut mm -hmm. through my parents' room and it's dark. And I was like thinking about like what's Olivia gonna look like? And I was walking there and I was like, oh, scary otter, scary otter mascot in the bathroom. And then it turned in my brain to Cheeton, the otter mascot. <laughs> <laughs> See. This is what we were talking about earlier, like, how to keep yourself from being, like, too scared. That li literally this will work. You think about Cheetan, your friend Cheetan. That Chiton. would be a really She's funny a baby. mod. God. Oh. There, there's your April Fool's prank for next year. Great, great, great. Commit copyright infringement for Yay! us, okay? Yay! Hooray! You know the giant river otters of the Amazon? Yes, Catawise. Catawise, <laughs> there's a T. Kingfisher book you should read, Catawise. Yes. There's called a the T. Hollow Kingfisher Places. book you should read called The Hollow Places that taught me all about giant river otters. Oh. Anyways. Yeah, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I could spend, like, another half an hour just talking out with like i i need like a little like pin board i need to start like sketching out my notes shut like... up squeaks no he's not no 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 no, no. it's gonna be cheetan patting your back gently hiding no. you i no. hey but listen listen bugs you know what we had that whole thing rigged up for in case you got scared, yeah. and we never needed it. Yeah. You were so brave. I was brave. You were so brave. I was brave. We can use it next time. Yeah. <laughs> you were really brave. Uh... <laughs> oh, I just had a thought. Yes. Hmm. 
she hasn't been acting like herself. Mm -hmm. None of them have been. Hmm. What if we have the reason why the murders happened reversed? Like, oh. I don't think that's gonna be it. Huh. But... And, you know, that in the context of she went to the doctors and didn't come back. Yeah, we went- I took her to the doctor and I went back alone. That's hmm. interesting. I- I feel that, like that, at, that, at, at this point I don't mm -hmm. have all the pieces, but it's many interesting yeah. pieces to percolate on. Yeah, that- that's the thing, is Sheik is saying, like, we found out earlier starlings do have interspecies cuckoo behavior. Mm -hmm. Ugh. 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 Yeah, we don't have enough pieces, especially because, like, she is very vague. We have the mm -hmm. game developers who have a female member of the crew who is doing a lot of the art assets. Mm -hmm. Like, the whole thing of, like, oh, we just, like, got the wolves. Yeah, hey, real uh, quick, by the way, Liz. what was that where we saw Chief leading the wolf in an underground tunnel in the water in yeah. the pool area? Yeah. Huh. And the wolves had, like, vanished from the above ground area? That yeah, was interesting. Huh. That was interesting. That sure was interesting. I'll say this, I trust Chief. I don't trust anyone else. I trust Chief, and I'm like pointing at Stumbles, go, I'm like, you cool? You cool? <laughs> You're a friend, right? Like, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Blue UBO3 says they uh, seemed like they were leaving. Yeah. And it does feel, it did feel like an evacuation of some kind. Mm. Much to think about. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep chewing on this, but we should go to fan arts so that we can like end this stream mm -hmm. at a somewhat reasonable time. <laughs> Let's, Let's go to fan, fan art, art, which is on our Discord. Which, Ooh. if anyone ever wants to uh, join our Discord, uh, please do. Please make sure to read the rules if you do choose our fan art, because we have a very. Er, if you do join our Discord, because we have a very particular rule which is y'all don't get to talk you don't get to comment on other people's art except with emoji reactions you don't get to talk to us there's no general chat you post things to show us we ask you limit it to some degree although of course like you know if you draw fan art and you come up with more than one piece of fan art you can post that but like other art music stuff we ask you keep it to like one or two posts a day oh, maximum or even like for music and stuff and read the rules read the rules read the rules all right, we're starting with something from Cookie Shaped Rat, I believe. Yeah, give me one sec. I have to fix something. I'm so sorry. Yeah, go to bed, Squeaks! Unless you want to see fan art, but you can see that in our Discord if you want to, or on the YouTube later. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it, even though we spend a lot of time climbing fences the wrong yes, way. Yes, yes, thank and you. And looking at music sheets that don't have the right notes until we find the correct ones for babies. <laughs> I, I'm no genuinely I'm glad you enjoy it. I think if I made something like this I would also be very delighted by like yes they're getting it they're getting it <laughs> <laughs> all right all so. right uh from cookie shaped rat I believe is where we're starting yes mm -hmm. yeah let me scroll up yes because the last one is that dope piece from Cosmium that we talked about last time mm -hmm. on stream which I still super yeah it's so good mm -hmm. uh uh, I started watching Frankenbunk's content through the mega playlist Kingdom Hearts. You are brave. You are brave. You're brave. You're brave. And made some doodles of the characters and my favorite joke from the whole playlist. Happy to experience the games for the very first time through it. Yo! Oh, fuck. Just as happy to say I finally reached end. We, oh, holy shit. In that case, for the first time in a long time, you are a video we warrior. Video Salute. Warrior. Thank you, video warrior. Thank you, brave new video warrior. We appreciate you. you. KHUX you. is Thank underway. You. Oh, Christ. Oh, these are so cute. These are good. <laughs> and mouse bottom text. The gay girl is sword now. She unleashes violence. Are like, hey, Axel, what does fuck mean? Damn it. Huh? What does damn it mean? Shit. What does shit mean? God. <laughs> <laughs> I was really like, nice try. Seems like I win again. 
No fair! I've been practicing for just as long as you have! How come I have to suffer? <laughs> Great expression work here. <laughs> Oh, look at the expression on the Kyrie over here is <laughs> killing me. This reminds me a lot of a tulip. It's so cute. They gave the Goral sword. Now she unleashes violence. I like the, the face shape on Axel, too. Really good. Yeah, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like this. I, I'm always fond whenever people do noses in this kind of way, where they're, like, defined by a shape from the front instead of, like... You know, a lot of times noses get defined by a shape from the side, mm -hmm. but from the front they kind of, like get erased i actually love this way of yeah, doing this it is it's cool. really charming it adds like a very cartoony touch it goes very well with like you're really playing with like the angularity of like a <laughs> lot of the faces here especially like axel and then having like the more rounded face on like sora roxas and Kyrie. Mm -hmm. it looks really good this is a very fun way to play with the way they look in the games especially with how they look a lot in like the earlier games which like Sometimes I feel like, I don't know, I, it, it makes me sad that they've only become the HD versions of themselves. Yeah, Does that for make real. Sense? For real. I, I like the weirder, earlier things. Uh, also, good job navigating those fucking clothes. The clothes. I'll just yeah. say the clothing Look at the in movement general. of uh, Axel's cloak here with the pull of the arm. Yeah. Like, really good. Really good. Uh, and look at the way um, Sora is like vest oh, yeah. coat it's thing like is like pulling up of the arm that's, that's really cute. nicely observed and that's nicely observed for like fictitious nonsense clothing yeah for real <laughs> oh thank you oh, so these much these are so cute yes thank you so much i'm always like i said this before but every time we get like kingdom hearts fan art off the playlist i get slightly more energy mm -hmm. to work on the next episode of khux which we're I know I keep saying this, but we're so close. I think yeah. we only need, like, one more round of translation. Oh, shit, for real? Two. I think so. We don't have a lot of the translation to do. It's like... But, by the way, if you ever want to really appreciate translators, learn that your speed rate on localizing a line between two people is about one an hour. Yeah. Anyways. Thank you very much. From Jibber Jabber. Thank you so much. Speed ran this as fast as possible before the stream <laughs> ended. <laughs> this was very much that little, like, sewer area, huh? This is kind of what a lot of this stream felt like, yes. honestly. Oh my god, yeah. No, yeah. Especially the area we, like, just got to, where it's like, uh. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this this Bucky is killing me. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> Something about the expression the and the way that eyes. like the eyes yes. are like three dimensionally the overlapping little... each other with his like flat little mouth. The Simpsons esque mouth is very good. I like the Bucky yes, too. Yes, I, I like that work. a lot. We're we're getting like somewhere of like sonic eyes mm -hmm. but like a simpson lower mouth it's really good it's... and the tail coming up is very cute it's very powerful thank you so much yeah the this this really captured the mood thank you jibber jabber tried to oh right the spongebob oh god yeah. i forgot that's what this was oh you did yeah <laughs> you, you, ah, you you actually you know what i can see that mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. you did really good capturing it good job oh yeah good job good job Good year work. From Unofficial Jam, <sighs> some Frank and Mugs loosely inspired GB and Paper Mario style sprites. Whoa! Holy cow! Oh, these are so cute! Oh, the little chat Oh, scroll way. down. There's like a few iterations, too. <laughs> oh, wow! Holy cow, these are so cute! Oh, the pile oh, these of chat are so cute. Oh, look, it's the little you! <laughs> yes, it, it's, oh, the, it's my head, my Franken orb. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love even with the original Game Boy type colors. That's amazing. Yeah, that's really smart. Uh, these are really nicely put together sprites, I will say. You have a lot of thought towards like breaking up the silhouette. A lot of mm -hmm. all you can do in sprite work of like any size is figure out how you want like the silhouette to hit, how you want the silhouette to break up. I can really see the Paper Mario inspiration. Um, with the Franken orb, especially the way it's like popped up on its toes, kind of. Oh yeah, absolutely. I just love this little chatlet the little expression on the bug it's is really so good. cute. I like the squat little bug. This is really charming to me. The the you, hands you overlapping is so smart. Yeah, that that's a very smart way to handle like the arm motion going on there. I think. 
He's a really charming. Yes, uh, thank you so Some much. lovely sprite work overall. Mm -hmm. Sprite work is like one of my fields. I can tell you're putting a lot of thought into it. Uh, you're doing a lot of like really good curvilinear shape work, which is the hardest part of sprite work and the thing that makes it work the most. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. From Elri Eloui. I did my best to doodle bugs in a carrier. Oh. Oh, this is good. Look at how miserable I look. My wet, sad eyes, my squiggled mouth, my trembling legs. This is right. This is right. This is what it's like. This is like you got let out, like, at. You're, like, yeah. at the vet. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Fight. I I love like the scribble fill in the I eyes. I do too. Yeah, like... it looks good. It's so <laughs> wet and sad. Uh, I I like the. It's like a little bit like dented looking the way the carrier door folds down and stuff. So you know it's one of those nice soft yeah, fabric it's one ones. Of the cloth ones. <laughs> you just been like rolling around in there trying to get out. <laughs> I like how pathetic I look. This is really nice. I feel like this on many days. <laughs> this was like you yesterday when you were like too tired out from like the appointments you've been doing, but you were going like, I could rally if yeah, you Yeah, I could do the game if you had to. <laughs> Thank the, the, this is beautiful. This is beautiful yes. emotion to it. Thank uh, you so much. What you can't you. see is me just off screen. Like, no, no. Look, if you come out, I, I have a Milky's drink. Wow. You love, you love drink. Wow. <laughs> 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 Slime King you. Mike says, "Is this picture cute?" Yes, this picture is cute. It is not sad. It is simply what compound eyes look like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It, it's the bug is safe. Mm -hmm. It's a necessary vet trip. They're not in distress or being put through anything rough. It, they may be a little stressed out, but medical attention and horror games are um, necessary. Exactly. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. From Angry Poppy six three nine four. Oh, how cute! I like this. Oh, you've got a very oh, nice really little mouth cute. here. <laughs> I like the low you down do, here. Do. That's great. Good shape work here. Yeah. These Isn't are really nice. Cute? I can Thank see you. You you're, you're working out how to do face shapes, and I can see you working out how to do your line work and taking your shot with making it be rough, which is always where you kind of want to start mm -hmm. because you're still learning how to make your hands like make the right shapes at a certain stage, you know? Mm -hmm. These look really nice. Yeah, for real. I appreciate that I look nice and chubby and I got yes. my curly hair and everything. I, I, really I also like, like that Puzz is kind of a pyramid shape. Yes. But hey, you mixed us up Powerful. again. That's so sad. Yeah, yeah you called me Puzz. Oh. No. Just because I'm short. Sorry, Pugs. Hey. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Look, it's, we, we, I we saw this one time. on Twitter when I was in the bathroom. Oh. From With Kinder Eyes. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Oh, oh, his, like, plaintive little face. Excuse me, could could you help me? The suggestion uh, of the form. Mm, oh, This my is a God. great way to translate, like, a figure that looks that, like, vague and blurry and weird in a, like, polygon shape. Yes. To, like, drawing that. Like, yes. not doing it literally. These big, chunky, like, thick wash brushes... The like slight suggestion of the profile. Oh, I I really love just uh the the cartoon mm. Bucky looks so beautiful in the space yeah. confronting this thing too. The, yeah, the well, what strokes it does too because oh. Bucky here is like a well rendered little cartoon design. We look at that and we place that as like the default. As soon as you take a character like this and drop the other figure being like painterly and abstract, it feels like something from another dimension. Yes. It feels like alien. Yes. Yes. One of my favorite things, and this is a trick that in my opinion is so much easier to do if you start cartoony. If you start cartoony, as soon as you bang something more realistic, something more abstract, something more artistic, something more painterly, it will look alien. Mm -hmm. And it's much easier to go up that, than it is to go from a realistic style down. Isn't that funny? We saw that today. Yeah, 
we literally saw that today like suddenly seeing like photorealistic or more detailed models feels mm -hmm. fucked mm -hmm. like seeing like a picture of a human face yeah feels extra weird and raw yeah and like it's really interesting seeing how different it is to see like a more detailed model versus like our scary buddy in the woods uh, that uh, model was so scary, I had to immediately run into it to know what would happen if I got caught. Yes. 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 Just to, like, pull yeah. the catharsis. Like, w when we just saw it, like, through the wall, that was great. But uh, <sighs> on this piece also, I really love, uh, I love, like, the, you did a really good job pushing the eye shape. Yes. To give the expression oh without eyebrows. And sorry, I was talking over bugs earlier. You were talking about like the simple brush strokes oh, here. Oh, yeah. No, I, I love, uh, with Kinder Eyes has such confidence mm -hmm. of line. Look at the stroke work yes. you have here. Yes. To the muzzle. You see the line break up to imply the fluff of the cheek, but then you have this beautiful curve right into the muzzle. This yeah, reads and... like a single stroke from the start mm -hmm. to the paw. Mm -hmm. Um, look at the strength of the hat line here. I can't yes. tell if you dragged it this way or pushed up this way, but it's beautiful. Just, oh, I envy uh, the steadiness of your hand. My god. Uh, or, like, if you're using, like, brush settings to help yourself have a steady hand, you have oh, fine-tuned them course. and I'm learned so sorry, how to use them. Guys. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so, like, you have, like, taken either, like, the settings or just, like, the ability of your own hand and push them together. I also want to point out um, the way the mouth connects into the muzzle there mm -hmm. is a visual trick that looks... When you sit down to draw this, you think, like, I know what mouth look like, and then you are fooled. You are fooled. Mm -hmm. Because the bottom of the muzzle implies his bottom lip, mm -hmm. where it starts from the mouth. Oh, you're right! Does not draw that. Oh, she did that Pushes it instead into just the blackness of the open mouth and then pulls it up into this muzzle shape where then it dips in towards the nose. That is an elegant oh, solution yeah. of a cartoon apparatus that can look donk as fuck yes, if you don't hit real, it right. Real. You, I know I bring up Sonic a lot, but that's just because it's like an easy like cartoon comparison. You gotta draw that side mouth a lot to get that fucker to look natural in any direction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mickey Mouse, any of them. And also, I just... I really like how you captured how, like, sad Bucky feels yes. here. Yeah. Like, just like, hey, are you a person? <laughs> are you a person? And uh, having the formatting of the, like, speech bubble be like, excuse me, enter. Could enter. Could you help me? Really good. And having it be, like, pushed to the left is really fun. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. That does a lot. And it's... Oh, wonderful work. Yeah, thank you so much. Just beautiful. Mm -hmm. But you were gonna say? Oh, um, I just, you know, someone in chat mentioned, like, it's interesting, the window perspective. And yeah, what an interesting choice to have, like, the darkness of the room be what you're seeing versus, yeah. like, Bucky from the outside looking in. This hits so well yeah. with just this immersive, like, feeling, and then just this little face peeking in. It's so charming. Yeah, now that you mention it, like, it's something that, like, I didn't even think to comment on because, like, where, like, the perspective is in a drawing is kind of, like, invisible. Mm. But it actually reminds me of something I really liked from Psycho, a uh, big family, where it's, like, why is the camera where it is? You know, when yes. the camera was, like, in that, like, staircase shot? Yes. And you have, like, you know, first you're just thinking about the scene and what's that. This is great because it's, like, oh, we're seeing this from inside a room that's impossible to get to. Yes, exactly. You can't sit exactly. in this space. And it's so Ugh, funny that there's a that. door there that makes you go like, mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. there a way to get in? No, not for you, at it, least. It feels like someone recreating like a nightmare they had. Yeah. Like they saw this through that window. Ugh. Ugh. Thank you so much. Oh, what a good expression. Yeah, thank you so much. From Radio Clown, downright struck oh. by this moment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> help, 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 help. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that this thing looks scared of us. <laughs> <laughs> We really captured people's attention whenever we like went up to these four things. Like, help, help, can help, you help? Help, 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 help. help. 
<laughs> oh, I what love... a great expression on Bucky's face here. Yeah. Too. No, I love that. Just the little subtle line, the way that you know, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. the way you filled in the pupils to give it that little bit of rough texture on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what I love the most is making these watching things. The posture mm -hmm. adjusts ever so slightly in shock. The way the hands mm -hmm. go up and curl and down and curl in reaction yeah. to the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes opening <laughs> slightly. <laughs> oh, that's uh, so good. And I want to say I like how you capture them in general because this makes it look like, you know, the creepiness of like when a human wears like a morph suit. Yes. But like with like bits on it as if it was a mask. This captures that kind of feeling mm -hmm. like, oh, that's a human man type body. Yes, exactly. Uh, the wig... And this is, again, we have now seen two different ways to articulate in a different medium how unsettling these figures are. And I really like both of them because this gets like that polygonal misshapen weirdness mm -hmm. by just having this like wiggly drawn out kind of path with it. Good. It is good. And I like, um, you chose to use kind of a, a cream yellow on the background here. It looks, mm -hmm. it really, I like yeah. it. I like it. It adds something to this moment with the light hitting against the silhouette. Mm -hmm. uh, I also like that, like, the shadow of Bucky being, like, yes. this big charcoal-like broad strokes yes. that we're, like, seeing through is really, really fun. Uh, Jake notes that also Bucky has a heart-shaped nose. You're right! Yeah, that's cute! That's really cute! Thank you so much. Oh, and uh, Sheik says it's like a wavy water reflection. Ooh, yeah. yeah! Oh, 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 from, that's distressing, actually. From, oh. from Misfit Puppet. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Uncertain yeah. if I'll tie this up, but my scared ass. Oh, oh fuck, in the oh, barrel! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> With the candle! Oh, 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 oh. Wow! This is so fun! What a great express! Oh, look at the tail curling up. That's so cute. Yeah, I like that it makes it look like he's like baring his teeth in like nerves. Yes, yes, agreed. A uh, couple of things conceptually, I love that we are only seeing the interior of the barrel and what Bucky himself can yes, see out the of the barrel. Yes, the blackness around it. Like, like we can see That's the inside agreed. of the barrel, and I love this like defining the top of the barrel with like the sliver of wall that yes. would be visible from our perspective on the camera does something really creepy because we're not actually seeing what Bucky can see yes which makes us think oh he's looking at something he's looking at something off screen he is cupping his hand over the candle to like dim the light from oh. the top uh, Slime King Mike points out, I like how the tail leans against the barrel's fourth wall. Yes, that's a good point. Oh, you're right. I didn't even realize that was what what was going that's on. Gorgeous. That's great. Yeah, it, it really sells it. Yeah. Uh, also, Misfit Puppet says, I did this at the start and ended up screaming when we did hide from Giovanni. <laughs> you did this. You did this to us. Thank it's you. Okay. Oh, we look at the one. shaving on the candle holder. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's really well put together. I also really like, you've done some really good work of the cloth of his little sailor coat. Yes, you have. And you've also, look at the way you've actually articulated a really good pull on anthropomorphic character fur slash skin shape. Oh, yeah. Because the thing about a lot of animals is that they typically have skin that falls much further away from the body. I'm like holding my arm up as if anyone can see that. <laughs> but it holds much further away from the body, which is part of why like, you know, if a dog fights with another dog and bites the fur, they're mostly just getting fur and skin. Mm -hmm. It's not like getting through the muscle or anything. But like that and like the fur, like the thickness of the fur and how that adjusts the silhouette look so good here. Like, look at that leg that's oh, like on yeah. the left side. Just look at the, oh, Jesus, look at that hand holding the candle, too. Like, the finger positioning. Yeah, on the way it. it curls in. And it even has, like, one finger kind of steadying the bottom of the candle holder. But, Ugh. like, the where I was going to say is, like, the arm connects to the arm there. Mm -hmm. You're breaking up the outside silhouette just a little bit here and there to make us think of that, like, glossy beaver fur. Really nice. Oh, wow, and without even without doing a shadow. bunch of fur rendering. Yeah! And I like oh, where you've chosen gorgeous. to have the light hit from the candle. Mm -hmm. uh, I also like that the wall being seen through the barrel almost feels like it's like bulging 
Oh, you're right. Yeah. It, it has like a slight like not fish eye, mm -hmm. but like it, it's bending in a way that's really fun. Oh, just beautiful. Thank you so much, Misfit Puppet. Yeah, thank From you Deep so much. Sea oh, and Miles. anybody bad, he says the paws look great too. Yeah, very good paws. <laughs> Deep Sea Miles, <laughs> Romeo's in there now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, the face is on us! I didn't even realize! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> I love your expression. Oh, look at the curl on your hair. Look at your big nose. That's so cute. Yeah, that's very, very cute. Oh, I like the hands clasped together in nervousness. Yeah, that's great. That's a great touch. I, I love just this <laughs> my face, scared my bug face. face. I look like one of those uh, meat meat puppets. That's amazing. <laughs> You look like Beaker. I do. I do turn into Beaker when I'm scared, I guess. Yeah. And the energy of this room yes, you know, really captures out his screaming. majesty. <laughs> Eyes wide open. Wow. Oh, this is just beautiful. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, DC See, now Miles. if we get scared, oh. you just have to think of giant Romeo stomping around. Oh, oh the Romeo. <laughs> I think that's the one thing. I think I'm going to have to, like, turn down the game just slightly. Because, like, I know mm -hmm. it's for fear, but, oh, man, that chase noise is so overwhelming. It's so scary. No, no, I, I, I think it's okay if we turn it down just to scotch. I think it's okay. Oh, great coloring on here. This is just lovely. Yeah, Thank beautiful, you so much. beautiful stuff. Uh, I think it adds something to the speech bubble that its background is like scribble filled yes. in. Yes. It makes it feel like more distorted and loud. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, shit. Been anxious to add a bit more of this piece because I don't want to lose the magic or below with elements, but couldn't resist this fun drawing experiment around with a beginner Ooh. painter too, thinking of constellations. Ooh. Ooh, dang. I'm, I'm going to open this in another tab to look at like any more details I've added. Here's the thing you can worry about that, but like you'll always have the earlier versions of the piece mm -hmm. saved so like you don't lose anything by experimenting There's honestly like and also i like maximalist shit i'm terrible add more <gasps> details fuck oh, it up oh the window broke oh, in like... oh and the trail of glass oh okay so there's the broken window there's like the tr oh the trail leading out of it looks like fish or a wave or fire yeah. or like just the tails of fish and then it spirals off in this curve oh, that just like spirals into the background up too. oh stair uh there's now the hook oh, yeah. is coming out of like blood and there's stairs with like blood dragged down it Ugh. and there's i love that like the rope if you keep anything from this iteration i think the the blood coming out of the other end of the rope and with the hook on it oh, that's so good to me the I water love has this, a little honest. bit of blood in it oh and yeah you're right you're oh. right like just around where the fish are Golly. so like even the fun facade has been like touched now if, uh, if, if this is your first vod and you're wondering why we're like ignoring mm -hmm. how beautiful this all is yeah, uh, we we have talked is... for a while about the rest of this this yeah. is a second iteration yeah it's fucking dope thank you so much this I, I really beautiful. love the flame like the white flame coming up on the right side yes, like creeping along too. the ropes. the red seeping into it Ugh. i i really like this like you know Obviously, this is your work. If you wind up deciding, like, I want to just leave it here, or I want the, like, finished piece to be the version of without these details, oh, totally within your to rights to do so. Oh. oh, God. Maybe, yeah, huh? Huh. Uh, I really love it. I love all the details being, like, white. Mm hmm. I, I, hmm. I, I think, for, hmm. I really like it. I really like it. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh, there's a hand pressing up against the bloody door that the rope is coming from, by the way. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, you mentioned uh, in your upload of this, like, uh, a fun drawing to experiment around with as a beginning painter, too. Uh, I imagine, given that, that, like, your regular work is more, like, illustrative, just, like, looking at, like, the inks you have here, some of the other drawings I've seen you put up, like, in other art and places like that. You are doing some great stuff in painting. Yeah. And coming to it with an illustrator's, like, hand, mm -hmm. I think starting from there is a wonderful place to go. And I want to compliment, not 
going too far with like, well, a painter should do X, a painter should do Y, because mm -hmm. I feel like I see people start to try and experiment with mediums, and they get hung up on like doing it right for that medium, kind of making themselves miserable. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. 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 So I, I just want to compliment that because that's something that's like tough to do, and it's just gorgeous. I'm still not over these like taffy like strings of canvas oh so pretty thank you so much just gorgeous thank you so much yeah and thank you for sharing this with us sincerely for real from jake all i got is memes boss that Yay. fucking deserves the comfort of big man hug <laughs> <laughs> oh big man oh big man <laughs> we're really in it now hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh he deserves this you're so right <laughs> What, oh, what, what, a cute what did Big Man too. say to you? I don't know. I don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Big Man's big ol' arms I do draped too. over like a comforting blanket. And, uh, the, the morose I, I expression mm -hmm. is so good. Uh, also, good job with Big Man's fucking patterns, which I know you've already had to tangle oh, yeah. with before, oh like, God, as a yeah. cosplay issue. But, like, just beautiful here. It really sells, like, the curve. And such a tender thought. Such a tender moment. Does Bucky not deserve hug? Yeah. Big Man. Yeah. Get Bucky a bear, Manta. Get Bucky a bear, Manta. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jake. Thank you so always much, a Jake. Pleasure, Jake. Thank you. Yeah, legitimately. I always love seeing you work. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> From Magic Cats, I don't have the energy for an actual drawing tonight, but I thought this would be a very fun, lighthearted edit. The shipwreck gang do deserve a vacation with no volcanoes. <laughs> the vacation where nothing bad happens. Oh, boy, I sure am having fun on this beach. What's that inky paint like goop? What do you mean there was a different Bucky seen committing the crimes? Not again! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Giovanni has wandered up to a chuckster and was never seen again. <laughs> <laughs> he went too far, like an airplane. Get me out of this flick. I want to go to Mario to Galaxy. <laughs> oh, I, I really love Stumbles back there on top of yeah. the wall. He likes to feel Paul. Having fun. He likes to feel Playing. Paul. He likes to feel Paul. <laughs> She's got coconuts. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, good for her. This, this, this is charming. Mm -hmm. I love the edit. Uh, these kinds of things are absolutely involved. I just want to say, I think my favorite part is Chief Wolf just standing there. Yes. Um, Kadoi says, I'm a buckster. <laughs> Slime King Mike says, uh oh, the Chuckster's pointing at an air oil fryer. Giovanni, watch out! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> Just star wipes out. On the you oil ass. Fryer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Magic oh, Hats. <laughs> get a star. It just Yay. pops right out of him. Yay! Thank you, Magic Hats. From Divine Industrialist, witnessing Ooh. the effects of his actions. Oh, Ooh. man. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this moment of, like, walking up and seeing Bucky felt like wrong yeah. because of all the other like iterations of bucky we've seen it's always been like either the statue of like the mascot suit bucky or like the weird twisted polygon ones that was just him man mm -hmm. hey this that huh. means there's another bucky in this game yeah Hey. Yeah, there's another Bucky model. There's another Bucky model that's walking around what and do doing you... things on its own. Do you think... Because we've seen a Bucky suit. Do mm -hmm. you think that, um... Mm -hmm. Okay. This is just uh, gorgeous. Yeah, I, I really love the expression work in this first picture. Like, I don't know. There's something, like, sad and mm -hmm. shocked... Mm -hmm repulsed yeah the it's very I, I, haunted uh, looking haunted yes absolutely uh, raven bonifoy points out the suggestion of trees yeah really lovely like 
quick suggestion of what's behind him, and I love that it's like us looking at Bucky, and then the next picture is like what Bucky is seeing. Yeah, and the suggestion and really, of the body. Yeah, the like dark shape in the water, the like smudging trail, the way that like all of the background is either like roughed in makes it feel like okay, whatever part of a piece that's a POV shot has the most detail always looks to me like that is where he is looking. Mm -hmm. He is looking at the other Bucky. Uh, what kind of eyes points out? Bucky grappling with someone in his shape, committing awful things, is such a cool part of this game so far. I like the way he did the trees, BTY. And Misfit oh, Puppet yeah. says it feels distorted through the lens of the shot. Yes! yes. Huge agree. Oh, you're right! Well, yeah, look at like, that. They're like squiggles. That, that That's so evocative. I love that. Uh, and I want to say, I like that, like, I can even see, like, some construction marks here and there. I can see, like, where you built this up. This is like really well put together, like building on the pieces that you want to put together here. Because like like we've said multiple times, these are a series of way more complicated shapes than you think they are. Mm -hmm. And I love I like that he's like got his gameplay stance of just kinda like Do you ever think how fucked up it is that it feels like the only thing Bucky does on his own is turn his head to look at things? Ugh. Like it's only reactive to the camera. Mm hmm mm hmm Ugh. Oh, man. Ugh. I, the look of the other Bucky. Yeah. It's, it really captures how, like, unnatural the moment feels. That's gorgeous. I like that our, our footsteps could sync up. Someone in chat, uh, I believe it's Starcat, just mentioned that. Yeah, Ugh. yeah, when we were, like, walking with him and we had to make, like, that split-second decision yeah. of, like, do we follow him or do we follow the blood trail? And the way for a second we were just like walking side by side, overlapping each other. Ugh. 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 Thank you so much, Divine Industrial. <laughs> Thank you, Divine Industrial. That's a good piece when it gets this talking this much, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, from Bo Red, Red Rat. Rat. <laughs> oh. Oh. <It's> fuck me. <laughs> that, that sure was one hell of a shipwreck. Hello? Nintendo! Oh, the cry! Yeah, yeah, I would love to be in that Super Smash Bros. Love that. You look so beautiful in the candlelight. Can I paint you? The eyes! The blush! <laughs> I'm sorry, Bucky. I was so mean to you. Here, have this delicious pie Olive helped me make. I Really good. Really good. They look like Animal Crossing villagers. This is so cute. I, I love the upper right where it's just Bucky's face yes, over his I do own too. face, Miserable like fading. <laughs> I hate you so fucking much, but like this face. Yes, the the underglow effect you have on your lines looks so good here. It has yeah. so fucking cute. This expression, this uh, terse expression. <laughs> <laughs> this sure was one heck of a shipwreck with the fire, the like behind his back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I I really like the one where he's in the barrel crying because when I was doing that bit, I was totally imagining it just like. Bucky, like, comforting himself. <laughs> Just like, ah, I'm somewhere else. Happy things are happening. I'm in my happy place. Mario's here, and Donkey Kong 64, and Samus. It's wonderful. They're finally doing a Bucky rap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't want to get out of this barrel. <laughs> He's the wood eater of the DK crew. Uh, Christ. <laughs> The expression on the "Can I paint you?" is also really yes, good. Yes, really good. Ooh, goo, Very romantic. Chibi. <laughs> uh, also, I really love that you gave them like slight eyebrows, but the one on Giovanni is like oh, the yeah, curly the type cur monobrow. Yeah, I, love I love that. that. Thank you so much. This is so uh, fucking Thank you cute. so much. <laughs> Turn down this music a little bit. <laughs> From Puzz. Oh. I'll just wait to see if anything really hits the inspiration button for me this stream. Me having to cash that check at the funniest possible moment. <laughs> we good. <laughs> we, we good. <laughs> I love the triple barrel shotgun horn. Uh, yeah, that great expression. The, oh, your nose the, is the cute. trio horn. The like little Yay! knock on it is really good. I love the eyelid lifting up just a little on the bottom, the thick brows, yes. then at the side. Uh, 
really good. The, really good, the, genuinely really good capture my face, but I love the intensity of the expression caused by like the tea that you have a way of doing like very small, slightly scribbly little like pupils. Yes. Christ, what's the funniest instrument for Frankie to hold like a gun? <laughs> Artistic challenges Emma's face every day. You're right. You were right. You were right. You were right. <laughs> the cut Shinzo Abe, shut up! Legally, we cannot endorse this joke. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Honest, legally. <laughs> I know him. He was our president once. Yeah, that's right. Civil War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I love the curve here of the cheek patch. The the yeah. line work you did for the shadow over the face, really good. Yeah. And I love the, like, polygonal rabbit ear kind of feeling, like, just pushing it back so you can, like, see the end of it. That ain't the doohickey, that's the doohonker! Mm -hmm. You also know this is based off of a real horn I own in real life. Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> uh, another note, really good, look at the way my fingers are holding the ends oh, yeah. of the horn. Oh, yeah! Plus it's so good at that's the like edges and curves That's, like, a very delicate little hold. Hands. Oh, look at that little fold over right at where the webbing would be. Yeah, really good, like, angle on this horn in general. It's a complicated object. Mm -hmm. Just uh, beautiful. What a, I think this might be the best anyone's ever drawn my very weird nose. Mm -hmm. Especially at a weird angle. Thank you so much, You can Puzz. see, like, where it hits the bridge and hits down, and you can see the nose ring. Beautiful. Thank you, Puzz. Thank you, Puzz. From Junkyard Wizardry. <laughs> the way Bucky's hands hang at his sides and his gaze is fixed on the floor always scanned at me like he's doing a very particular kind of run. That coupled with a particular sequence of bug noises made a very evocative mental image I had to draw. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of what his like little hands at his side kind of look like. Come to think of it, <laughs> what a wonderful expression! Look at the scrunch of it. Yeah. Oh. oh man, <laughs> he's so pained. His life is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little kid running. <laughs> Oh, that's so beautiful. Uh, and the expression in the barrel, like the yes. popped open yes. wide yes. eyes, the, the ears, ears down. Like... The, the ears do a great job of communicating, like, I like oh, animal scared, animal... Demi Francis does a gay little run that pisses the horrors off! I just saw that! <laughs> <laughs> the pose on this top part is killing yeah. me! Yeah, yeah, it's so... The... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the language is really It's really good! <laughs> Oh. It's on, like, some Akewood pose. I don't know how to yeah. define that. Yeah, so when it chats, it uh, was very Spongebob-esque, you're right. Yes! Oh my god. I was this close to naming the file of Bucky's <laughs> gay little run. <laughs> uh, uh, Puzz says, that's also great foreshortening of the leg. Oh, you're it's right. also this compliment. You're right. Uh, and someone else pointed out, but I wanted to say, I also really love the way the panel is just being defined by the edge of the floor. Oh yeah, Misfit Puppet notes. Yeah, oh, you're right. Uh, the, it's really good because Ooh. it's, okay, so it's defined by the floor. It's also an angular panel composition, which always adds like a lot of like action to a pose, to like anything. Mm -hmm. I love that we wind up reading the first one is like one moment of him running we mentally add him climbing into the barrel and the fact that it's being shown from like the exact same angle as the first one read so well especially because like the sound effects mm -hmm. are what we're following through the panel so there's no like confusion about where to wind up and that's tricky to do making a composition so that we go right to left circling down to the right is hard yeah but it flows here perfectly just beautiful. He looks like he just saw a cockroach. You're right, you're right, you're right. Oh my god, thank you all so much. Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you all so oh. much, and thank you for not doing any more fan arts that we can wrap the stream up. <laughs> no, I kid. We love all the fan art we ever get, and it's wonderful on nights where we get a lot, but also... Thank you. Bugs is dying. I'm dying. <laughs> Bugs is actively molting. Again. Ugh. Can see they're stressed out. Where, where are we gonna send folks? Mm, limited options tonight. Hang on. Yeah. Good night, Sheik. Go get some sleep. What, well, Sheik? Why are you awake? <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> I know you're on the East Coast. Let's see. 
keeping my beloved friend up in consciousness. I'm well, yeah, you. I guess you are retired, but... The bugs need to go to the sea for their health, that's right. <laughs> Gotta wheel you out on one of those Victorian chairs mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. sit under a parasol. Thank you, Bluey OBO3. Yeah, no one's really up, huh? Okay, um... Tell you what, uh, do you want to watch Sumo or a real-time attack of Resident Evil 2? Alright, up to you guys. Y'all can pick. <clears throat> won't be able to sleep but i enjoy being around here look up a playlist on youtube called every home star runner to yes do it or like every every strong bad email oh i or... think actually mm -hmm. i don't know he's been sitting at a blank screen for a bit so i'm gonna send you guys to midnight sumo okay y'all are gonna go watch sumo be healed by watching large men just slap the shit out oh. of each other will they ever will they ever Thank you all so, so much for being here tonight. We have really enjoyed going through this and being able to go through it at our own pace with a crowd who's like right here with us is really fun. And thank you so much for your incredibly kind donations oh tonight. Oh my god, like, yeah. Genuinely thank y'all. Thank uh, you. And thank you for any subscriptions. Thank you to anybody who knew who followed. I saw we had a couple of people pop in for the first time. And thank you just for being here you know we always talk about funding because it's our job and capitalism mm -hmm. but just being here talking in chat lurking in chat like being a part of the stream watching this on the vod later seeing comments come in on the vod later making art lurking hanging out anything you do with your time that you're spending with us thank you so much thank you, you. could be doing anything you know thank you what you hear yeah, get in the jar. Get in the jar. We're gonna get you in the, the jar, jar, and the then jar. we're gonna put you in front of a long video about udon being made in Japan for college students, so you all can sleep, mm -hmm. and it'll be safe, mm -hmm. and no one's gonna tape any beaver pictures on the outside okay. of the jar for you to wake up to in the middle of the night. Who would ever do that? It's gonna be the goose. The goose is loose.